So will the team, uh, the captain, please make a note. It would be a seven hours game. Uh, five bowlers. It's mandatory in this uh, tournament. Uh, so it will be a seven hours game. Uh, so we have the two official umpires walking out in the middle for the start of the match. One of the day two between uh, St. Sebastian and uh, the team uh, Bondil. The two official umpires, Mr. Salim and uh, Mr. Nafaz. Uh, you can watch this uh, live action of this uh, SJ Trophy 2024. Uh, the official media partner for this tournament is Mangalore Media. The one of the finest uh, live coverage of the cricket tournaments. Uh, all over the part of uh, Mangal Zone on behalf of all the members of uh, SJ Friends uh, we welcome Mangal Media so the captain of uh, St. Sebastian uh, Wilfred after winning it all uh, no hesitation for uh, opting to bowl first the feeders are out in the middle uh, so can we have the two openers of the team Bondil uh, Uh, meanwhile, uh, can we have the 13th man of the both the teams, uh, St. Sebastian and uh, So just waiting for the umpire to give the signal for the start of the match number one of the second day of SJ Trophy 2024 the two openers of uh, the team Bondil, uh, we have uh, Santosh on the strikers end and Prashant on the non-strikers end and the opening bowler uh, will be Daryl, uh, will be starting the proceeding for the team and here's a signal coming from the, the main umpire for the start of the match, one of the day two between Sebastian and Bondil. A seven hours game, uh, five bowlers is mandatory in this tournament. Uh, And here comes Terrell passing the umpire, uh, right arm over the wicket, uh, first ball of the day. Uh, driven it uh, straight to the feet on the mid wicket and that's the first wicket. Uh, followed in the very first ball, uh, the batsman uh, Santos uh, going for a drive on to the onside region uh, but he could not uh, utilize the, uh, the power uh, behind the shot and finding uh, the feet uh, was right on the edge of the Made wicket position inside the 30 yard, but we do not have a circle. But we can just uh, just that from this side that you were just standing on to the right position. Uh, there's nothing wrong uh, with the shot, but uh, the batsman uh, finding uh, the feed does. But that's the first wicket, a big blow for the team Bondil after asking to bat first by the captain of the team, uh, Saint Sebastian Wilfred, uh, and that is striking in the very first. Uh, ball. What a start. That's uh, a dream start for the team St. Sebastian. And now we have a new batsman joining the company of uh, Prashant is Joyle. Uh, definitely a partnership is required for the team. Bodil. And that's the uh, first one coming under the account of the team Bondil in the form of an extra slightly wide outside the half strike. Uh, and nicely swept uh, to get off the mark in the uh, very second of the innings and Joel getting off the mark with that the team total score slowly moving up to two on the score card
third ball. Prashant finding the feed onto the mid wicket region and the resulting a dot ball. Very good start for the bowler Daryl. This time slightly far away. Even the wicket keeper could not uh, do anything because it's not a fault from the wicket keeper. But the bowler uh, rather than bowling wicket to wicket uh, bowling uh, far away outside the off stake. Uh, one plus one adding to the total. It's been that uh, three extras have already been conceded in this uh, over so far. They had a pretty good start. Uh, we get uh, falling in the very first ball of the innings. Uh, and then uh, a couple of voids uh, causing some extra run. Uh, it will not hurt the team. Uh, boom. This time once again. This time far away from uh, the leg stake. Uh, that's another wide Back to back whites. Uh, There is an appeal uh, for like before, uh, but umpire and mode uh, because the ball is pitching slightly far away from the leg stick. Uh, the ball uh, kissing the pad and uh, no suggestion for the umpire to call it as uh, a leg by another extra adding to the total. Uh, it also to when coming in the part of. Uh, uh, Santosh, uh, the room was given to play that shot onto the goal position and uh, nicely hit uh, in between the two fielders. The ball racing quickly onto the declared region. Another two more runs earning to the total. Uh, Sorry, the score moving up to eight on this scorecard for the loss of one wicket. Uh, still, the first over in the program. This time, uh, over the long opposition, one bounce uh, onto the boundary top. With that boundary, the score was on to two on the scorecard after the completion of first over. Even though the wicket has been fallen in the very first over, uh, still the batters of the team Bondel are uh, going after the bowling attack of uh, the team St. Sebastian. Uh, the last five balls uh, of the very first over, uh, two world runs have been conceded with the help of uh, a couple of whites, leg by, uh, and the last uh, two balls costing six runs uh, with the help of one boundary and uh, uh, two runs conceded onto the declared region. Uh, what is that? Uh, after the completion of first over, uh, score was on to two well for one. Second over uh, has been asked to bowl by uh, Wish was another experienced bowler for the team at St. Sebastian. Can he strike? Can he break the partnership which has been uh, building up between these two batsmen? Uh, there is an appeal. Uh, also, there was a slightly chance for a run out because Wilfie was appealing uh, without watching the ball because he could have uh, gone for that and he could have striked the ball onto the strikers and we could have seen another worker in a form of uh, run out. Uh, but still, uh, the batsman uh, Joyless safe in his batting crease. Here we get off the mark for his side. Uh, Wish was second time in this over. Uh, and it's now far away from the leg stake. There was a chance for a run out if it was a direct hit. Uh, the batsman uh, Santos would have been back onto the dugout in a form of a run out. Uh, unnecessary risk uh, taken by the, the batters of the team Bone. They'll. Uh, the runs are coming in a form of extra. You cannot take those kind of a risk at this moment when you're playing a standing out in the middle for your side. And this time far away from the off strike. Another wide, a couple of wides. It means that almost seven runs have been conceded in the form of extras. Extras are building up for the bowlers of the team, Sebastian. They need to keep a, a tight line. That's what the line what Rishwas needs to do. He is a bowler. It's not so easy to hit against him. The batsman going for a cross-batted hit onto the onside. 
and the last moment ball coming well in hitting the off -staker. so both the openers of the team bone they'll are back into the dugout uh, at the score of uh, 15 the wicket number two So the new matchman uh, with the jersey number 59, Manish, uh, joining the company of Joy, who is on the North Strikers, and uh, Wish was striking in his very first over. Uh, they'll be bowling to the new batsman, Manish, facing for the first time in this tournament. Uh, and nicely played onto the onside, just a, a glance, uh, the back foot uh, onto the mid-wicket position for a singer to get off the mark in the very first ball of his innings. Uh, Score slowly moving up to 16. Batsman Joy struggling out of the middle. Going for a cross batted shot onto the onside region. Regularly we have seen Joy playing those shots but unable to watch the ball. And frequently getting dotted. And this time, uh, once again, uh, slightly quicker than the, the previous ball. Uh, another dotted delivery. Kunia is at the parking of uh, over number two. Last ball. And this time going for a cross batted shot, the ball hitting the pad and then to these times. Uh, it's a bad look for the batsman Joy. Uh, he was struggling out in the middle, uh, wanted to desperately get some runs for his side. Uh, but the end, uh, losing his wicket, uh, the ball uh, kissing the pad uh, and then to the off strike. That's another wicket fall and it's over. Uh, so Vishwas uh, striking once again in the final ball of the 0-1 number. Uh, two so after the completion of two overs goes on uh, 16 for three they had a pretty good start in the very first over two elders conceded uh, even to the wicket uh, falling in the very first ball uh, batsman uh, santosh getting out in the very first ball then we had some uh, a drama out in the middle couple of points then a declared two and a boundary in the last ball uh, but Vishwas coming back in the second over for his side. Uh, the captain uh, getting his another front line bowler. Uh, just conceded four runs in that over. Picking two important wickets. Uh, so two new batsmen out in the middle. One is uh, Manish and uh, we have uh, Sustan on the North Strikers end. And the ball has been uh, given to Conwell is the bowler and the very first ball Manish uh, playing towards the long off region for another single. Uh, both the times uh, we have seen uh, Manish uh, striking the ball very well coming right in the middle of the bat. That's called a confident player for the team Bondil. Uh, they need another player uh, to get some partnership. Sensible batting by Sassan uh, getting off the mark uh, onto the cover position. Uh, just playing a soft bottom hand onto the cover position to get off the mark. Uh, not taking any risk because he knows that the wickets are fumbling. Uh, they need to keep uh, the wickets in hand. Uh, get a partnership. It's a 7 overs game. Uh, anything about 45 to 50 will be a defendable target. Uh, Cornwell uh, once again. Uh, that was bowling mark. Uh, and this time, room is given, but there is a feed on the long gone. Uh, and the catch has been put down. Can it be a Manish, and he is on the strikers' end to face the final ball of the over number three. Uh, 
Three coming to end after the completion of three overs. Scores on uh, 21. So see, five runs have been conceded in the over number uh, three. After the completion of three overs, goes on 21-4-3. Ipata on the Kimuro. And change the bowling in once again. The captain, Wilfred, have uh, made a change. Uh, not asking which was to bowl the second over, but it's getting another bowler at the right arm. Uh, getting uh, uh, Sean, another experienced bowler. And of uh, Wilfred, the throw was not so good enough. Uh, it was wider uh, than what the Wilfred have thought. With that uh, uh, single... Uh, the score slowly moving up to 28 on the score card uh, by signal was given by the umpire. Once again, uh, it was slightly quicker. Uh, once again, another miss by the wicket keeper. Uh, standing so close, is unable to stop the ball. Uh, another single uh, added to the total in a form of a uh, buy. Uh, And this time, uh, that's the first uh, doctor delivery coming in the over number five. Slightly quicker than what the batsman would have thought, thinking that the ball might be pitching uh, far away from the leg stake, but it was slightly inside the the box. This time, going for the reverse sweep. Once again, a slightly misfeed by the feeder on the gully position. An uneven bounce, uh, costing another two runs. Uh, every run is important uh, in this game. Uh, I can say it's not a fault of the fielder because the uneven bonds costing uh, a problem uh, for the fielder and the two runs have been uh, raised quickly to the declare position. Kunea uh, Yurides at the back of the over number five. And as he played on to the final leg position, excellent work done by the fielder behind the wicket keeping, uh, uh, saving at least a couple of runs for his side. With the help of that a single, the score was on to 32. Final ball remaining of the over number 5. And the final ball resulting with the void. It was slightly away from the obstacle. A fake hole coming from the umpire. Even Wilfred knew that the ball was slightly outside the Obstacle and the last ball getting an outside edge to the leg slip uh, for a single uh, and the batsman Manish will be on the strikers and for the next over. After the completion of uh, four overs, scores on 34. So final 12 balls remaining for the innings to be completed. Uh, Once again, a run out chance, Mr. The ball uh, kissing the pad of Manisha. The fielder behind the wicket keeper uh, was quick enough to grab the ball, but unfortunately, he could not uh, strike the wicket. Uh. So, Daryl once again back to ball the, the second over of his spell. This time, uh, straight to the fielder onto the gully position, and this is a sharp catch taken by. Uh, the fielder on the gully position. As soon as uh, we've seen in the last over, uh, there was slightly fumble and the captain making a changes on the field, getting Sean onto the gully position. Uh, and this time taking a sharp catch. Uh, that's a uh, wicket uh, taken uh, in the over number uh, six. The partnership was built in uh, at the end. Uh, the wicket uh, falling at the right eye for the team St. Sebastian.
Ovil is a new batsman. Uh, so far, the run is on uh, 35. Uh, Daryl uh, just losing his line length after bowling some uh, wicket to wicket low in, but this time just drifting uh, down the leg. Uh, a wide signal given by the umpire. This time going for the reverse sweep. Uh, A four hundred yard single coming at the bat of Ovil in the form of a river sweep, uh, getting an outer edge. Uh, another single adding to the total. Just a one boundary so far. Uh, coming in the innings of the team, uh, Bondil, uh, that to coming in the final ball of the over number uh, one. Uh, this time, uh, once again going for the river sweep. Uh, Sean the man uh, hitting it on to the non strikers end. The ball uh, kissing the stump at the end once again. Uh, another extra run conceded in the form of an uh, overthrow. At this moment, the ball they will try to get uh, those kind of uh, runs uh, because they desperately need some runs into the uh, team uh, total. Just a couple of balls remaining in this over. This time, driven it onto the mid on position just for another single. Uh, with the help of that uh, single, this goes on to 40. So final ball of the over number uh, six. Uh, Daryl Canny strike once again in his uh, final over of the last ball of his spell. Uh, and he finishes with the dot ball. So after the completion of uh, six overs of the innings, uh, this goes on 40 for four. So final six balls. Uh, Konya Arvis at the back of this uh, first match of the day between uh, St. Sebastian and the team Bondil. Uh, the second match of the day will be played between uh, Jeppu A and uh, Elyar Padav. So I request uh, both the teams uh, please to come to the commentary box to register your playing level. Uh, so this is the first call uh, for both the teams. Uh, before the end of the fourth hour of the second innings, uh, all the players need to sign the register book and also we will be having the toss at the end of uh, the fourth over of the second innings. And final over once again uh, the captain asking which wants to bowl the last over uh, picking two wickets in his first over considering just four runs. Uh, and he strikes once again in the very first ball uh, the man uh, Manish was just trying to be there, uh, wanted to score a big hit in the final over, but uh, that did not work. He was a hard editor of the tennis ball for the team Bondale, but he had just played a innings that which is not uh, normally known by the batsman Manish. He is known for his big hit, but he knew that the wickets were falling in one side. Uh, so he just wanted to be there till the end, uh, played a sensible innings for his side, but in the last over, wanted to go up to the the strike bowler of the team St. Sebastian but falling in the very first ball of the over number 7. A handy innings uh, coming by Manish uh, getting out in the first ball of the over number 7. With the jersey number 31 we have Lawrence uh, facing the first ball of the match. Uh, and which was uh, and this time that's a quick stumping ready for the umpire session. There was an appeal. What a stumping. It was just like a quicker fashion. That reminds me like a mind racing Dhoni behind the stumps. Within a fraction of a second as soon as the ball was drifted down the leg. Wilfred uh, in a quick fashion. Uh, taking the bales out. Uh, it might be the batsman's. Uh, the back foot was on to the bowling crease. The captain of Team Bondal uh, uh, survives. Uh, it's a close call. Uh, still four to go. Can we see a big head coming in the bat of Lawrence? The captain, uh, can he strike for his team? Uh, Stab straight to the ball. Lord, uh, the wish was uh, missing it quite. Uh, even he could not believe that he has missed it. Or else we would have seen... Uh, a run out on the no strikers and uh, that's a smile coming from the bowler which was he know that he has missed a, a lolly over there uh, he could have taken it and we would have seen another wicket so final three ball Kuneya Moore is at the baggy 
And that's another wicket. That's a fourth wicket for the bowler, Vishwas Parisite. And definitely, this is a good comeback by the bowler of the team, St. Sebastian. Two battles conceded in the first over in the last six overs. It means that in the last 34 balls, the rest of the bowlers are doing an excellent work. The score still remains on 41. What a comeback. Uh, 29 runs have been conceded in the last 34 balls, uh, which has been bowled by the bowler. Uh, Daryl uh, was good enough in his second over. Uh, Roland is a batsman. Uh, I'll be facing the remaining two balls of the Zenings. Uh, Kony Ayurdes at the party of uh, Wish Was. Can we strike another wicket in this uh, over? Uh, can he get his five wicket hold uh, in this tournament? Uh, this time there is an appeal and straight to an hesitation for the umpire uh, to raise his finger. Uh, and umpire has to, uh, the batsman Renault has to depart in a form of leg before. Uh, an out signal given by the umpire and the batsman uh, Roland. Uh, luckily there was a miss from the wicket keeper and also the feeder behind uh, the wicket keeper missing it and the bowler raced quickly to the boundary rope. Uh, but at the end, the decision going against the favor of the bowler. Uh, and that's the five wicket hold for the bowler, Rishwas. Uh, what a bowler for his team. So here's the final ball. Kunia is the of the innings. Uh, of uh, Team Bondil, uh, Wishmas uh, is on a hat trick. Uh, can he strike in his last ball? Already has picked five wickets for his team. Uh, and the final ball, uh, and that's a hat trick. That's the second hat trick in this tournament. We have, okay, third hat trick in this tournament. Uh, we have seen uh, two hat tricks uh, last uh, evening, but today, uh, the very first match of the innings uh, between Sebastian and the Team Bondil. Uh, what a comeback after conceding two bad runs in the first. Uh, over and then in the last six over just the 29 runs now the equation is the team saint sebastian need to chase the target of 42 in 42 balls it's just like a question of six runs per over you just need to keep your wickets in hand Forty-two ball, forty-two to chase uh, for the team Saint Sebastian. Uh, definitely, this will be slightly a tougher target, but still, uh, we need to wait and watch how the battles of uh, Saint Sebastian will uh, chase the target. So 42 is the target for the team Saint Sebastian. In the meanwhile, this is a second call for the both the teams, uh, Jeppu A and uh, Eliar Padav. Uh, before the end of the fourth over, we need to have the the signing of both the teams. Uh, if the both the teams do not come to the commentary box before the end of the fourth over, uh, if we do not have the captains of the both the teams, uh, then once again uh, the decision will be taken by the officials. The over will be reduced from. Uh, Seven, eight to seven. Now, because we have already reduced the overs in the first match uh, for both the teams uh, not reporting on time. Uh, so that is a penalty given to the team uh, in the first match uh, between Bondil and Saint Sebastian. Uh, Instead of having the eight overs game, we have reduced to seven overs. So we do not want uh, once again to have that happen in the second match. Uh,
So chasing a target of uh, 42. We have the two openers. Uh, the captain, Wilfred, joining with uh, Conville. Uh, the two experienced players for the team St. Sebastian. If these two players stick till the end, uh, the target of 42 is gettable. Uh, on the other end, the team Bondil, they need to get rid of uh, these two batters uh, in an early fashion for the team. Uh, Sussan will be starting the proceeding for his side. Will be starting the proceeding for his side. He'll be bowling to Conwell. And he starts with the dot ball. That's what the bowlers of the team Bondel needs to do. Just ball wicket to wicket. Get a pressure back into the team. Batting a second. They need to bowl a lot of dotted deliveries if they want to win this game. This time uh, driven it onto the long on. Uh, and Wilfred is an excellent runner in between the wicket. But this time he doesn't want to take a risk because it was formerly hit. Connected right to the middle of the bat of Conwell to get off the mark. Straight away in the very second ball of the innings. Uh, and the captain uh, taking guard from the umpire. Uh, And that's an excellent delivery coming well in. The batsman uh, Wilfred wanted to play on to the point position, but the last moment he could not uh, time it right in the middle of the bat at the end, uh, resulting with a dot ball. So both the batsmen uh, in the very first ball of the innings uh, has been uh, ended with a dotted ball. Uh, pressure will be given uh, on to the... And this time, uh, slightly down the leg stake... Uh, that's what the line or the bowler of Bondil Sistan should not bowl. He's an excellent bowler. And this time Wilfred going for the river sweep. And the ball getting an outside edge. Then hitting his pad. At the end, a single has been conceded in a quick fashion. He's an excellent runner between the wickets. With the help of uh, that single, the score was on to three. Over number one in progress. Uh, still final two more balls remaining. Koninya Yeris at the Baki. Drives it on to the longer position just for a single. Uh, slight fumble. But you cannot take a risk on those kind of uh, misfield. Uh, And yes, the last ball of the over number one ending with a dotted ball. So after the completion of first over, uh, excellent start. Uh, the score was on to four uh, after the completion of uh, first over chasing a target of 42. And remaining 36 balls. Uh, they need another 38 runs. Uh, a plus point for the team St. Sebastian. They have entire wickets in hand. Uh, that's more important. Uh, So change the bowling and uh, the second over is being handed over to Mr. Oval uh, will be bowling the second over for his side. He'll be bowling to Conwell. Uh, on the other end, the captain Wilfred is struggling to get runs for his side. But still, uh, if he sticks till the end, uh, he can get his team to the victory position. Uh.
And I will start with the wider. These are the, some gifted runs which has been given by the, the bowler of the opening team. And uh, the St. Sebastian will uh, be thankful for the bowler to take those kind of an extra runs coming in the, the bowlers uh, in a form of an extra because that will reduce the target. Uh, this time going for the big hit. There is an appeal. And umpire unmoored uh, pressure on to the both the batters. Uh, the bowlers are doing an excellent work. Uh, the batters could not do anything much, but they have set a target of 42 now. Uh, it is the uh, a role for the bowlers uh, to show their uh, performance out in the middle. Even 42 can be defendable if they have uh, a bowlers like uh, Sustan and Avila, which is bowling uh, a tight line and not giving any width or a room for the batsmen uh, to go after them. Uh, every daughter delivery will get a pressure. Uh, once again, that's another daughter delivery. The batsman at the last moment not offering the shot, thinking that the ball was slightly pitching outside the obstacle. Uh, thought that the umpire could have raised both his uh, hand, but at the end, uh, umpire unmoved. Uh, Ending with a daughter done. And this time the batsman Conwell, the pressure was building under him. Runs were not coming in the matter of Conwell at the last moment. Two back to back dot ball, then taking a charge, coming down the track, missing it completely. The ball kissing the, the leg stick. Uh, no connection in between the bat and powder, and with the end of resulting a uh, wicket. Uh, the very first. Uh, Wicket uh, falling in the over number two at the score of just five on the scorecard. Vishwas is the man who had picked six wickets for his side in the first innings. What a, a great side we have out in the middle. Uh, we have uh, Wilfred, the father on the North Strikers end, and the son on the Strikers end with the jersey number seven. So this is a good battle between uh, the father and the son. So let's go in to see who is a far better player. Uh, this time there is an appeal, uh, but the ball pitching slightly away from the leg stake and umpire unmoored. Uh, what an excellent overboard by Avil. Uh, just considered just a one run so far in the form of uh, wide. And this time driven uh, turned down the ground onto the long off uh, to get off the mark in the very second ball of the innings. Uh, a huge appeal in the very first ball of the innings that which was faced. Uh, but at the end, I'm bad at board. Uh, just a single adding to the total. Uh, once again, Wilfred taking a guard from the umpire. The two experienced players. Uh, one has done his part uh, while bowling, picking six wickets. Now he has to stick till the end uh, to get the team total chased. Uh, once again, far away from legs. Take a uh, wide signal given by the umpire. Uh, Wilfred looking for a quick single. Uh, but which was not ready. Even at this age, we need to respect the batsman well fed it's not so easy it's almost about 50 plus but still uh, crazy for the cricket uh, I've never seen a player like well fed in my life uh, what a player is uh, the same uh, playing a paddle uh, switch it uh, just conceding a single to keep the strike in the next over uh, so after the completion of uh, two overs the score is on eight chasing a target of 42 it means that in remaining uh, 36 balls uh, in remaining, I'm sorry, in remaining 30 balls, uh, they need uh, 34. More than is it, more than not good and nervous. 30 ball, 34 to get. Once again, uh, Sustan uh, has been asked to bowl the over number. Uh, 
a three for his side uh, and uh, a single taken out of the curry position coming the part of Wilfred uh, runs are only coming in the form of a singles and extras not even one big hit uh, I mean either on the, the declared region or a boundary coming in the innings of team Saint Sebastian uh, but in the first innings this time going for the reverse sweep uh, and the ball racing quickly to the boundary of that's uh, much needed boundary coming in the butt of which was an attempt was done by the feeder onto the slip position diving towards the right hand what an attempt done by the captain of uh, team bondel uh, valuable attempt but it was slightly wider than what he would have thought uh, but at the end of the ball racing quickly to the shorter part of the ground behind the stumps onto the boundary rope that's the first boundary which is much needed and coming at the right time and this time a sensible biting up the boundary has been hit played onto the ground towards the long on for a single If they love to play that shot, frequently we have seen him playing those kind of reverse hit. He knows that there's a shorter part of the ground onto the offside. If you just connect it, instead of getting a single, you can get an extra run in a form of a, a double onto the that region. And this time the batsman Rish Mars going for the reverse sweep at the last moment, not offering the shot. Uh, and uh, that's a uh, much needed dotted delivery coming in the bowling of Sustan. Uh, still, he has one more ball remaining uh, to complete his spell. Uh, bowled an excellent first over, considering just four runs. But this time, in this over, uh, with that one boundary that changed the equation of his uh, spell of the over number two. But in the end, uh, after the completion of uh, over number three, he comes on to 16 for one. A Levant and partnership is building up between uh, the two players, uh, Vishwas and uh, Wilfred. Uh, that's what the partnership uh, they wanted. In remaining last four over, that means in 24 balls they need 26 to get. I will once again uh, has been asked to bowl the over number two for his side and the fourth over for his team. Uh, the captain uh, Lawrence uh, taking a right decision. He knows that the partnership is building up between these two batters. Uh, one wicket uh, will get the team uh, under pressure for the Saint Sebastian uh, and the team Bondel will be back into the game. Uh, still the game is on for the both sides. Uh, the equation is like 50-50. 24 balls, 26. This time uh, right in the middle of the mat but finding the fielder on the long gone. That's a big wicket. Uh, Rich Moss has to depart. He uh, was playing sensible out in the middle, but at the end, that's a big wicket. Uh, look at the frustration uh, from the captain uh, on the North Strikers, and uh, the partnership was building up. Uh, but Vishma is playing a loose shot in the very first ball. That's what uh, the captain Lawrence getting his uh, strike baller to ball the second over. Uh, he knows that uh, this uh, partnership which is building up one wicket uh, will get the team uh, under pressure. New batsman Sean is on the strikers end. The left hand batsman. Uh, this will be a good contest between the two players. Uh, the bowler and the batter. Uh, Five feeders have been uh, pushed outside the onto the onside for the lefty batsman. We can see one in uh, mid wicket, uh, square leg, uh, long gone, wideish of the long gone, and uh, long leg onto the onside for the lefty batsman. Sensible batting, uh, just uh, a flick onto the mid wicket position inside the 30 yard circle to get off the mark in the very first ball. Uh, Instead of uh, lofting it on to the onside, just playing the ground shot. He knows that he had just walked in. Uh, let me try to play one or two balls. Uh, and then uh, I can go after the balling of uh, the baller. This time, uh, nicely played. Uh, 
but finding the feeder in the point position for just a single. Wilfred frequently playing towards the offside in a form of a reverse sweep rather than uh, playing onto the onside region. Uh, but it doesn't matter, but the runs are coming uh, quite nicely for them. Uh, they just need to keep their wickets in hand and they can definitely get the target chased. This time, uh, going for a slot sweep, uh, fielder underneath, but falling short of uh, three fielders. Uh, top edge, uh, an attempt was done by the captain who was standing on to the uh, slip portion. Uh, the wicket keeper should have gone after it uh, because that was his call. But at the end of the batsman, uh, Sean is still safe. He's a lefty batsman. He has a lot of advantage in this ground uh, to get some uh, big hitting onto the onside region, uh, which is uh, too shorter than onto the onside of the righty batsman. Two to go. Can he strike for his side? Once again, a reverse sweep. Uh, there is a man in the gully position just for another single. Once again, a single added. Uh, to the account and the score slowly moves on to 20. Still they need another 22. 19 ball, 22 to get. Uh, eight more wickets in hand. One big hit uh, either for a boundary of six or uh, onto the dick tapper. This time that's a flick onto the pad. Uh, and umpire says uh, it's a uh, three runs. Uh, will be added on to the account of Sean. That's what the Sean needs to do. Just wait, look into the ball, and you can uh, play toward that direction. Even just a flick is quite enough uh, because he has a power behind his uh, shot. Uh, look at the way how the ball was slightly outside the obstacle. Just a glance onto the square leg position for a declared region, and three runs adding to the total. With that help of three runs, it's comes on to 20, Three. So it means that uh, in remaining uh, 18 ball, they need 19 runs. 18 ball, 19 to get. I request the two captains uh, of the team, uh, Jeppu A and Eliar Padava, for the toss. We have already completed the four overs, uh, so it's a request for the both the teams. Captain, please come to the commentary box for the toss. The two captains. Uh, Kelvin is a new bowler. 18 ball, 19 to get. Uh, and he starts with the dotted ball. Uh, the batsman, uh, Will Flayed. Uh, on a double mind, wanted to play onto the onside at the last moment, not offering a shot. Uh, he could have drived it over to the point or the cover position onto the declared region. Uh, but uh, this time, going for the reverse sweep. Uh, once again, finding the feeder in the meanwhile, the batsmen have crossed for a single quite easier. Uh, five feeders have kept onto the opposite. This time, an excellent running between the wicket by the both the batters. Uh, slightly a fumble by uh, the bowler on the non strikers end. Uh, Getting an extra run uh, and the score jumping to 25. Uh. And this time on to the final leg position for a biggie. That's a boundary coming in the back of Wilfred. He can play on the both the ends, uh, but this time he doesn't make a mistake. He knows that uh, frequently he was just playing a reverse hit, uh, finding the fielder, getting just a single. But this time. It's a boundary coming from the umpire. Uh, Wilfred can play those kind of a hit. Uh, that was slightly outside the leg stick and he doesn't miss it, those kind of a loser one which has been pulled by the bowler. Uh, and he need to take that uh, risk. Uh, what a hit uh, coming at the right time uh, when they needed some runs. This time going for the big hit, getting a top edge. Luckily the ball did not carry to the lower is the feeder on to the short leg sleep and also there was a chance of run out if it was a direct head Sean would have been back into the dugout but the meanwhile the batter is safe in this batting trace still two to go can we see another two big hits coming in the bat of Sean towards uh, that direction this time he will not miss that that's a loser one bowled by uh, the bowler Galvin uh, and the batsman Sean had uh, ample of time to play that 
Anyone uh, out in the middle will not miss that kind of uh, lollipop which has been bowled by the opponent bowler. That's like a gifted ball. Rather than bowling some quicker one, uh, it's bowled a loser one. This is the turning point of the game. Uh, another single has been taken. Uh, with that, uh, the over number uh, 5 coming to an end. The score is on 34. Uh, 11 runs have been conceded in the over number 5. That is the turning point of the game which has been changed from the team Bondil back to St. Sebastian. Now in remaining 12 ball, they just need 8 runs. It means that the equation of just 4 runs per over. The second match, the captain of Elyar Padav, after winning the toss, uh, no hesitation. We have seen all the teams uh, were played uh, last evening. Uh, any captain uh, winning the toss uh, have decided to bowl first. Once again, uh, in this game also, the team captain, uh, Wilfred, winning the toss, uh, no hesitation to ch choose to bowl for his side. And uh, the second match, Elyar Padav, captain, winning the toss, even he straight away says that we will be bowling first because that suits for the bowler we have seen in the first innings uh, which was uh, bagging six wickets uh, and played a handy role uh, along with his father uh, Wilfred was come as an opener was still there uh, as I was talking in the beginning of the innings uh, he is the batsman to be watched uh, if he sticks uh, he can play the entire seven overs on his own uh, that's called uh, experience uh, under the belt. Uh, it's not so easy to play at this point of the age, but still the crazy, the love for his game. Uh, that's more important because it doesn't matter uh, until you're fit, until you can uh, show your talent, until you can connect the ball right in the middle of the bat. You can still carry playing the loving game uh, till you want to. But at this point, uh, well fed uh, missing regularly this time once again a fumble by the wicket keeper and there was a chance and that was, would have been a run out on the North strikers and uh, well fed uh, struggling out in the middle uh, three back to back dotted delivery would have seen a run out uh, but at the end uh, runs coming in a form of a buy and now the question is uh, six to get uh, out of uh, eight ball Uh, Santos uh, bowling to Sean. Uh, can he finish us with a two big hit onto that position? Uh, this time finding a field on the deep, onto the mid wicket just for a single uh, seven ball fight to get. Uh, one wicket or one dot ball will get a pressure back. Uh, well, Santos has done an excellent work uh, for his side. Uh, ball an excellent uh, spell uh, for his team. Uh, and here's the last ball uh, down the leg stick. Uh, and no hesitation for the umpire to call it as a point. That's the one loser one which has been rolled by the bowler, uh, costing uh, an extra run. Uh, now the question is uh, the score is on uh, 38, just uh, four runs needed. Uh, one big hit. Uh, at the end, a dotted one. Uh, so Lawrence uh, made a mistake of uh, asking uh, Calvin to bowl the over number five, which costed. Uh, 11 run uh, rather than getting uh, uh, Santosh uh, to bowl the over number 5. We could have seen a twist in the game. But at the end, uh, now the equation is uh, 6 ball, 4 to get. Or is it a Nakuran? Manish, uh, the experienced player of the team, Bondal, will be bowling the final over uh, for his side. Six balls, four to get. And he'll be bowling to the lefty batsman. Uh, Sean was already hit a couple of uh, 
Three runs onto the declare position, but this time far better than the last two shot onto the long leg. Uh, but that the runs are uh, equal for the team uh, Saint Sebastian. Now they need just a uh, one more run out of five ball. Five ball want to get and that's a winning run uh, coming to the back of Sean with that congratulations team Saint Sebastian for qualifying for the next round and thank you for the team Bondale for participating in this SJ Trophy 2024 it's a hard luck but you can uh, bounce back uh, strongly in the next season uh, congratulations team Saint Sebastian uh, and definitely there is no hesitation to call the man of the match in the opening game of the day two between Sebastian and uh, Bondale it goes to none other than Vishwas for his outstanding bowling performance. Uh, so I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Uh, Vincy to hand over the man of the match report to Vishwas for his outstanding performance of uh, five runs and six wickets. Uh, congratulations uh, Vishwas for backing that uh, man of the match. Uh, and also, I would like to call my co-commentator, Mr. Vincy, for the next match uh, between uh, Jeppu A and Yeller Padav, the captain of Yeller Padav, after winning the toss. No hesitation to bowl first. This is a second match of the day, and it could be definitely an excited match because uh, the Jeppu A, the team, uh, will be playing uh, the first match. Uh, of the tournament uh, this is their home ground uh, they know in and out of this ground so definitely we will have a a good game between uh, Jeppu A and Yellar Padav so can I have uh, Mr. Vishwas uh, from the team uh, Saint Sebastian uh, please to come to the commentary box to collect your man of the match reward uh, and I would like to ask Mr. Vincent Guerra to hand over the man of the match report uh, for his outstanding bowling performance five runs Six wickets in two overs. What a spell. Well played. Congratulations, Vishwas. Over to my co-commentator, Mr. Winston Zikwara, for the next match between Jepu A and Yellar Padav. Good morning to all of you. So we are witnessing the second match of the day played between the host Jipu versus Ilya Padav where Ilya Padav won the toss and inviting the host team to bat first. So I call upon the 13th man of Ilya Padav. Please do proceed for the commentary box. I repeat, the 13th man of Eliyar Padav. Yeah, thank you. It will be an 8 overs match. And uh, so we witnessed the first match was played between uh, St. Sebastian versus uh, the Bonil, where St. Sebastian defeating the Bonil Parish comfortably by eight wickets. So good uh, bowling performance by Mr. Vishwas. Took five wickets, Hall, and plus and hat trick. So that was the highlights of the f day two of the first match played between uh, St. Sebastian and Bonil Parish. So witnessing the second match played between uh, Elia Padav versus Empire signaling the start of the match. So Empire, the main Empire will be Mrs. Friraj and uh, the Squella Empire I am not. So 
First ball from the bowler to Nelson and gets a boundary. Welcome boundary for the blade of uh, Nelson. Wilson, sorry. I mistake because the, the, there are two brothers, Wilson and Nelson. So Nelson is the elder. So here comes the second second time the bowler. Bowler name please. Projwell, the bowler. To Wilson. Wilson going for the same shot, but uh, missed it completely. Fumble day by the keeper, but no damage. The score still remains at four on the board. So welcome boundary from the blade. First ball driven by Wilson towards the square leg boundary. A welcome boundary for the Jepo Parish. So now Projwell for the third time in this over to the batsman uh, Wilson a spectra wide and they are going for a run there and shy the stumps and passing in the wide and uh, one plus one a couple added to total with that couple score was up to six on the board so two batsmen opening for the host are Wilson and the right hand batsman Sandeep so that will be the first time Sandeep will take the strike of the bowling of Pajwal a healthy crowd around uh, this ground and uh, crowd slowly assuming the heat of uh, Mangalore here he comes Prajpal to Sandeep Sandeep going for a big shot again uh, bad bowling there Empire single is wide with that extra score up to 7 two back to back wides bowled by Prajpal I think uh, he has uh, has to straighten his ball otherwise uh, every extra will be a crime for the defending team here is uh, Prajman to the batsman Sandeep Sandeep drives not uh, for the boundary fumble day by the, uh, the fielder but meanwhile batsman cross for a single without single score up to 8 on the board so both the batsmen are comfortable in throwing the strikes here and there so that brings in Wilson to strike Prajman a spectra wide very bad bowling there by Prajwal bowling is third wide in the server he has to improve his bowling otherwise uh, he will be gifting too many runs in favor of uh, his team that will be a negative bowling from uh, Ilya Padu Parish so here is Prajwal it's time to Wilson oh a foolish delivery Wilson going for a bad shot it was a good sh but uh, a blind sh shot applied by Wilson there he wanted to go behind that shot but missed it completely and that was dot ball to end so Prajwal slowly going to his bowling mark he's ready to bow the deliver his next delivery to the batsman Wilson full toss and easily punished there so that was for a six mighty six that's a Good batting there. That's a juicy full toss. Uh, and uh, the batsman like Wilson, a young lad from uh, the Jebu Parish, uh, punishing a bit. And uh, Prajbal for the last time this over to the batsman Wilson. The score is uh, 15 on the board. Good going for the host Jebu team. Yeah. Let's have again. Play it obviously. Will it be taken there? Now ball dropping over and it's for uh, three runs. So good batting performance by Wilson. Out of this 18 runs, uh, I think uh, most of his runs, most of these 18 runs, uh, have been scored by from the come from the blade of uh, Wilson. So I think uh, bad bowling day by Prajwal. The opening uh, over costed him uh, 18 runs. So bad bowling there. Meanwhile, there is a bowling change from the side of Eliyar Padov, who will bowl the next tail. Oh, Steven. Steven has been decided to bowl the second over of the innings of uh, Jibu Parish, and the batsman facing him is uh, the right hand batsman Sandeep. So, Steven, I think he will be a typical orthodox bowler. Tarai bowler might be. May not know. Tapping one and two. Here he comes. It's a 
Dolly no ball there. Signaled over. Is the way tight. It was a bouncer. So. So, Stephen uh, losing his uh, rhythm, bowling foolish delivery to the batsman Sandeep. As a result, uh, Empire Signal is a no ball over the waist. So, with that extra score, moves up to 19. Here is Stephen once again. The stand for Sandeep. Sandeep drives straight to the fielder there. That's it. And uh, was it a free hit? Yes, it is. It was a free hit. So as a result, uh, Sandeep uh, survived and meanwhile batsman crossed for a single with that single score with up to 20. So, Stephen this time to the bat rusty batsman uh, Wilson, a young lad from Jibu. This time drives all along the carpet, lovely good shot and from there by the field there. But uh, no harm, uh, they decided to take on a single with that single score with up to 21. Good going for the batsman uh, Wilson there. Sensible bit of uh, batting performed by the young uh, cricketer of Jeff Varish. Here's Stephen this time to Sandeep. Sandeep drives all along the carpet. Nice. This time uh, playing sensibly there. Sandeep rotating the strike because he knows that Wilson is in uh, uh, attacking mode. Just slowly gliding towards the onside and uh, giving the strike to the Wilson. Uh, batting sensibly there. With that single score moves up to 22 on the board. Here is... Uh, once again, uh, Stephen, this time to Wilson. Wilson wants to drive, lovely shot. Beautiful looking shot. It was a uh, fall, it was the leg side, and uh, Wilson punishing it, lifting over the mid wicket area, but a beautiful six. Uh, and with that six, the score moves up to hurriedly to 28 on the board. Good guarding performance by the big, ba big batsman of uh, uh, Chibu. It's Wilson there. As I can say, a young lad. So Stephen, 28 on the board. Stephen once again to Wilson. Wilson drives, lovely shot, worst oh, shot. Two back to back sixes. Uh, good going there. Good going for Chippo Paris. Uh, good batting performance by Wilson there. Good going there for him. Uh, enjoying his batting. Uh, with that six, the score was up to 32. We are, mind you, score. We are the O number two. Batsman, a bowler is Stephen. Being punished once again this time. A bad shot. Bad shot applied by the Wilson. There was not at all necessary with that shot. Going across and leg, uh, gifting his wicket. Uh, so that's the first wicket fallen for uh, uh, Jibo Parish. Good batting performance by the Wilson after a bad shot selection back short selection or i can say it was a bad selection because it was a, a playable ball but going across and uh, giving gifting his wicket so with that uh, uh, jibu loses their first wicket that's uh, the new uh, batter uh, joining uh, uh, sandeep is uh, an extreme uh, experienced batter for uh, jibu parish uh, we can see now a left and right and bat uh, combination for jibu parish Meanwhile, we came to the end of the over number two. At the end of two overs, uh, uh, Jibu Parish were uh, 20, 34 for the loss of uh, the wicket of uh, Wilson, where he was batting very beautifully, but lost his patience and gifting his wicket. Clean bowl of the bowling of Stephen after scoring. I'll let you know what is his score. Meanwhile, there's a bowl change. Johnson, the bowler. This time to Sandeep. Sandeep wants... Uh, a late shot, what can never can say it uh, rats in the pad, empiring signaling a leg by. So, with that extra, with score moves up to 35. So, good going for uh, Jibu Parish. Uh, they are scoring uh, nearly a 17 runs per over. Alvin, lovely shot, uh, played by Alvin. What a shot! Uh, beautiful looking shot, uh, just manipulating that and. Uh, Lifting over the fielder's head uh, and gets a boundary there. With that boundary, score moves up to 39 on the board. Good going batting performance by Alvin. A uh, welcome boundary from the blade of uh, Alvin. Here is uh, Johnson. This time to Alvin. Alvin this thing left it alone and Empire signals wide. So bad bowling day by the uh, bowlers of uh, Eliar Pada. Gifting too many runs in the form of extras. Uh, here is... Uh, Johnson once again to the batsman Alvin. The stand towards the left side. Alvin wants a third drive again. Uh, Empire signals a wide. So two back to back uh, wide bowled bowled by the uh, the bowler Johnson. Uh, 
so i think uh, they need some patchwork uh, of uh, uh, bowling side because uh, give to me too many runs uh, so this uh, is not going well for the bowlers of Ilya Padav. Johnson this time to all in left low again a wide ball bad bowling by the bowler meanwhile uh, the keeper I think uh, Josie number eight giving some tips it's a left and right in combination meanwhile score is uh, 42 on the board we are in the third hour progress uh, and uh, we can see the batting performance of the host uh, Jepu team. Johnson once again to fall in. Alvin wanted to play on to the on drive but missed it completely. Collected by the keeper. No runs. Uh, a dot ball to follow up. Here is Johnson who taps into the floor before delivering his delivery to the batsman. Alvin. Alvin drives. Lovely shot. Beautiful looking shot. It was a half volley. Just going for this back foot shot and pulling over on side for a beautiful four runs with that boundary. Score moves up to 46. Uh, good going for the batsman Alvin. Uh, as I said, it's a left and right in combination. It will be a neat lot of uh, adjustments to the bowler. That's time again. Played up his but now uh, ball dropping in no man's area. Meanwhile, batsman cross for a single with that single score moves up to 47. Good going, uh, good batting performance by the batsmen of uh, Jubu Parish. So, here is Johnson, this time to the batsman Sandeep. Sandeep wanted to drive it, going for gain a wide ball. This is the fourth wide ball for the bowler. Johnson not going good for the bowler, so as to the Iliar Padu Parish, uh, gifting too many runs in the form of extras. So, Johnson for the last time in this over to the batsman uh, Sandeep. Might be gain a wide, yes it is. Uh, this is a sixth wide bowl by Johnson. Very bad bowling day by the bowler. So, 48 on the board. 49, sorry. 49 on the board. One short of 50. That can show, that uh, we can see that how, what is the batting performance of Jibu Parish. Nearly 16 runs per over. Here's Johnson this time going rough to the pads, but uh, batsman crossing for an, uh, I think about, uh, yeah, it's a leg by, and we come to the end of over number three. After the end, that's a 50. 54 by Jepo Parish. After the end of uh, three overs, Jepo Parish uh, lost the toss, put into bat by the Elia Pardo Parish. Uh, they are 50, exactly 50 for the loss of one wicket. The batsman, wicket of uh, Wilson, who was uh, clean bowled of the bowling of Stephen after making. Uh, uh, 26 well made 26 runs good batting performance by the young lad of uh, Jimmy Parish Wilson so there's a bowling change from the side of Eliar Padav who is the bowler jersey number it's Glenn Glenn has been introduced to bowl the fourth uh, fourth over of the innings of uh, Jimmy Parish and the batsman facing is none other than the, the right hand batsman Sandeep so Glenn the bowler to Sandeep. Sandeep drives all along the carpet. Good looking shot by this uh, uh, batsman. Very sensibly bad batting performance. Uh, this was this is the batting uh, what I can what I see want to see from Sandeep because uh, uh, gradually he is a uh, hard hitter of the bowler, but this time uh, is playing his uh, uh, cameo role. And Milta this time a wide delivery bowled by the bowler Glenn, and with that uh, the side total. Moves up to 52 on the board. 52 for the loss of one wicket. Meanwhile, Glenn, this time to the batsman left and batsman uh, Alvin. Again, just uh, a Chinese cut applied by uh, Alvin. Meanwhile, batsman cross for a single with that single score. Moves up to 53. Good batting by the both the batsmen. Uh, routine. The last wicket was fallen at the score of, uh, I can say, 28. These two batsmen added another 20. 5 runs, 25 runs, valuable runs for the second wicket play between Alvin and Sandeep. This time Sandeep drives uh, towards the vacant area at the ample time to uh, cross in for a single with that single with score moves up to 54 on the board. Good batting performance by uh, Sandeep and Alvin. Uh, both playing sensibly, rotating the strike and going for a uh, whacking the uh, odd delivery. This time Sandeep, uh, Alvin driving. Uh, on to the onside gets a single with that with that single score moves up to 55 last two balls uh, remained and of the bowling of Glenn we are in the fourth over of the innings of uh, Jibu Parish uh, 
Here is Glenn. This time to the right hand batsman Sandeep. Sandeep falls drive. And again, Empire spinning his arm and declares a wide. Too many wides bowled by the bowlers of Iliar Padav. Uh, bad bowling performance by the Iliar Padav Parish. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jipu are in the driving seat. They are uh, 50. 56. 56. This time, the player obviously will it be taking the ball towards the buffer and a foolish bit. Uh, foolish bit of. Uh, Feeling they made by the Ilya Padav, where uh, it could have uh, taken that catch, but uh, the fielder was a bit lazy in uh, clinching that uh, uh, easy catch and gifting a, a, a life for the batsman Sandeep. Meanwhile, Alwyn, Alwyn drives up Wesley by landing in no man's area, and just uh, meanwhile, batsman has ample time to cross in for a single. With that, we come to the end of over number four. After the end of four overs, uh, Jupa Parish put into bat. Uh, are 58 for the loss of uh, one wicket. Uh, now, uh, these two batsmen added uh, a valuable 30 runs uh, for the second wicket. Good going for both uh, Sandeep and Alvin. Uh, now it is uh, might be, I don't know what will be the time, uh, but these two batsmen will charge of the bowling of Eliyar Padov bowling attack. Now, uh, there's a small break uh, made by the Eliyar Padov teammates. Uh, for selecting uh, the bowler who will bowl and uh, it will be 11 just number 11 it's a uh, Prajwal the bowler Prajwal being introduced to bowl the second over of his quota and the fifth over of the innings of uh, Jipu Parish uh, Prajwal coming uh, round the wicket uh, around the wicket sorry it's uh, over the wicket uh, to Lovely shot applied by Sir Alvin, just uh, driving, not of a power behind that shot, but meanwhile he gets a single with that single score, moves up to 59 on the board. Good going for uh, two batsmen, meanwhile Sandeep uh, wants his bat to be changed. And this is a uh, waste of time. Come on, batsman Nasadeep. Continue his play. So Prajwal is waiting to deliver his second delivery to the batsman uh, Sandeep. is ready to bat and ready to face the bowling of Prajwal. 59 on the ball. Prajwal for the second time with the O number 5. This time, again a wide. All the bowlers of Ilya Padav have gifted the runs in the form of wides. Prajwal. Nice shot, this might be a four runs, lovely shot, good looking shot played by Sandeep, just moving across to his onside and uh, giving some, making some room and driving towards the final link boundary, with that, uh, with that boundary score moved up to 63, 64 sorry, 64 on the board, good going for uh, these, these two batsmen as well as the host team, 64 for the loss of one wicket. Here is Prajwal, this time to Sandeep, and a spectra wide ball and moves all in crossing for a quick single. And Empire signals a wide with that a uh, couple of runs with that couple score moves up to 66. Uh, good going for Jabu Parish. 66. That means uh, 38 runs uh, added for the second wicket between uh, Sandeep and Alvin. Good going between uh, good batting performance by these two batsmen. Uh, slowly, the heat been uh, increasing. So do the cricket heat in Jepupa ground. Meanwhile, batsman cross for a single that was played by Alvin with that uh, single score up to 67 on the board. 67. So, Prajwal this time to Sandeep. What will do is Asam Sandeep wanted a big shot but uh, missed his timing. Just driving towards the onside. Gets a single with that single score up to 68. So, good bowling. Uh, sorry, good batting performance by these two batsmen. Sensible bit of a cricket play or game of cricket being played between these two batsmen, especially by Alwyn and Sadeep. Meanwhile, Prajwal, this time to Alwyn, Alwyn Braz, obviously, taking the ball, landing in no man's area. Meanwhile, Balvin, and the game, of course, cross only for a single without single, score moves up to 69 on the board. We are in the Prajwal 
for the last time this time bro sunday blinking lovely shot and simply for a beautiful uh six uh -uh. what is the decision i'm not surely no it's a six okay good bit uh, batting performance by sandeep there so with that six comes up to 75 75 after the completion of over number 5 that is that means uh, jaipur parish are scoring at the rate of 15 runs per over 75 that means another three more runs uh, will be a 50 runs partnership between uh, alvin and sandeep 75 the first wicket was fallen at the score of uh, 28 on the board after that you can see the batting performance of uh, uh, sandeep and alvin good going good batting by these two batsmen uh, hitting the uh, scoring board and uh, punishing the bowler when it is needed that's the batting uh, cricket uh, we want to see from the batsmen of uh, jopur parish meanwhile there's a bowling change from the side of elyar padav Glen will bowl his uh, second over of Scotta and the sixth over of the innings of Jaipur Parish. Uh, meanwhile, that was a dot ball bowled by Glen. So Glen for the second time to the batsman Alvin. Alvin Raj up his limited start straight to the field and oh, what a misery! What a misery! That should have been taken, but uh, uh, fielder. made some clumsy bit of fielding there you have to take those opportunities because opportunity will not come daily and uh, it's a it's a dead ball declared by the umpire so glen has to bowl this delivery so it was a dead ball declared by the umpire here is glen So Sandeep is ready to bowl face the bowling of Glen Sandeep is bowling uh, batting very sensibly this is the first day i'm seeing the batsman like Sandeep playing his normal cricket that's it Sandeep go for it here is Glen Sandeep dives wrapped to the bats and going for a quick single will let me run and now and good and uh, umpires uh, uh, signaled his leg by as i said uh, earlier this is the first time i'm seeing sandeep playing a sensible bit of cricket not hurrying for his shots not giving his wicket but playing very cleverly very brilliantly good going for sandeep so now glen this time to alvin alvin a super fit shot what a shot just going for a, what would it be that's a four runs beautiful looking shot that's a batting power and battery uh from the side because i can say that said earlier alvin the what i can say he can he is the a backbone of uh, a jipu uh batting team is the backbone we can see uh we've got still other more batsmen to come but still is considered as a backbone of uh, jipu parish here is uh, uh releasing his uh, batting performance here is glen to all in all drives this time all along the ground to a big in area will it be it field at the yes uh, field at the by the fielder meanwhile batsman had the ample opportunity to cross in for single last ball to go and meanwhile the ball is back to the pavilion the score is uh, 82 on the board Lovely shot this time and we are taken there and yeah and ball oh, 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 oh. uh, uh, Sandeep is lucky on this day this is the second life <laughs> to Sandeep meanwhile batsman cross for a single so we come to the end of over number 6 uh, after the end of 6 overs uh, Jupu Parish are 83 so 83 that means uh, uh, 55 runs 55 runs uh, added between uh, Alvin and Sandeep the next match will be played between uh, uh, Nirkan Parish and Kasha Parish i request both the skippers allow uh, 
escorting with your players please do come for the uh, commentary box for the signature i repeat nirkan parish as well as uh, uh, kashya parish this time full is still away but uh, uh, sandeep had no opportunity for uh, lifting it but uh, just sensibly driving all lengths steven the bowler and this time to alvin score is 84 on the board steven alvin All the drives up as they fall. Three runs. Good looking shot. It was a bad bowling day by the bowler. Uh, after several pitches, and a batsman like uh, Alvin will never make miss those opportunities uh, driving towards the mid wicket area for a three runs. With that, uh, three score moves up to 87 now. Will that cross? And this time, uh, full blooded shot applied with him. Alvin missed it completely, and it's uh, to the bat. Oh, yes, and pass signaling it's from the blade of Alvin. So with that single score moves up to 80 88 we are in the 7th over that brings in uh, all us uh, sandeep into strike mind you they have lost only one wicket sandeep all in all this is a wide bowl by uh, steven there bad bowling by the elia padav still they have to bowl the quota Here's Stephen. This time, and they've dropped back in the pads. Uh, meanwhile, batsman crossed for a single. With that single, score moves up to 89. That's a leg by declared by the umpire. 90, 90, sorry, 90 on the board. We are in the seventh over. Bowler is uh, Stephen, and batsman facing him is none other than left-hand batsman Alvin. 90 on the board. Will they cross that magic figure of 100? This time, Alvin drives handsomely towards the on-dive. but gets only a single with that single score moves up to 91 on the board good going a uh, batting performance by alvin and sandeep and steven for the last time in this over to the batsman sandeep let's see will, uh, will they be a big shot sives handsomely towards the wicket area that's a four runs beautiful looking shot by this hand sandeep uh, with that boundary score moves up to 95 on the board lovely batting performance by these two batsmen uh, good going for uh, these two batsmen uh, so do the host jepu parish uh, So with that boundaries, uh, we come to the end of over number seven, uh, 95 for the loss of one wicket. That's the highest score uh, scored in the tro SJC Trophy uh, 2024. The last highest was 73 uh, scored. I don't, I don't know who the, which team have scored that, but uh, today I'm witnessing the host Jaipur Parish uh, scoring 95, lost only one wicket. Uh, so I uh, request the skipper of uh, Kashya. Please do come forward for the signature, as well as Nirkan Parish. So last over will be bowled by the bowler Deepak and batsman facing him as left-hand batsman Alvin. This time, full is delivery. He missed it completely, Alvin. Bad luck might be run out there, and it's gone. A bad uh, suicide will run out uh, for Alvin. He didn't expect it that he would have uh, been run out, but uh, that's it. Good batting, good, ladies and gentlemen. Give a good applause for the batsman uh, Alvin for his beautiful batting performance uh, for uh, Jibu Parish, uh, losing nine, the second wicket at uh, score 95 on the board. Good batting performance by the batsman uh, Alvin. Uh, great going for him. Congratulations for the batsman. Uh. So the new batsman uh, for joining Sandeep is another experienced batsman uh, for Jibu Parish. It's none other than uh, Arun uh, being. Uh, uh, accompanied by sandeep this time sandeep guys oh this is a foolish batting this might be a foolish batting because you have to go for that bowling now you can't apply a blind shot just connect the ball here is deepak to the batsman sandeep pull us and might be a catch there oh it is four runs ball dropping in no man's area and gets a welcome boundary for uh, the batsman uh, sandeep that's one shot 100 for uh, jepu parish one shot 100 here is uh, deepak this time to sandeep sandeep does a lovely shot raw shot and that's uh, four runs beautiful looking shot uh, there by sandeep with that boundary uh, they cross the magic figure one not three on the board one not three for the last of uh, two wickets the uh, last wicket was uh, Alvin been run out so Deepak this time to Sandeep 
Deeper for the fifth time, so about two Sunday, Sunday tries all along the carpet towards the onside and gets a single for that with that single score move up to 80 now 104. 100 and so last ball of the innings of Jabu Parish 104. Some lovely shot by Arundatsa. Welcome, Sixer from the blade of uh, Arun with that six uh, score moves up to 110 so they'll end the innings of uh, Jibu Parish uh, making a huge 110 uh, get lost only two wickets and congratulations Sandeep another batting performance uh, dream dream innings by Sandeep uh, dream innings that's a uh, dream innings uh, what I witnessed uh, all these years I never seen uh, a batting performance of Sandeep all these years. Congratulations, Sandeep. So that's it. 110 losing two wickets to the parish. Uh, 32 have been scored by uh, Sandeep. Uh, top batsman's uh, top scoring for uh, the Jupu host. The first one to go was Wilson, who made 26 valuable runs. The second was uh, Mr. Sandeep, who remained unbeaten, 32 runs. And another one batsman was uh, Alvin, who made 27 runs after being uh, badly being run out. So, 110 Jibu Parish losing their losing two wickets. That means uh, uh, Eliar, pa Eliar Padov have to chase Nelson. Nelson means 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's a uh, a bad omen for uh, English cricket team because they consider it's a bad woman uh, omen. Triple one is a bad omen for English cricket team. But anyway, a score is score. They have to score Nelson in order to enter the second round. A huge target in front of uh, Eliar Padov. So, Jipu a huge field being set up. I call upon the Karsha Parish. Please do for come forward for the signature escorting with your teammates. There's a second match played between uh, Jepu Parish and uh, Eliar Padav. Eliar Padav won the toss and requesting Jepu Parish to bat. So I request the Eliar Padav, please do, uh, opening batsmen, please do come forward and open your innings. So, two batsmen for Ilya Padav are Glenn, Glenn and Praj, Prajwal. So, Prajwal and Glenn, Glenn will take the strike. So, opening ball for uh, Jibu Parish will be Wilson, a cameo hero of uh, Jibu Parish. Now he proved in uh, by his batting performance. Let's see, will he show the same magic in his bowling? So I request uh, a vehicle. Please do Naikan. So that's the first delivery bowl by Wilson. That's a dot ball bowl by Wilson, and uh, no runs been added to total. So Wilson, for the second time, two the batsmen again going for the same shot, missed it completely. Wilson bowling very sensibly towards the uh, legs of uh, the batsman Glenn. Here he comes for the third time. Lovely ball, like well, well played by the batsman, just driving towards the gully area. Meanwhile, batsman had ample time to cross in for a single, so that's the first one for uh, Eliar Padov. They are chasing a huge total of uh, 111 in their allotted eight overs. Uh, so Wilson, this time to the new batsman uh, Prajwal, right hand batsman Prajwal. Lovely shot applied all along the carpet towards the onside. Meanwhile, uh, before Alvin could uh, feel that. Batsman had ample time to cross in for a single. With that single, uh, both the batsmen opened the account uh, with that single. So they are two without loss. Eliar Padov chasing a target of 111. Wilson this time. Lovely shot. Played up freshly. 
but uh, bad uh, ball landing in no man's area and that's a leg by sorry leg by declared by the umpires with that extra score was up to three on the board wilson this time to the batsman prajwal <laughs> wrapped to the bats appeal a huge appeal for the leg before but umpire negative and then it's a signal leg by meanwhile batsman cross for a single we come to the end of over number one good bowling there by wilson giving only four runs so four without loss elyar padav chasing a target of uh, 111 so meanwhile who will bowl the second over for jibu parish it's uh, beyond another overcoming Oh, yeah, I can say youngster for Jeppu team. Youngster. An upcoming uh, bowler for Jeppu, the host team. Devon. He will bowl the second over of the innings of Eliar Padav. He'll come uh, bowling over the wicket to the batsman uh, Prajwal. Score is four on the ball. Here is Devon. Devon. Time might be wide. Yes, it is. As Luzner bowled by the bar bowler Devon. With that extra score moves up to five. So the next match will be played between uh, Kasha Parish versus Nirkan Parish. Here's Devon this time towards the legs of the batsman Prajwal, just uh, driving towards the onside. And gets a single for that. With that single score moves up to six on the board. So, a very calm start for uh, Eliar Padav Parish. We have not even seen any uh, big shot applied. They want, seriously want some big shots from the blades of Eliar Padav Parish. This time again, a bad bowling there by Devon. Bad bowling by the Lang lad. As I said, he's an uh, upcoming youngster cricketer for uh, Jibu Parish, not turn bowl the extras because extras will kill you boy every extra will be a villain to your opponent remember that here's the one for the next time to deliver his next delivery to the batsman glenn lovely ball missed by everybody a dot ball by the bowler devon anyway even it is a sunny, hot sunny day, you see many of the cricket lovers been spread all over the ground of uh, uh, Jipu grounds. It's very nice to see that uh, he's due on this time, wrapped to the bats. It's uh, might not considered a run. It's a no, yeah, but run can't given be a run. It's a deliberate padding because batsman has not offered any shots for that so it kind of regarded as it's a dot ball bowled by Devon this time Devon to Glenn again back to the bats will it be around? oh <laughs> how did Sanjay missed it so meanwhile batsman cross for a single with that single score with up to Eight on the board. So singles won't help for uh, Elia Padu Parish. They need some uh, big shots, uh, big bullish shots uh, from the blades of uh, the batsmen of uh, Elia Padu. Devon, this time, this time, lovely and stumping turns uh, and appealing and uh, it's given there. So the first wicket fallen for Elia Padu Parish. Uh, uh, Prajwal being. Uh, Declared a stumped. First wicket fallen for Eliar Padav. Prajwal stumped of the bowling of Devon, uh, scoring uh, two runs to his account. The new batsman, I think, is Deepak. Deepak, jersey number eight. Deepak. So Devon to the new batsman Deepak 
First wicket fallen for Elia Padav in the form of uh, Prajwal being stumped of the bowling of Timon after scoring two runs to his account. This time, lovely ball. It was well played by the batsman towards the uh, backward area. And we come to the end of over number two. After the uh, warm welcome to frame <laughs> of Kashi Parish. Good morning. So, after the end of two hours, Ilya Padov chasing a target of 11, uh, 111. They are nine, losing, losing their one wicket. So, meanwhile, there's a bowling change. Pradeep have been introduced to bowl. Oh. <laughs> Pradeep been introduced to bowl the third over of the innings of uh, Ilya Padov Parish. And the batsman facing him is uh, the right hand batsman Deepak. Here is Pradeep. Taking his own time to deliver his first time to Deepak. This time might be a catch or ball. And yes, it is a good shot played by. That's it. That's the first boundary from the blade of Deepak. Uh, a welcome boundary from the blade of Deepak. With that uh, boundary, score is up to 13. So, uh, Luzna bowled by Pradeep. And uh, equally well punished by the batsman Deepak. So, Pradeep. This time to Deepak. Again, I love to lose the ball. When we take a lot of catch. What a catch. Beautiful looking. Nice catch. I said, there's a saying in the cricket. Uh, catches wins the matches. This is uh, another performance. Uh, nice taken day, by, taken day by the young lad. Another young lad. Uh, Alan. Another over upcoming uh, cricketer for Jibu Parish. Alan. So nice taken. So that's the first wicket for first wicket haul for uh, the bowler Pradeep. So Deepak is back to the pavilion. So the new batsman joining uh, uh, Glenn is Prem. Prem is a new batsman. So two wickets have been fallen for Eliyabha though. Pradeep. Is ready to bowl the new batsman, Prem. Lovely ball. Prem, unable to read the ball, completely missed, wrapped to the pads, a dot ball. Pradeep, no, ready to deliver the next delivery. This time a fast delivery, a plan and fumble day by the Sandeep. And it's a dot delivery, two dot uh, delivery bowled by the bowler. Good goal, good bowling day for Pradeep as well as Jipu Parish. This time to the legs, but this might be a wide, expected wide declared by the umpire. So with that extra, score up to 14 on the board. We are in the third over. Bowler is Pradeep and batsman facing him is uh, the right hand batsman, uh, Prem. Pradeep. Lovely ball. And uh, Prem has no answer for that bowling. Just uh, dot balls, too many dot balls bowled by the bowler. Pradeep, good bowling day by him, keeping the batsman quiet of Ilya Padav. This time might be a spectra wide. And uh, yes, it is declared by the umpire. The one was to the legs, this time to his uh, on offside. So Pradeep has to have a check on his bowling because uh, he can't foolishly give away too many runs in form of extras. Meanwhile, batsman connecting well towards the uh, Long on area, and we come to the end of over number three. After the end of, uh, I call upon the skipper of uh, Nirkar as well as the Kasha Parish to come forward for the toss. I repeat, skipper of uh, Kasha Parish as well as Nirkar Parish to come for the commentary box for the toss. So back to the match. After the completion of three overs, uh, Nirkar, uh, sorry, uh, Elia Padav Parish uh, chasing a target of 111. They are 16 for the loss of two wickets. The wickets of uh, Prajwal and uh, Deepak. Uh, another bowling change made by the Jipu Parish. Uh, another uh, young lad from uh, uh, Jipu Parish. Nikhil has been introduced to bowl the fourth of the innings of uh, Elia Padau. Nikhil. Here he comes. A lovely ball. Might be a run out there. And yes. A suicidal run out for... Uh, uh, Glenn. So Glenn is the batsman uh, 
been out. So that's the third wicket fallen for Eliar Padav Parish in the form of uh, Glenn. The next batsman is Stephen there. Stephen will join Prem. As I said, uh, Eliar Padav are not at all interested or because they are playing their normal game because uh, they have got a huge total in front of them. Uh, 111 is a mammoth total uh, given by the host Jepo Parish. The third match will be played between uh, uh, Kasha Parish versus uh, Nirkan. Here is Nikhil this time. Stephen uh, unable to read the bowling of uh, Nikhil completely missed. Uh, that's a dot ball. I uh, request Nirkan, Nirkan, Fergus captain, the Ekanmukari Yoje, Tosagatir, please. Nirkan, Fergus captain. This time played officially by the field uh, batsman, uh, and uh, that's for uh, four runs. So, with that boundary, scores up to. 20. So Nickel bowling a loose now and Steven uh, lifting to the mid wicket area. This time again, wrapped in the pass, given there, yes, it. Steven is back to the pavilion after being trapped like before after the bowling of uh, Nickel and that's the fourth wicket fallen for Iliar Padau Parish in the form of Steven being trapped. Okay. Meanwhile, the next match will be played between Kasha and Nirkan Parish where Kasha has won the toss. And uh, they have yet to give their decision. Meanwhile, uh, uh, a parade of uh, declining of Eliar Padav being, uh, we can see, because all the batsmen of uh, uh, Eliar Padav are coming and going. So, new batsman is Ayush joining uh, Prem. Nikhil taking his second wicket in this uh, over. Again, lovely ball there. Lovely ball. Ayush unable to read that ball. And we come to the last ball to go, Empire. So Nikhil will bowl the last delivery of the over number four. Here is Nikhil, ready to bowl the last delivery. To Ayush. Ayush drives. Lovely. It's a four runs. No need to run for that. Good shot. Nikhil bowling a loose now. And Ayush taking his time. Going for his back foot. And punching over mid wicket for a beautiful boundary. So with that boundary, score moves up to 24. We come to the end of uh, over number four. Out of the end of four was uh, uh, Iliar Padav Parish chasing a target of uh, uh, Nelson. That is uh, 111. They are 24. That means uh, another... 24 deliveries, they need, uh, uh, what I can say, 87. 24 deliveries, 87 required. It's a mammoth total in front of uh, 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 Jippo Parish. Meanwhile, a bowling chain made by the Jippo. It's Alvin, the hero of uh, the innings of Jippo. Meanwhile, wrapped in the pads, batsman cross for a single. With that single, it's a leg by. With that leg by score moves up to 25. So we are in the fifth hour. Bowler is uh, Alvin. And the batsman facing him is this time the right hand batsman Ayush. Alvin for the second time to the batsman Ayush. Lovely ball. Ayush going for a big shot. A blind shot applied by the batsman. Uh, unable to read the ball. Completely beaten. It's a dot delivery. Here is Alvin. This time to Ayush. Nice shot. Play up is liberally taken. Dion, that's it. Who makes no mistake. And another wicket fallen for Elia Padu Parish. A bad bat uh, batting performance uh, applied by the Elia Padu pa Parishness. Because uh, uh, we can see a parade of uh, existing, exiting uh, batsmen. Batsman come here and go. Next batsman is Johnson. Uh, Prem is still there in the middle. Just uh, uh, watching his uh, 
teammates giving a parade to the here is alvin ready to bowl to the new batsman johnson ah another dot ball bowled by alvin so alvin is enjoys enjoying his bowling uh, looking the batsman uh, and uh, it's a dot delivery bowl by the bat bowler so alvin is alvin might be a wide yes it is alvin you can uh, understand he's feeling uh, the heat because he batted uh, a long innings now he has uh, been requested to bowl he takes accepts the request of the teammates and uh, here he is delivering his bowl alvin this time again uh, a typical tarai bowler Alvin, this time a loose no bowl by him. Uh, thank uh, Johnson, not applying any shot behind it. So Alvin for the last time in the over to the batsman Johnson. Score still remains at uh, 20. I'll say let you know. Might be one. That's it. Appealing for leg like before appeal. What a feel. <laughs> a huge appeal made by Alvin and uh, Empire and Mode. So that we come to the end of over number five. After the end of five overs, uh, uh, Elia Prado is chasing a target of 111. They are 26 Six. losing uh, Four five. Five. five wickets. So that brings some interest uh, to Alvin, uh, sorry, uh, Sandeep. So Sandeep, the new bowler has been introduced and uh, he'll be bowling to frame. Nice bowling. Let us see. Will this the, will this be a day of Sandeep? Because I'm witnessing Sandeep the bowling. Lovely ball again. Two back to back. A dot delivery is bowled by the bowler Sandeep, and uh, the batsman is uh, Prem. Here is Sandeep. This time, another one. And now Charlie out the formal day by the fielder there, Ivan, and Mistley. That brings uh, that made. Uh, the batsman cross over a single without single score was up to 27. Sandeep. This time again, ball landing in no man's area. Field coming behind it. Bamba up for the second. My child run out there and he's gone. Wicket number five, six. And Prem is uh, run out. So that's the sixth wicket fallen for uh, Eliar Pada in the form of uh, uh, Prem being run out. So with that, uh, 27 on the board, 27 for the loss of uh, 6 wickets. The new batsman joining uh, uh, Astel. Sandeep, this time. And uh, wrapped in the pads and Chandra Varan out there. <laughs> it was... Uh, a leg by declared by them pass. So with that extra score moves up to 28, 29, sorry, 29 for the loss of uh, six wickets. Sandeep for the last time to Astle. Again, we come to the end of over number six. After the end of six overs, Elia Padao are 29 for the loss of six wickets. They remain only 12 to lose of their innings and uh, plenty more runs to be scored. Let us see, will there be another bowling change? I may not know who will bowl. Yes, there is uh, another bowling change. A young lad, a young lad from uh, Jipu Parish, upcoming batsman, cricketer for Jipu Parish. It's Alan being introduced to bowl. Uh, seventh over of the innings of Eliar Pado. He'll bowl the first delivery to the batsman uh, um, Ayush. Again, so orthodox spin bowling, bowled by Allen there. Allen to Ayush. This time, lovely ball again. Two back to back. Dot Delvis bowled by the bowler Allen. So keeping the batsman quiet. So Allen, this time to Ayush. Third time. Driving up Ashley, will it be taken now? 
it's over the ball fielder uh, especially arun and that uh, welcome boundary from the blade of uh, ayush so with that boundary score move up to double figure 33 for the loss of six wickets alan this time again uh, this time much uh, not much of a power behind that shot but meanwhile uh, batsman had ample time to cross for a single with that single the score move up to 34 on the board alan to the batsman uh, Astel might be an off chance of a stumping but uh, it was a close call Astel is still there in the middle so Allen for the last time in the over last time of the over number 7 to the batsman Astel so the next match will be played between Akasha and Nirkan Parish and this might be a four runs or a catch no it's a four runs good bit of uh, shots applied by uh, astil we come to the end of over number 7 after the end of 7 overs elyar uh, padav chasing a target of 111 they are 38 for the loss of six wickets will there be another bowling change yes uh, uh movin been introduced to bowl the last over of the innings of uh, Uh, Nirkan, uh, sorry, Elyar for the winnings. So another bowling change made by the host, Chibu Parish. Moving for the first time. This time might be a wide, a loosener ball, loosener ball by Mervin, and uh, gets a single for that. With that single, score moves up to 39. Another ball, a dog, good ball there. A dot ball to start his bowling. He's moving for the second time. This time might be a, another wide. So two back to back wide bowl bowl by Bowen. Not a bo good bowling day by him. With that extra score move up to forty. <laughs> so Bowen this time and appealing yes. So finally getting the wicket of uh, Ayush. So that's the seventh wicket fallen for Elyar Padu Parish. Uh, Ayush been uh, given leg before of the bowling of Mervin so not much of a power remained remained in the batting of uh, Elia Padav they are gifting their wickets uh, every now and then so that's a seventh wicket fallen for Elia Padav Parish at the score of 40 on the board Mervin this time again a Jason news batsman is Jason there So again a dot ball bowled by Mervin. He's moving for the fourth time in over to the batsman Jason. Jason die off. A line shot applied by the batsman. No runs there. Batsman is cool. So do the fielders of uh, Jibu Parish. Not much of a bother given by the batsmen of uh, Elia Padav. Meanwhile it's a dot wide uh, delivery ball by the bowler Mervin with that extra score move up to 41. Mervin, last time. This time might be another wide. So fourth wide ball by Mervin. Now best bowling day by him. So with that extra score move up to 41, 42. Sorry. Wrapped the bats might be run out there and formal day by the uh, so with that leg by score move up to 43. So we come to the end of the last ball. I think so. <laughs> The last ball of the innings of uh, Elyar Padav, 43 on the board, 43 for the loss of seven wickets. Might be this time straight to the fielder Ivan, and that's it. Congratulations, Jammu Parish. They beat uh, Elyar Padav handsomely, uh, 43 minutes, uh, hardly 68 runs, 67 runs. Jammu Parish beat Elyar Padav by 67 runs. Congratulations for Jammu Parish. in entering the second round the man of the match uh, has been considered as uh, so wilson uh, wilson has been uh, uh, chosen as uh, man of the match played between the host jeppu team and elyar padav so i request uh, uh, mr anil mr anil please do come forward and uh, give away the man of the match award to mr wilson for his uh, uh, cameo role uh, both 
by his batting performance as well as bowling. So, congratulations. So, the toss won by Nirkan Parish, uh, sorry, Kasha Parish, and uh, I call upon Mr. Wilson. Please do come forward and collect your man of the match for your. I call upon Mr. Prakash Baus. Please do come forward and give away the man of the match award to Mr. Wilson for his uh, cameo role played by. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Wilson, the man of the match of this match, second match of the day. Congratulations, Mr. Wilson. So, the third match, I will uh, give my microphone, gramophone to Mr. My fellow commentator. Do come forward, Mr. Adil, for your magic commentary. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent, for your wonderful commentary in the match number two against uh, Jeppu Parish and uh, Yeller Padawa. What a match it was. Uh, the highest uh, runs in the tournament. Uh, it's a huge 110 runs. Uh, and definitely the team body second will have a lot of pressure to come out and chase a target of uh, 110 uh, in allowed at eight overs, but if we have got a, a good start, uh, like the way how uh, the team Jeppo A, then we could have uh, noticed uh, an excellent change in the match number two. So now we are coming back to the match number three between uh, Kashia Paris and Nerkan, uh, the captain of. Uh, The captain of uh, team Kashi after winning the toss uh, elected to bat first. Uh, that's the first team uh, we have seen in this tournament uh, opening to bat first after winning the toss. Uh, and normally all the captain uh, after winning the toss uh, elected to bowl first in this tournament. But this is uh, a different game, eight hours game. Uh, they've seen how the team uh, Jebbu A have batted in the last game. Uh, so that's the intention coming from the captain of the team, uh, Kasia. No hesitation to decide to bat first. So here is the uh, signal coming from the umpire for the match. Number three, Nawaz giving a signal uh, to the commentator box uh, to start the innings. Uh, the two batters, Desmond and the strikers, and, uh, and Anish will be starting the proceeding. Uh, here comes Anish, passing the umpire right arm all the wicket. First ball, uh, nicely played uh, onto the cover position to get off the mark. Uh, Without the team, uh, Kasia Paris uh, opens their uh, innings uh, with a single coming in the bat of uh, Desmond. Uh, and we have a new batsman uh, facing the bowling of Ernest is Preetham, uh, another experienced player for the team Kasia Paris. They'll be facing for the first time in this tournament. Uh, a defensive play uh, straight to the bowler giving full respect. Uh, Nicely bowled by the bowler, uh, not giving any width or room for the batsman to score runs. Uh, that's the line of length what Anis needs to bowl for his side. Uh, wicket to uh, wicket. Uh, this time just uh, a push onto the outside, uh, onto the square like region to get off the mark. Uh, this light is fumbled by the the fielder on the mid wicket position. Once again, uh, there is a chance for another extra run. Uh, but this is uh, not a good sign for the fielders of uh, Nirkan. Uh, 
It was just a single at the end, uh, getting an extra run in the form of an overthrow. But the team Kasia, they will take those kind of an extra runs given by the opponent. Uh, that will get their team total uh, building up. Uh, the snap straight to the feeder on the mid wicket. Uh, slightly misfeed by the feeder who was uh, starting close uh, on to the onside. Uh, the youngster uh, missing it and uh, a single has been taken on to the deep coming in the bat of Pritham uh, over the deep mid wicket region. Uh, runs are coming in the uh, form of singles and doubles. Uh, on his uh, fifth time, but this time uh, drifting uh, down the leg stick. That's the first first wide coming uh, in the bowling of Ernest. Uh, the score uh, moves on to five. Still two to go. Kone Ayrudes at the back of the over number one. Ernest uh, after bowling a good time. Line of length this time losing his uh, line and bowling slightly far away from the leg stick. That's another wide. So two back to back wides, two of the same direction uh, onto the leg side. And this time the ball kissing the pad. Uh, slightly misfeed by the feeder on the leg slip and costing an extra run in the form of uh, by uh, another extra adding to the total. Extras are bolting in this over. We have seen three extras in the last. Uh, couple of balls which has been bowled by Anis. He still have one to go to complete his first over. Uh, defensive to play. Uh, luckily the ball did not carry straight to the bowler. Uh, Pratham could have gone for a big hit onto the onside. Uh, there was a chance uh, to attack the loser ball uh, which has been bowled by the opening bowler. Uh, so without the O number one coming to an end of the completion of first over scores on seven for no loss. Uh, anything above 60 plus will be a defendable target. It's not so easy to play under the hot uh, conditions uh, at uh, St. Joseph Ground. Uh, we know that uh, last evening uh, a couple of uh, places in uh, Mangalore Zone uh, noticed with the heavy rain. Uh, luckily, we couldn't find that in our area. Hopefully in the last coming days uh, we can uh, see some uh, rains coming so that that will be make the weather condition changed and uh, some relief uh, from having this uh, hot climate. Uh, the very first ball of the over number to lick it uh, starting with the wider far away from the leg stake. Uh, an extra run considered this time once again another wide. Uh, so this time the runs are coming in the form of extras. We have seen in the last game, the match number two, a plenty of extras bowled by the bowlers of uh, Yelyar Padav. Uh, we do not want to notice uh, those kind of an extra runs uh, in this game. Uh, in the last game, it took plenty time uh, to finish the innings. Uh, hopefully we can just complete the, the match uh, of the first innings uh, within the given period of time. That is 32 minutes time has been allowed to complete the eight overs. Uh, so I'm going for a drive, uh, unable to time it right in the middle of the bat, uh, getting uh, out to right, the ball raising quickly to the short third band region for a single. This time once again the wicket keeper missing it completely, runs are coming in the form of extras, uh, plenty of voids, uh, lick it, uh, is losing his line and uh, the experience uh, player of the team, uh, Nerkan is uh, Bowling some lot of whites, uh, giving a gifted run to the opponent. Uh, that's the line of length what the wicket needs to do. That will cause uh, some problems for the batters. If you keep bowling a door to deliver, the batsman will take a charge, going for a big hit, uh, and uh, end up by giving their wickets. Uh, but not bowling a lot of wide because that will. Uh, Make you to bowl another extra ball in the over. Uh, this is a long over. We have seen on his bowling uh, first four ball. It was right on the middle, but the last two ball. This time the batsman uh, Desmond coming down the track. Uh, just a single uh, coming in the bat of Desmond towards the long off position. Last ball of the over number two. Pratham obviously played onto the long off. Uh, one ball straight to the fielder. Uh, 
to keep this strike in the next over. Single conceded in the last ball of the over number two. After the completion of two over scores on uh, 16, run rate is exactly around eight runs per over. 16 runs partnership uh, between uh, Desmond and uh, Pritam. If they carry in a similar fashion uh, in the remaining six overs, uh, about 60 plus uh, will be a decent target, but definitely they are playing a sensible cricket out in the middle, uh, keeping their wickets in hand. Uh, that's what the openers need to do. carry the similar fashion like the way how we are doing it right now if you just play another couple of uh, overs without losing a wicket and then at the end you can go after the bowling uh, Praveen uh, has been asked to bowl the over number three and he starts with the dotted one uh, going for the sweep shot missing it completely well kept behind the stumps uh, second time this yes, time going for the bucket. Uh, there is a man underneath. Will the catch will be taken? Attempt was done over the deep in wicket region. But at the end, uh, the batsman uh, crossing for another extra run. Uh, it's not so easy to take those kind of catches to that direction. That's the longest part of the ground. But still, uh, an attempt was done. Uh, you need to appreciate the effort done. This time, uh, down the leg stick. And that's the first biggie coming in the bat of Pritham. Uh, what a hit it is. Uh, just bowling towards the pads of the batsman, Pritham. He is quite strong enough toward that direction. We know that most of the players uh, are too strong towards the pad. Anything drifting down the leg will be dispatched out of the park. That's the first six. Uh, can we see a couple of more? Uh, but this time the batsman has to depart. Uh, going for the drive on to the offside region. Uh, missing it completely. Uh, relief really for the bowler and relief really for the captain of uh, Nirkan. The captain will be desperately... Wanted to get a wicket of uh, Pritham. Uh, he was uh, set out in the middle, getting runs uh, in the bat. Uh, as soon as the six has been hurt, uh, the bowler uh, getting rid of the dangerous man. Uh, we get fallen at the right time uh, where the partnership was building up uh, for the team. Uh, 24 runs partnership finally been broken uh, by Praveen. Uh, we have a new batsman, Barnoch, another experienced player walking down the ground. Uh, Manoj, uh, another experienced player uh, for the side. He'll be facing the bowling of uh, Provin. A single uh, taken in the very first ball. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. An experienced player walking out in the middle. The very first ball, uh, getting a single. Uh, that will boost his confidence. Uh, if it sticks till the end of the eight overs, uh, we can see some biggie coming in the part of uh, Manoj, uh, who loves to go after the bowling of uh, Nirkan. Uh, probably no uh, final time in this over. Uh, batsman coming down the track, on to the deep wicket region. Uh, just for the single to keep the strike in the over number four. After the completion of three overs, goes on 26. Uh, The run rate is uh, building up, uh, we have seen in the first two overs, uh, they were carrying the run rate of around uh, 8 runs per over and now if you see the equation, they are close to 9 runs per over. Uh, So Jane the bowling in for Nirkan, another bowler has been in a asked to bowl the over number uh, for a left arm bowler coming down with the wicket, uh, Lester and straight up he's been welcomed for a big six coming the bat of Desmond, he doesn't lose us, those kind of uh, width given by the bowler to go for a biggie, that was slightly outside the off stick uh, and he knew that if he connects right in the middle of the bat, the power behind the shot carries the ball out of the park onto the squalic position for a second six of the match. Uh, this time, definitely, umpire will call it as a no-ball. And Desmond knows that he has missed another chance uh, to clear that out of the park. But it doesn't matter. He has uh, a chance now because that's a free-hit ball. Uh, 
can he make use of it? Uh, this time coming down the track. A free hit ball has been hammered on to the long on position. One bounce uh, over the boundary rope. Uh, that's the first free hit we have seen in this tournament uh, where the boundary has been hit. The last evening, not even a one free hit ball was utilized by the batters. Uh, but this time, Desmond is the first person to hit a boundary in the free hit ball. Uh, pressure back to the bowler, uh, Lester. Uh, this time down the track. Uh, Luckily, the ball did not carry over the park by the batsman. Desmond finding the feeder onto the fly leg position just for a single. And this goes jumping to 38. Two aldrins conceded in this over. Still uh, plenty of balls left. This man, batsman Manoj, going for the big hit, mistiming it. Will the catch will be taken? And that's a uh, life given to Manoj. Uh, that will be definitely a costliest one. We have seen a couple of catches put down in the last game. And then the batsmen have utilized candy the innings till the end. And this time there was a chance for the Manoj for a big hit. Uh, could not time it right in the middle of the bat. Uh, in the end, uh, finding a fielder inside the 30-yard circle towards the short fine leg. Uh, another single adding to the total. Uh, last ball remaining of the over number. Four, Kuniyasita. And this time driven it uh, over to the long off to finish the over number four with a boundary coming in the back of uh, Desmond. He started the innings uh, of the over number four with a big six uh, and ended uh, with the boundary in the last ball of the over number four. Uh, and with the help of that boundary, the score jumping to 45. And now the run rate is pushed uh, over uh, 11.5 runs per over uh, started with the uh, eight runs then uh, in the over number three they ended close to nine but now with the over number four got completed uh, the rendered is above 11.5 so they are taking a chance uh, in each and every over to upper their run rate uh, that's a good sign from the batters of uh, team akashia this will be a definitely not a good sign for the bowlers of nirgan uh, because you will be batting second uh, in the second innings, uh, anything uh, has been said, uh, it will be definitely a pressure onto the batters. Uh. Lixit, uh, once again, uh, has been asked to ball the over number two, starts with the dotted one. Uh, the man, Manoj, uh, got a life uh, in the previous over. Can he take a chance of getting some uh, big runs for his side? Uh, still 23 balls remaining in the over number for the innings to be completed. Uh, this time coming well in. There is an appeal behind the wicket keeper. Uh, but the batsman Manoj uh, missing it completely. Okay, there is some uh, changes. Uh, the bowler's name is uh, Anish uh, who started the opening over. Uh, desperately, he wants to break this partnership. Uh, another partnership is building up. This time uh, drives it. Uh, luckily, the ball did not carry to the cover fielder on the deep, uh, falling just short of him. Uh, at the end, uh, just a single taken. On the other end, Desmond is connecting the ball very well in his uh, innings. Uh, look at the way how uh, he has carried his innings. Come as an opener, uh, still out there in the middle. Coming down the track, uh, over the long off. And that's a biggie, but a decision ready for the umpire. And that's a six. Uh, all the way on to the crowd uh, for a biggie. That's a uh, second six coming in the innings of uh, Desmond. And the third six for the... Team uh, Kashya with the help of that six, that's a 50 up for the team Kashya coming at the right time in the over number five. Once again coming down the track, this time uh, the catch has been put out but definitely that attempt was done by the angster uh, on to the mid wicket region. Uh, we need to appreciate the effort done by the fielder, uh, just the beginning of his uh, cricketing career uh, and he has shown an excellent uh, attempt has been done. Uh, this time a slog sweep. Uh, in between the two fielders, but at the end, uh, just a single conceded uh, to keep the strike uh, on the next over. Uh. Over number five coming to an end. After the completion of five overs, scores on 54. Uh, they're still uh, carrying their run rate uh, close to 11 runs per over. Uh. They have still another 18 more balls. If we calculate the equation in the next 18 overs, if they carry in the similar fashion, then at the end of uh, 8 overs, the score could raise about 90 to 95. But definitely they will try to score around 100 runs. Uh, this time, uh, 
driven it uh, onto the deep, onto the onside region, coming in the bat of Manoj. Manoj is now timing right in the middle of the bat, but he needs to just take a single, give a strike back to Desmond, uh, who is striking very well out in the middle. Uh, his strike rate is pretty good enough, uh, about 200. Uh, coming down the track, drives it onto the cover position, slightly fumble, but at the end, well, cut down by the fielder. Uh, a single take and uh, a leg shot, uh, a bowling a sensible uh, line length, uh, not making any room given for the batsman to play some big hits. Uh, this time far away from the leg side. That's not the line what the bowler needs to do. Keep a tight line, middle and off, uh, rather than bowling uh, onto the leg side uh, position of the batters. Because most of the batters are quite strong enough if you bowl slightly away from the leg stick, uh, the batsman will definitely go after. This time there was a chance for the batsman Manoj good to play an officially drive uh, over the long off, but he was too early to play that shot. Missing it, uh, ending with the dot ball. Three balls have been bowled, three runs have been conceded in this over. Still three to go. This time there was a chance behind the stumps by the wicket keeper misses it. Uh, that's another chance, the second chance given for the batsman Manoj, but still he has not utilized that uh, life given. Kunia Irudis in the Baki of the over number six. Uh, And this time finally connecting right in the middle of the bat. That's what I was talking about while earlier. Manoj is a hard hitter of the tennis ball for the team Kasha. He was not connecting right in the middle of the bat. Once when he starts connecting from the middle, you can see the ball uh, clearing out of the park. That's a boundary, welcome boundary coming in the right moment because the bowler uh, licks it, was bowling a tight line length. It's considered just uh, three runs in the first four balls. But now if, uh, at the end, a boundary has been hit. Now there is an appeal for the stumps. And on pass says the Manoj has to depart. Uh, the last moment, he could not drag his back foot behind uh, the line, uh, resulting by giving his wicket. The partnership was building up at the end. The wicket has been fallen at the over number six of the last ball. Uh, that's the second wicket uh, at the score of uh, 61. The run rate has been tipped from uh, 11 runs per over to slightly close to 10.24 yeah, after the completion of uh, 6 overs. An excellent over bowled by uh, Alexit. Uh, just a 7 and conceded in the last over apart from that one boundary coming in the bat of uh, Mando. So another excellent partnership which was building up between Desmond and uh, Mando. Uh, finally really for the captain of Nirkan. Uh, so change the ball again. Uh, we have a lefty bowler. Ravin, uh, a righty bowler, uh, bowling the over number seven for his side in the second over of his spell. He'll be bowling to Desmond. Coming down the track, uh, playing uh, over to the long on the position. The batsmen have an ample of time to complete the second run. Uh, the two runs, so the score slowly moves on to 60. Three, eleven more balls remaining. Uh, Desmond is a man to be watched in the final eleven ball uh, for some biggies coming in his bat. Uh, he'll already hit uh, uh, sixes and boundaries and his innings. We have seen him hitting two mighty sixes uh, from his uh, bat. Uh, Straight to the feeder, on to the mid wicket once again. Uh, that angster might have done a fumble out there, but still uh, effort behind the fielding. Uh, Every time the ball is passed towards that direction, he has stopped the ball, but it doesn't mean that uh, he's not a good fielder. He's just uh, the beginning of his cricketing career. He's doing his best to best uh, for his side. Uh, and Jason uh, facing for the first time in this innings. Uh, drives it down the ground uh, onto the long off. Uh, that's an excellent ball uh, and nicely played uh, by the batsman. Uh, full flow of the bat, driven it uh, like a uh, a drive onto the long off uh, to get off the mark with a single. Desmond coming down the track uh, over the long off. Uh, one bounce uh, to the boundary top. Uh, that's another excellent head coming. Uh, he doesn't have any fear. Uh, he keeps trying to come down the track. We don't see those kind of uh, batsmen uh, in this tournament uh, who takes those kind of uh, risk. Uh, 
to coming down the track, clearing over the long off. Uh, Kuni Ayuris at the back of the over number seven, coming in the morning of uh, Pramin. Once again, this time far better than the previous one. Can it be a biggie? That's a six. What a hit. That's the safest zone to play a cricketing hit by any batters over the umpire's head. You cannot set the field. What a hit it is. Straight to the screen guard over the long on. Once again, coming down the track. This time you have to depart. You miss I hit. But he has done his part for his side. Comes as an opener getting out in the final ball of the over number seven at the score of 39 for his side an individual 39 runs coming in the bat of Desmond what an innings uh, after the completion of uh, 7 overs the score is on uh, 75 so final 6 balls remaining can they score another 10 to 15 runs uh, to set a decent target uh, against uh, Nirgan in the meanwhile uh, can we have the next team, uh, Womanjur and uh, Tajir, uh, the two teams, uh, the players, please do come to the commentary box to register your playing level. Uh, the both the teams, uh, Womanjur and Tajir, uh, that will be the, the last match uh, from the, uh, the league stages and then we can uh, look for the another quarter final matches. Uh, Sunday, sir, there's a new batsman on the North Strikers and Jason uh, going for the big hit, missing it completely. Jason uh, bowling to Joyson. A single coming in the bat of uh, Jason towards the long of uh, Joyson as the bowler, so there's some confusion between the two names, uh, Jason and Joyson. The lefty bowler uh, and Sunday is going for a big eve. Will the catch will be taken on the deep? But umpire says that's a boundary. What a hit uh, by the batsman number five. Sunday's very first ball. Uh, the room was given to play that shot, and he doesn't miss it. those kind of a loser when bowled by uh, Joyce. And, uh, this time that's an excellent ball bowled by uh, Joyce and uh, the last couple of overs I mean the last two overs the runs are dipping down for the team Kashia without that they can uh, cross about 90 plus but this time uh, they just uh, and this time coming down the track one second this is far better than the previous one this is out of the park uh, onto the stands over the long off uh, what a hit uh, Still one more ball remaining. Konya won this at the marking of the over number uh, seven. Uh, what a hit. The last three ball tendons coming in the bat of Sunday's Final ball. Can he finish this with another biggie? Coming down the track. There was an edge. Uh, wicket keep promising it. There is a chance for an out. Uh, and umpire says the batsman is safe in his belt increase on the non strikers end. Uh, to finish the innings with a single uh, after the completion of uh, eight overs goes on. Uh, 87 it means that uh, the target of 88 needs to be chased by near Khan. that's another big total coming in the day two we've seen a big target uh, set by uh, Jeppu a scoring 110 runs in eight overs uh, setting a target of 111 uh, and attempts were done by the batters of uh, Kashia after winning the toss no hesitation to bat first and they managed to score 87. They allowed her 8 overs, uh, giving a target of 88. Definitely 88 can be chased by the batters of Nehru Khan. When uh, Kashia can score around 87 in the allowed third, uh, 8 overs, why can't Nehru Khan batters can do it? Because they have to score just 11 runs per over uh, to carry their team into the victory position. 11 runs per over is a chaseable target. It's not a tougher one under this ground. We've seen in the last couple of tournaments in the last seasons uh, a target anything above 80 plus 90 plus may have been chased by the team mounting second because you're not sure who's your opponent so definitely this will be a different format of the game either it could be a battles game or uh, the bowlers game but meanwhile uh, the team Akashia batters have done their job now it's a time for the bowlers to do their job uh, and the fielders to make their way out in the middle. Uh, 
So let's see how the bowlers of Garcia will carry this innings of uh, 88 to be chased in 8 overs. Can it will be defendable by the bowlers or can it be chased by the batters? So we'll be back shortly for the second innings of the match number 3. In the meanwhile, can we have the captains along with the players onto the dugout uh, to register your playing level? The team Vomanjur and the team Pajir. Both the teams, uh, please do come to the commentator box. It's the third goal for the both the teams, uh, Womanjur and the team Pajir. Uh, all the players along with the captain, please come to the commentator box because you need to sign your playing 11 before the end of the fourth over of the second innings. Uh, that's the uh, rules which has been organized by the, the officials. Uh, you need to come out to the commentator box, need to register your playing 11 before the end of the fourth over because as soon as the fourth over gets over, we'll be having the toss of the match uh, between uh, Pajir and Womanjur. So there's a signal uh, coming for the second innings from the umpire. Uh, chasing a target of 88. Uh, we have Desmond on the bowling end and uh, Lakeshith on the striker's end. Uh. And there is an appeal in the very first ball. Umpire and border starts with the dotted one. Uh, pressure will be definitely on the batters. Uh, Lakeshith and Lester. Uh, because the target is 88 to be chased. Uh, if they keep their mind cool... Uh, you can chase the target quite easily because you need to score just 11 runs per over. The stamp going for a biggie. Slightly fumbled by the wicketkeeper Manoj behind the stumps. A single has been taken in the form of a bye. With that, uh, the team Nehru Khan opens your account with a single. Now this is a, a quite interesting uh, because we have a lefty batsman Lester on the striker's end. Uh, Step once again, a fumble by the fielder. There is a chance for an out on the no strikers end if the throw was uh, on the right position for the bowlers to collect that because the bowler needs to be always on behind the stumps when there is a chance. Uh, I can say there's a life given to the lefty batsman uh, Lester. Lester needs to be there because he has a great opportunity to get runs for his side onto the short bottom of the ground, onto the onside. Uh, Once again, the runs have been conceded in the form of uh, extra. So both the runs are being scored in the form of buys. This time, going for the big hit. Getting in, uh, thick uh, outside edge uh, onto the pad. Then to the gully position for a single. Finally, uh, runs coming in the pad, coming in the pad of uh, Lexith. This bend. Uh, and that's a biggie, that's a big wicket. Uh, they know that the lefty batsman will cause some problems out in the middle. But Desmond, uh, he is a hero for his side. Why not? He has played an excellent NX in the bat, scoring 39 odd runs. And now uh, taking a charge, bowling the first over for his side. Getting rid of the dangerous batsman of Leicester from Nirukan. Uh, going for the big hit. He knows that every dot ball 
will get a pressure onto their team because the run rate will keep uh, ticking up and up. Uh, and now we have a new batsman, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Sushant. Uh, So final ball of the over number, uh, so still we have uh, two more ball, final ball of the over number one and uh, once again the new batsman who just walked in out in the middle uh, has to depart for a golden duck. Uh, Shushan getting out in the very first ball and Desmond picking a uh, back-to-back wickets in his over. Uh, what an over. Uh, just the one run coming in the bat, two runs coming in the form of a bite. So it means that in his first over he has just conceded one run, uh, picking a uh, two important valuable wicket for his side. Uh, and the score of uh, Melson is a new bowler, another youngster of uh, the team, Kashia bowling the over number two for his side. And he starts away, waiting for the decision whether it could be called as a no ball or a wide. But from this angle, uh, definitely the ball has pitched uh, behind the line of the crease. And that's a fake call coming from the umpire. That belongs to the bowler. Luckily, it was not called as a no ball. In the end, uh, conceding with an extra in the form of a wide. Another single taken onto the point position coming in the bat of Lixit. The runs are only coming with the singles, not even a big hit coming in the bat of Nirkhand. That's an excellent piece of work. A good bowling. That's what the bowler needs to do. Ball a tight line length makes batsmen quite difficult to play that sort of shot. The ball coming quite quicker than what the batsman Joyce was expecting to go for the big hit. But at the end, uh, resulting with the dotted one. Melson, uh, third time it is over. Uh, once again, this time Pritham uh, standing behind the stumps. Uh, there was a chance if we would have uh, collected the ball in the first attempt, we could have seen another wicket falling in the form of a stump. Uh, Melson, uh, four time. Uh, Another dotted delivery. He's just uh, keeping his line very tight uh, toward that off stick. Uh, middle and off. Uh, that's the uh, line the length what the bowler is doing it. Last two balls. Kuneer is at the back of the over number two. It started with the white bird at the end. Bowled a tight line the length. Uh, not giving any room for the batsman to score runs uh, freely. Still the runs are not coming. Uh, in a big hit, uh, chasing a target of 88. So far, the run is just uh, six on the scorecard. Final ball of the over number two. With that, uh, that's the end of the over number uh, two, resulting with a dot ball in the final ball uh, down the leg. Uh, well kept by the wicket keeper behind this term. After the completion of two overs, score is on six. Uh, when the team. Uh, Kashia, when they were batting, uh, when the over number two got over, uh, they had scored 16 runs at the run rate of eight runs. Uh, but now, if you see from the other end, uh, the team, uh, Nergan, uh, scoring at the run rate of just three runs per over, that's not a good sign. Uh, when you're chasing a target of 88, you need to get your runs uh, above uh, 11 runs per over. Now, uh, the equation is totally different. The uh, run rate is... Uh, Building uh, more than uh, 12 to 13 runs per over, which will be a tougher and tougher for uh, the team near Khan. Uh, none of the batsmen are trying to play some big hit. Uh, the way how we saw the batters like uh, Preetham, uh, Desmond, and finally the last we saw Sandesh uh, 
hitting some big hits. But from the other end, Jason uh, starting uh, the over number three with a single coming in the part of uh, Joyson. The man who had come as an opener, uh, Lixit, is still there out in the middle. Uh, could not uh, watch the ball uh, in the right way. No timing, nothing. Uh, Chers going a blind hit, uh, missing it completely. Uh, Jason. Uh, Third time uh, in this uh, innings. Uh, Jason once again back to his bowling mark. Uh, and this time, uh, the batsman uh, licks it, uh, going for a big hit. Uh, Desmond under it, uh, and what an excellent judgment on the deep, under pressure. Not so easy to take those kind of uh, catches, but the man, I can say that he is the Mr. Perfect for the team, Kashia. On the field, off the field also, he is uh, a genuine person for the team, Kashia. Look at the way how he has started the innings uh, in the both the fashions on the bat on the ball and now he's giving his hundred percent on the field taking an excellent catch and getting rid of the dangerous man of uh, Nehru Khan Lixit, uh, was struggling out in the middle was an opener uh, has to depart finally Jason uh, striking in his uh, over number first still three to go we have uh, Anis uh, the new batsman and even he has to depart the ball coming well in the last moment going for a slog sweep uh, missing it completely no connection in between the bat and bird and the batsman has to depart for another golden duck coming in the the batting lineup of the team near khan wicked sword falling in the regular interval all the bowlers who have chipped in uh, have shown an excellent spell uh, desmond uh, getting two back-to-back -back wickets in the final two balls of his over Melson bowling a tight line of length and now uh, Jason uh, there is a hat trick chance uh, we could have seen in a hat trick uh, but at the last moment the batsman uh, Praveen uh, dragging his bat at the right moment uh, dragging his back foot uh, behind the crease uh, or else we could have seen the fourth hat trick in this tournament already we have seen three hat tricks We've seen a first hat trick in the match one uh, between Sebastian and Bondil. Uh, Vishwas was the man uh, who bagged uh, six wickets uh, by conceding just four runs in two overs. Uh. So, Jason, the final time in this over. Uh, now, as he played uh, just uh, a tickle towards the, the point region to keep the strike in the next over. After the completion of three overs, scores on eight for four. And now the question is uh, like around. Uh, 30 balls, they need 80 runs. Definitely, this cannot be an easy task for the batters of Nirkhand. They have to score above 16 to 17 runs per over if they want to get their team into the next round. But this will be a definitely a tougher chances from this end because uh, they have a plenty of experience bowler now we have Manoj uh, and this time the batsman uh, Praveen uh, just playing it defensively not taking any risk he needs to go after the bowling of uh, Manoj uh, runs are not coming uh, wickets are falling uh, another dot delivery so two back to back dot ball uh, the first one coming well in the second one uh, pitching slightly out uh, he is an excellent bowler. He keeps uh, confusing the batsman uh, by ch changing his line and bowling some loser uh, by bowling some slower one, quicker one. Uh, and this time uh, the ball coming well in. Uh, seeing the ball uh, pitching from outside coming well in, uh, and find that the batsman playing a drive onto the long off for just a single. Uh, the score slowly ticking up to nine on the scorecard. Over number four in progress. Kunia Muris, the monkey of the over number. Uh, this time, uh, that's a biggie. That's what we wanted. And uh, uh, this time, coming in the bat of Anis. That's the first six uh, for the team. We need to see a uh, plenty of sixes uh, if they want to win this game. Uh, 
Still the chances in uh, if uh, Anis plays a big role for his side. That was the first loser on board by Manoj drifting down the leg and the batsman uh, going on to the... This time there is another hit. So this time it is far better than the previous one because that's not so easy to take those kind of a ball uh, which was drifting well in uh, and the batsman making a room uh, slightly going across outside the off stick and uh, look at the flick on to the square leg region for another biggie. So two sixes, two back-to-back -back sixes coming in the bat of Onis in the bowling of Mano. Still one to go. Uh -huh. And a single take gun coming in the bat of uh, Joyce and sorry. So with that, uh, after the completion of uh, over number four, score moves on to 21, uh, chasing a target of... Uh, I'm sorry, the score is on 22-14. Uh, it has been conceded in that over. Uh, so now the equation uh, is in remaining uh, 24 balls. They need another 66 runs. Uh, okay, we have uh, a change in the commentator box. Uh, we have uh, another angsters uh, will be doing the further commentary for the remaining four Overs from the Jeppe Parish, uh, we have uh, Elvis uh, will be doing the further commentary for the remaining four overs of the final innings of the match number three. Over to Elvis. So it is Mr. Desmond to bowl the fifth over. Five runs considered already in the first two balls. Score moves on to 27. So it is Mr. Praveen on strike. Desmond. Mr. completely tries to send it out of the ground, but only a single, and it's led by a single by the umpire. It doesn't matter how the runs are coming. The Nirkan Parish need a lot of them right now. Ah. Once again, Mr. Jason going for a big hit, but only managed to find a single. Score moves on to 29. Once again, it is Mr. Desmond to Mr. Praveen. Fifth ball of the server. And he's clean bowled. Mistake completely. And Mr. Desmond makes no mistake. You miss, I hit. That's the fifth wicket down for Nirkan. And Nirkan in all sorts of trouble right now. 29 for 5. And the new batsman in is. Alvin replacing Mr. Praveen Desmond for the last time in the over. Mr. Completely but and it's a double white signal by the umpire with that extra score moves on to 30 last ball of the over. A huge appeal and given. That's a six wicket down for Nirkan at a meager score of just 30 runs. They still need 58 to qualify for the next round. And they have just 18 balls left. It's a huge ask. Kashir really have the upper hand right now. Nirkan 30 for six. And the new batsman in is Mr. Roshan. Nelson for second spell, the sixth over. The equation as it stands, 58 of 18. I repeat, 58 of 18. Another huge appeal. The umpire not interested. Nevertheless, it's a dot ball. 
Nirkan under pressure. That's a dot ball to begin the sixth over. Jason on strike. Sorry, Joyson. Left alone by the batsman. The umpire unmoved. That's another dot ball. That's two dot balls in this over. Nirkan cannot afford any more dot balls. They need 58 runs of the next 16 balls. They need to showcase some big hits. Wide outside the off stump. And Joyson pushes it for a single. Singles won't be helping Nirkan at this point. Brings the new batsman, Mr. Roshan, on strike. Melton for the fourth time in this over. Another dot ball. Two balls left in this over. Great piece of bowling there by the youngster, Melson. Melson is putting the pressure on Nirkan. Two balls left in this over. Score is 31. 57 runs needed. Good shot. That's the flick of the wrist and it's a boundary. That's elegant batting from Mr. Roshan. They need a bit more of these boundaries. Score was down to 35 with a smooth boundary. Pushed away for a single. Chance of a run out but the fielder makes a fumble. Nonetheless, just a single taken. End of the over and the score moves on to 36 for the loss of six wickets. The equation, 52 runs of 12 balls. They need to score at least 26 runs each over. It is Mr. Roshan on strike. Jason, the bowler. Jason to Roshan. The fielders are drawing closer. That's a huge hit. And just over the fielder, but it's a single taken, nevertheless. With that single, score moves on to 37. Bringing Joyson on strike. That's a huge hit. It's a sixer. Beautiful batting by Joyson. Sends it over mid wicket for a sixer. Brings a score to 43. 45 runs still required. Joyson needs to showcase some more big hits. Onto the pads. Missing it completely. Another dot ball. 45 runs required of 9 balls. Another huge hit down the ground. And it's taken. Good catch there by the fielder. And Joyson, who was looking very good, has to find, its way, find his way back to the pavilion. That's a 7th wicket down for a score of 45. Sorry, 43 runs. 45 runs still required. The new batsman in is Ivan. Last two balls of this over. Pushed away for a single. A misfield over there, slight misfield, but it's only a single taken. With that single score moves on to 44. Last ball of this over. Good hit, but only a single. With that single, score moves on to 45. That's the end of the over. Nirkan still need 43 runs of the last over. It's seemingly an impossible task right now. Mr. Ritesh to bowl the last over. And Mr. Roshan on strike. 
Should rush on a strike. The equation as it stands, 43 of 6. In the air, but just over the fielder at mid-off. It's a single taken. Five balls, 42 required. Wide ball called. Way outside the off stump. For 41 needed. The umpire unmoved. That's another dot ball. 41 needed a four right now. That's a good hit. Just over the declared region. Two runs declared. That's good bowling. 49 on the board. I'll be 49 on the board. Three balls remaining. Still 39 more runs to win. And he's bowled inside edge on to the leg stump. And Ivan has to find his way back to the pavilion. That's the eighth wicket down for Nirkan. Now the next batsman in is Aaron. Replacing Mr. Ivan on the ground. Two balls left in this innings, in this match. 39 runs required. This seeming like a comprehensive win. Another dot ball. Roshan goes for the single. Will it be a single taken? And yes, it is. That's 50 up for Nirkan Parish. Last ball of the innings. And that's another dot ball. A comprehensive win for Kashia by 37 runs. They showed a great performance with the bat and the ball. And without question, the man of the match for his super batting and bowling is Mr. Desmond, scoring 39 of the bat. Scoring 39 runs of the bat and taking four wickets for 10 runs. An overall performance for his team. And his team will be proud of it. Congratulations to Kashia for qualifying to the next round. And congratulations to Mr. Desmond for his all round performance, bagging the man of the match. And request Mr. Mustak to award the man of the match award to Mr. Desmond for his all round performance. Congratulations to Mr. Desmond. Now, we are ready for the next match. The fourth match of the day, Pajir against Wamanjur. Wamanjur winning the toss and... And they opt to field first. So I request both the teams to take the field as soon as possible. And now, our stalwart commentator, Mr. Vincent Sequeira, to give the commentary. Thank you, Mr. Elvis, for a beautiful... Elvis Lobo, for a beautiful commentary. Hope you make many more commentaries in the future tournaments I wish and I am very sure that you will do it Elvis Lobo is an up upcoming commentator for Jibu Parish so let's applause him and give him courage and encouragement to do some some more commentary works not only in Jabu Barish, where outside. So, so back to the match. So last match, a league match of uh, uh, 
SCC Trophy 2022 of day two. So where Vamanju have won the toss and they have elected to field. So I request uh, both the teams, uh, the 13th man. Baravaik. Fajir, so 12th man, Gunia Slayer, please, they can comment the box like age of Vinadi. Fajiji, Lakaja, I like, yeah. Opening batsman, good. So, the fourth match of the day played between uh, Fajir and Vamanjur. The two openers are there in the middle. It is uh, so oh, Empire Singh the style match. Here's the first ball from the bowler, Joyston. And the batsman facing him is uh, Sunwell. First delivery. Lovely ball. Lovely ball. Even it is a thorough ball. It has good pace behind it. So here is uh, Joyston for the second time. Nice shot. This time getting a batsman getting a faint edge. Ball traveling towards the... Uh, third man area and batsman had ample time to cross in for a single. So that's the first run for uh, Fajir from the blade of uh, Sanville. A left and right combination for uh, Fajir Parish. That brings an uh, Aaron to strike. Justin to Aaron. This time drives uh, straight to the middle. Might have a chance run out there, but uh, uh, not much of a force behind the throw. As a result, the batsman had. Uh, both the batsmen had ample time to cross in for a single with that car. Risky single. There are two without loss. Justin this time to Sanville. So, is given there. So, first we get fallen for Fajir. That means Sanville is back to the pavilion. Is caught behind of the bowling of Justin, Scoring one run to his account. So, it's the first debacle for uh, Fajir team losing the first wicket in the form of Sanwil caught behind of the bowling of Justin at the score two on the board. That brings in uh, Justin, the skipper of the side, yeah? skipper of the side of uh, Fajir, Justin, a well known uh, all rounder for uh, Fajir team, slowly heading towards the batting popping crease. Uh, he is considered as backbone for uh, Fajir team. Here is Justin. Justin, it's time to lovely. Good ball there. Justin, unable to read that delivery. Completely beaten. Collected by the keeper. Back to the bowler. It's a dot ball. Meanwhile, Justin, once again to the batsman. Uh, Justin. Lovely ball again. A lovely ball. Super balling there. And... Uh, that comes the end of the over number one. After the end of one of our beautiful bowling performance by Joyston, uh, gave away two runs and captured the wicket of uh, Sanville. So good bowling performance by this bowler of uh, Vamanjur. We brings the, that brings the change in the bowling. It is uh, Pradeep been introduced to bowl the second over of the innings of uh, uh, Fajir. Pradeep to Aaron. Nice shot. Not in a run for that. Beautiful shot. Lifting over the square leg for f three runs. Uh, with that three runs, Komas up to five. Uh, juicy uh, of... Uh, a folly bowl by the bowler and uh, batsman like Aaron taking the full opportunity that two towards his legs uh, gets three runs. Again, one shot might be a cat there straight to the field and off. 
ball ballooning over the fielder's head uh, and gets a beautiful boundary nice big uh, good two looking good shots played applied by the batsman uh, aaron uh, and score quickly moves up to 9 so we are in the second over bowler is pradeep think a little bit of uh, clumsy in his bowling bowling too many off wall is to the batsman like uh, aaron again lovely shot what a shot beautiful looking shot by aaron so i think uh, and, uh, quite of a bother for womanju parish uh, uh, pradeep giving uh, gifting away too many runs uh, for the batsmen like aaron here another towards the leg side might be a now it's a dot ball fun fair delivery ball by uh, the bowler pradeep meanwhile baswa uh, with that uh, score still remains at uh, 12 on the board here is pradeep once again two batsmen are and are drives again good shot for the couple of runs two declared with that couple score moves up to 14 so good going for uh, good batting performance by the batsman aaron punishing the bowling of pradeep pradeep is uh, unsettled by the batting of uh, uh, aaron a left and right in combination for fuji team once again this time a faint edge ball traveling towards the third man area appealing for nothing by ampan was and mode and we come to the end of over number 2 after the completion of two overs uh, womanju parish uh, sorry fuji parish after losing the toss put into bat by womanju are uh, 14 for the loss of uh, one wicket the wicket of uh, sanvelu was caught uh, behind of the bowling of uh, joyston there meanwhile uh, i request the batsmen not to waste any time because uh, it's a uh, hot afternoon time now everybody knows the the climatic condition in mangalore it's too hot summer it is zwida zwida once again zwida very strange name zwida Here he comes, comes around the wicket, and it's a a dot delivery to ball. We are in the third over of the uh, innings of uh, Fajir Zwida for the second time to the batsman, uh, the skipper Justin, going for and it's a wide delivery ball by Zwida. So one other another extra added total with that extra score moves up to fifteen. Lovely ball there again, appealing for a leg before ball trapping the legs and uh, and passing it's a, a leg by. Meanwhile, batsman cross for a single with that extra score moves up to 16 on the board. Zwida this time to the left hand batsman Aaron was playing sensibly there. Meanwhile, Aaron is ready to face Zwida. and drives apishly but ball da landing in an unknown area and fumble there by the few bowler himself and uh, no no need to worry they are settled with that single with that single score moves up to 17 on the board 17 for the loss of one wicket for jeer after being lost out toss and put into bat by womanju parish here is vida to the batsman uh, the skipper of the side for pajir justin jersey number 58 Nice shot applied by Justin, but this time uh, straight to the fielder. But but he had uh, ample time to cross in for a single. With that single score, moved up to 18. 18 on the board. We are in the third over. Bowler is Veera, and batsman facing him is uh, the left-hand batsman uh, Aaron. So cool and uh, very healthy start for uh, uh, Fajir Parish, and my appeal a huge appeal for a run out, but. Uh, Uh, disgraced by the umpire, so Aaron is safe there. Meanwhile, they go for a risky single. So with that single score, moves up to 19 on the board. So Swida will bowl his last ball of the innings uh, of the third over. This time he'll be bowling to the batsman uh, Justin. 
Justin, uh, what a shot. Last moment check. And it goes for a quick single there. So we come to the conclusion of third over. After the completion of th uh, three overs, uh, Fajir are 20 for the loss of one wicket. Slowly or stumbly, they are moving to their batting techniques. Meanwhile, there's a bowling change made from uh, Vamundu's side. The bowler name, please. Oh, sorry. Joyston will continue his uh, second over. So, ek til suni ta jawna su time konatar book lagta dar kai ye chi gars na angat jawna che counter sorry ek var ad gai ani ek 20 ah konak dalari jawna che ash book lagta dar daikan muja left side commentary che left side left side er ek foot counter astle daikan tumi tya counter osun तुमची बुक या तान बागे जमन विनंती सो मेन वायला इट्स अ वाइड वाइड डेलीवरी बोल बाय द बॉलर जॉयस्टन सो विद दैट एक्स्ट्रा स्कोर मूव्स अप टू 22 जॉयस्टन दिस टाइम लवली शॉट अप्लाइड बाय एवन विल इट बी टेकन देयर एंड इट्स ओवर द पार्क फॉर रन्स सो गुड हेल्प फ्रॉम द बी ब्रीज इवन ना ही गेट द help of the breeze and uh, as a result he gets that uh, a lucky boundary for Aaron so with that couple uh, boundary score moves up to 26 on the board Joyston after the bounce they are going for a quick single will that be the, will it be a run out of and uh, keeper was not at all Ready to flick the ball and uh, show at the try of the stumps. Meanwhile, batsman uh, had ample time to cross for a single without single score with up to 27. Here is Joyston, this time to Justin. Lovely shot applied by Justin. Will it be taken straight to the field of the stadium and behind it? Yes. Uh, so that's the second wicket fallen for uh, Fajir. A uh, big knock. A big knock for uh, Fajir, the skipper. Justin is back to the pavilion after being uh, uh, caught in the deep of the bowling of uh, just Joyston. So Joyston, uh, successful bowler for uh, uh, Vamanjur, uh, taking, uh, takes his second wicket of his uh, bowling haul. So score 27 on the board, 27 for the loss of two wickets. The last wicket fallen was Justin, was caught in the deep of the bowling of Joyston, uh, uh, scoring uh, three runs to his account. The new batsman joining uh, Aaron is Roshan. Joyston, this time to Roshan. Nice shot, played obviously. Ball dropped in a no man's area. And batsman had ample time to cross for a single with that single score. Two moves up to 28. We are in the fourth over. Bowler is Joyston. And batsman facing him as. Uh, so Joyston for the last time in server. To the batsman, uh, left hand batsman Aaron. Aaron drives, obviously. No need to run for that. Three runs. Good shot applied by the Emperor Aaron. Uh, so with that, uh, uh, three runs score moves up to 31. We, we come to the end of over number four. So after the end of four overs, uh, Fuji after put into bat are uh, 30 for the loss of two wickets. Two, 31, sorry. Uh, 31. Two batsmen out are uh, uh, first one to go was uh, Sanville, was caught, caught behind of the bowling of Joyston. And next to go was Justin, who was uh, caught in the deep of the bowling of Joyston. So successful bowling for uh, bowler for Womanju was uh, Joyston. Pluck uh, captured two wickets in his uh, uh, two overs haul. So meanwhile, that will be Zvida. Will continue his second over. Zvida. This time to Roshan. Lovely ball. Just uh, taking back, lacking his uh, pace. And... Uh, Making a full confusion to the batsman in reading his bowling. Here is Vida for the second time to the batsman Roshan. We are in the fifth hour. Zvida drives. This time might be taken. The uh, fielder is behind it. Yes. So that's the third wicket fallen for uh, uh, Fajir Parish in the form of Roshan. Roshan uh, just going for a big shot. Get at the top edge of the bat. And uh, the fielder 
and the deeper makes no mistake and takes a easy catch so that's the first wicket for zwida the next batsman is denzel denzel is the next batter so So new batsman is Daniel. Here is Vida. Lovely ball, right to the bars, appealing for a leg before Chandra round and fumble there by the keeper. There was ample time for the keeper to show shy the stump, but uh, the keeper couldn't collect the ball properly. As a result, the batsman had ample time to cross for a single. That was a easy, a risky single there. Eh? With that single, score was up to 32. Here is Vida. might be a a spectra wide off stopped by the fielder there so with that uh, extra 1 plus 1 and by fumble they were the keeper also they are coming back for the will they go for the run and uh, s no s do hesitantly they do deny deny to cross in for single so they are satisfied with the single with that single score with up to sorry cup with that couple sorry 34 That was a wide ball, Zwida ball. This time again a wide ball. They are crossing for Chandra Ravi out there again. Again one plus one, two runs are total. Bad bowling day by Zwida there. Too many wide deliveries bowled by the bowler. So every wide ball will be a crime made by the bowler towards his uh, playing team. So a bow as a bowler, he has to give. very stingy in his uh, rather i can say the way of giving runs so again sweeter is ready to bowl the next delivery to the batsman aaron aaron is still there in the middle fighting for his battling and this time going for a big shot missed it completely it's a bye declared by the umpire so with that extra score is up to 37 on the board Zwida this time to Roshan sorry Daniel Chandra went out there and the cross is out so badly so the decision is pending there is given out so Aaron is the batsman Sorry Daniel is run out there So now the batsman's feeling the the heat Princeton So back to the batch Aaron is still there in the middle the new batsman joining Aaron is uh, still unknown Joel so i request the batsman Joel please uh, hurry up boy so Zwida will bowl the last over of last ball of the over number 5 5 still three more so last ball of the Zwida so Joel the batsman good bowling there we come to the end of over number 5 after the end of five overs uh, fujil team after being put in the bat are 
So back to the match. So new bowler. Anush been introduced to bowl the sixth over of the innings of Fajir. And the batsman playing his game is the left hand batsman Arun. Lovely shot played off a sleeve. Let me take in there. Field away had it. And yes, uh, that brings the downfall of uh, Aaron, who was batting very sensibly but losing his uh, patience, wanted to lift, clear the ground, uh, getting a faint edge and ball ballooning up and makes so well made 22 runs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give a big applause to the batsman Aaron. Good batting performance by a young lad of Fuji team, uh, lifting his team to a safer zone. The new to the new batsman is Anil. Two new batsmen are there in the middle. So we are in the sixth over. Bowler is uh, Anush. Gets a wicket of uh, the well settled batsman uh, uh, Aaron. So here is Anush. This time, lovely ball, a blind shot applied by the batsman Anil. So now, keeping the bowler, uh, Anish, keeping the batsman very cool. This time, lovely shot, right? And chance of a oof, oof. There was a chance, but the ball uh, slightly landing in front of the fielder and uh, uh, fielder unable to catch the hold the catch. So bad, uh, bad luck for the fielder, but uh, he couldn't stop the batsman in crossing for a single with that single score move up to this time again, waiting for that ball. So, very bo ba good bowling day by the batsman uh, bowler, Anush. So, Anush this time to the batsman Joel. This time, ball, obviously there, ball landing in no man's area. And uh, batsman cross for a single there. With that single score with up to 39. We are in the sixth over. Here is uh, Anush this time to Anil. Left and right in combination for Fajir. And going for a big shot, a blind shot applied by the batsman Anil. And we come we come to the end of over number six. Up to the end of six overs, uh, Fajir team are 39 for the loss of uh, five wickets. So last uh, two overs remain of the innings of Fajir. Let us see how many runs they will gallop because uh, according to me, uh, 60 plus will be a moderate total to defend but uh, we never know it will be even even they will even cross the 65 60 plus but all depends on the batsmen so of uh, Fajir let us see how will they will they be able to gallop or increase their scoring rate at least to reach the score of uh, 60 plus here is Pradeep, this time to lovely shot applied. Again, will that be taken there? Yes, it is. So, wicket number six for Fajir at the score 39 on the board. So, we are in the, we are in the seventh over. Pradeep the bowler. Batsman out was uh, Joel. So, the next match will be played between the host Jipu versus uh, St. Sebastian. I request the players of uh, since Sebastian, especially the skipper of the side, escorting with their players, please do come and uh, sign your register as early as possible. Saint Sebastian Church per, uh, Permanur, I request the skipper as well as the players, please do come forward for the signature. Meanwhile, a new batsman there in the middle. Uh, I don't know the. I'll let you know who the batsman is. Gavin. Gavin, Gavin is the new batsman uh, joining Anil. Meanwhile, batsman cross for a single. With that single, score moves up to 40 on the board. 40 for the loss of 7 wickets. Pradeep this time to Anil. Anil wants to drive a bad shot applied by Anil. He's going for a big shot. A blind shot, my rather, I can say. Here's Pradeep. Might be a wide. Yes, it is. And pass spreading his arms and declares a wide. So with that extra score moves up to 41.
and uh, another wide yes it is so bad bowling there by pradeep bowling uh, two back to back wide deliveries a dot ball to in this uh, belt so pradeep though he has bowled wide balls but he kept the the batsman in keeping quiet meanwhile they go for a quick single and uh, it's a buy declared by the umpire with that extra score move up to 42 43 sorry 43 so pradeep for the last time in the over in the over number 7 going for reverse sweep premeditated the shot applied by the uh, by batsman and uh, gets only a single there we come to the end of over number 7 after the end of 7 overs uh, fajir uh, fajir parish are 44 for the loss of 7 wickets they have got only 6 deliveries spared let us see will they cross the magic figure of 60 will never know meanwhile there is a bowling change made from the side of wamunjur uh, uh, Sharon Sharon's the uh, bowler and the batsman facing him is uh, is Gavin Lovely ball played up Lishley fielder behind it and uh, half stopped by the fielder there very good fielding there by the fielder but couldn't prevent the batsman in crossing for a couple of runs with that couple score was up to 46 on the board So Sharon for the second time to the batsman Gavin this time Gavin gets a faint edge ball traveling to the short third man area and gets a single there with that single score moves up to 47 here is uh, Sharon for the third time to the batsman uh, Anil Anil going dege even last lot of uh, dot deliveries uh, in the account of uh, 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 Anil because he has missed too many uh, deliveries another one yes back to back two deliveries dot good bowling day by uh, sharon keeping the batsmen of batsmen like uh, uh, gavin quite i think uh, i'm not sure what it is meanwhile some discla So this time might be a spectra wide and uh, Empire spreading his arms and declares a wide with that extra score moves up to 48 Here is Sharon this time again left alone uh, might be a wide again yes it is one shot 50 for Fajir team Last two balls paid of uh, Sharon's over Sharon again uh, bad but a uh, batting performance of uh, of uh, Anil because he has uh, played too many dot balls uh, not even connecting any ball there so bad batting performance by the batsman uh, Anil eight balls one run he scored look at the misery of ba Anil's batting say still he got only a single will he come back for the second uh, and uh, that's a 50 so 50 up for fajir team and they so do the uh, completion of eight over so after the completion of eight overs fajir have scored 50 exactly 50 losing eight wickets so that's a good batting performance if not superb but uh, okay to defend the total So I call upon Mr. Elvis Lowe to carry on your commentary for the next uh, innings of uh, Women's Two. I welcome Mr. Elvis Lowe. Thank you, Mr. Vincent. So, as the target stands. 51 runs required of 8 overs for your deliveries
51 is a defendable total because in this heat you never know so team fajir has taken the field i request the opening batsman of wamanjur to take the crease as soon as possible I request Mr. Vishwas of Team Saint Sebastian to come for the signature as soon as possible. So the openers for Team Wamanjur, Pradeep and Terence. So it will be Mr. Pradeep to take this track and Joyal to open the proceedings for Fajir. So the equation 51 of 48 for Wamanjur to qualify for the next round. Umpire Signaling the start of play. Here goes the first ball. And it begins with a huge hit. Four runs. A great start for Team Wamanjur. Four runs of the first ball over mid wicket. Once again, it is Joel to Mr. Pradeep. Here goes. Over cover region and that's three declared. The seven runs out of the first two balls. That's a great start for team Wamanjur. The third time left alone by the batsman. Dot ball. Score remains at seven. The hard hitter Pradeep on strike. Another good hit towards the mid wicket region. And it's another boundary. The second boundary of this over. Score moves on to 11. That's great batting there by Mr. Pradeep. It looks like a man on a mission. In the air. And out of the ground. That's another boundary. Juicy ball. And Mr. Pradeep goes down the ground and out of the ground. 15 runs already of this over. Another single. So that's the end of the first over. 16 runs. And no wickets lost. That's a great start for Team Wamanjur. 35 runs required of 42 deliveries. Just they need to score at just 5 runs and over. That's a great start. Now change of bowling. Just in to bowl the second over. And it is Pradeep on strike. Top edge. And it's missed. It's dropped. Oh dear. It's a dot ball, nevertheless. Once again, Justin to Pradeep. 
the second time in the server. White ball signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 17. All the runs have come off the blade of Pradeep so far. 16 runs off his bat. Another single. Score moves on to 18. And now it is the southpaw, Mr. Terence on strike for the first time in this innings. And Justin to Terence for the third time in this over. Beautiful bowling over there by Justin. Leaves the batsman baffled. He looked to push it away for a single. But straight to the keeper. Score remains at 18 for no loss. Once again, it is Justin with the ball. Another dot ball. That's two dot balls in the over. Great bowling by Justin, considering just two runs. Just two runs of the over so far. Last two balls remaining. A huge appeal and it's given. It's given out. Umpire decision is final decision. And the Southport Terrence has to find his way back to the pavilion, sadly. So Justin, the bowler, draws first blood for the team. Amrit, Amrit, number five, replacing Terence on the crease. Last ball of the over. This is great bowling by Justin. White ball signal by the umpire. There's a second white ball of this over. Score moves on to 19. Last ball remaining of this over. Justin to the new batsman, Amrit. Just a single and a fumble by the keeper, fumble by the fielder. So after the completion of two overs, Wamanjur 20 for the loss of one wicket. And they're scoring at 10 runs and over, which is a good start. The equation as it stands, 31 required of 36 balls. A dot ball by the bowler. Great shot over. Chance of a run out. And he's gone. The name of the bowler is Sanhu. Huh? Oh, Sanvul. And Amrit has to find his way back to the pavilion. And the new batsman, Ronson. Ronson. Replacing him. A right handed batsman. Fajir doing a good comeback after conceding 16 of the first over. They've come back well. There's good bowling over there, good bowling 
keeping the batsman quiet the batsman tried to push it for a single but missing it sadly going for a quick one the batsman pradeep was hesitant but he still went for it a direct hit would have created serious trouble for wamanjur but luckily the throw was a bit wider nevertheless it's a single taken the score moves on to 21 with that single 30 runs required for wamanjur 30 runs another dot ball another dot ball by the bowler sanvit great bowling there just one run considered so far high in the air and out of the ground once again down the ground four runs score was on to 25 26 runs required 26 runs required last ball of this over score is 25 straight towards the fielder and as the end of the over pratip might have wanted to for a go for a single and to maintain the strike for the next over but sadly finding the fielder the score remains at 25 after the completion of the third over that's a beautiful comeback by fajir considering just 9 runs of the previous two overs and taking two wickets just one boundary has been scored of the bat of pradeep and now it is ronson on strike just in the bowler back for a second spell on to the leg side pushed away for a single score moves on to 26 26 the score justin once again to the set batsman pradeep is looking for the gaps here huge hit and that's a boundary That is beautiful batting there by Mr. Pradeep. That's the fifth boundary of his bat. All the boundaries of Wamanjur have come off the bat of Pradeep, scoring 25 runs. With that boundary score was on to 29. High in the air, will the fielder take it? And he does. team for the ecstatic after that wicket they knew that pradeep was looking very dangerous but he has played his hand 13 balls 25 runs let us give a huge round of applause for his knock he has given the desired start for his team now we can only hope that wamanjur capitalize on the start because fajir are on the verge of a comeback there's a third wicket down for the runs of 30 anush the new batsman <laughs> justin once again to the new batsman edge for a single comes on to 31 20 runs required now just 20 avinati karta konak jong jai thani osun jawan sanche jawan tayar raula once again justin a huge appeal huge appeal but the umpire says there is a little bit of bat involved
last ball of this over. This is some great bowling by Justin. Can he finish the over with the high? Ronson on strike. Wide ball. Wide ball. 32 the score. It is a very hot climate today. Everybody feeling the heat. The fitness level of these players is something else to watch today. Giving their everything for their team. Justin once again to Ronson. First for a single, a quick single. And the single taken nonetheless. Score. So end of the over, the score is 33. For the loss of three wickets. 18 runs required of 24 balls. 18 runs required. There's going to be a change of bowling. So, once again, it is Sunil to bowl the fifth over back for the second spell. And he begins with the dot ball. I request the skipper of Jepu A and St. Sebastian to come to the commentator's box for the toss. And meanwhile, concentrate back on the match. There's two dot balls. A great start by Sunil. Change in field. Tossed up delivery, but it's another dot ball. There's three dot balls in this over. Fajir giving it their all to defend this total. As you said, cricket is a very interesting game. You never know what happens. Wide ball called. Wide ball called. Score was on to 34, 17 runs required. That's another dot ball. Great bowling there by Sunwell, keeping the batsman quiet. They are making one month to fight for every run. Wide ball call. The need to stop giving extras. Because Wamanju just needs 16 runs. In the air. And the fielder was running back. It was a very uh, tough ask. Last ball of this over. Fifteen runs required. In 19 deliveries. Good shot, but only a single. End of the over. Great ball in there by Sunwell, conceding just four runs. And at the end of the over, the score is 37. The equation as it stands, 14 of 18. It's still anyone's game. One good over for either side will change the course of the game. Because now it is still neck and neck. It is Joel to bowl again. We have for a second over. I request the captain of St. Sebastian and Jepu A to come for the toss. The skipper of St. Sebastian, please come to the commentators just for the toss. So the sixth over in progress. And Jal begins with the dot ball. Good 
good hit good hit by the batsman but only a single i request the match official to undertake the toss wide outside off stump but pushed away for a single kitna score score is out to 39 straight to the field up another dot ball once again joel single taken waiting for the umpire signal by signal by the umpire it doesn't matter how the runs are coming as long as they come in a last ball of the over score is 40 11 runs required that's a good shot and a beautiful catch the beautiful catch the fielder had to run towards his right he had to make up a lot of ground but nevertheless it's a beautiful catch taken it could well be in contention for the catch of the tournament ronston has to find his way back to the pavilion Justin number 12 on the crease right handed batsman end of the over end of the over wilson to bowl the seventh over the equation 11 of 12 that's a good hit four runs that's a boundary for wamanjur seven required now of 11 That's a boundary of the first ball. Another huge hit, and that's another boundary. This has to be the final nail in the coffin for Fajir. Three runs required now. Three runs required, and still ten balls remaining. and wide ball signaled two runs required two runs required of 10 balls this is just salt on the wounds for fajir another good hit and it's a single taken will they go for the double no they don't the scores are level 50 a piece one run required One run required of nine deliveries. Down the ground, and he finishes with a boundary. So, Wamanjur qualify for the next round, the quarterfinals. And now we are ready for the next match. I'm sorry, we are ready for the next match. Saint Sebastian was Jepu A. Saint Sebastian was Jepu A, Wamans winning the toss and electing to field first. I request. Oh, we need to cut them. Konak Jawan Jongzai, Jawan Seongzai, Tani Wosan Jawan Seongchen, Jawan Tayarasa. And now I request our energetic commentator of the day, Mr. Anil. to make the commentary for the quarter finals of SJ Trophy 
And this is Elvis Lobo signing off, hoping to be back for more. Thank you. So after a deep discussion, the man of the match is Mr. Pradeep. I request Mr. Pradeep to come on the stage. And I request Nelson Basu to give the man of the match award to Mr. Pradeep of Wawanju team. Please come on to the commentator's desk to receive the man of the match award. Thank you, Elvis. Coming to the the third quarterfinal match of this tournament of uh, SA Trophy 2024 uh, between uh, Saint Sebastian versus Team uh, Jepu, the captain of uh, Sebastian, Mr. Wilfred. After winning the toss, no hesitation to opting to bowl first. We have the two openers. The captain of uh, Jepu A will be on the strikers, and there's a signal coming from the umpire Siraj uh, for the play of the third quarterfinal match of the tournament. Uh, Daryl bowling to Sanjay and Sanjay straight away getting off the mark, playing on to the mid-wicket position to get off the mark in the very first ball. With that, the team uh, Jeppo A opens your account with a single. Jeppo A is the only team in this tournament who have scored the highest total so far in this tournament, uh, scoring uh, 110 runs uh, in the last game. So definitely all the batsmen will looking uh, to get the same sort of run in this quarter-final match. This time there is an appeal. Luckily for the batsman, Alwyn, at the last moment, dragging his back foot at the right time. You need to be very careful because uh, the man behind the stumps uh, has a plenty of experience uh, under his belt. Uh, the senior player in this tournament uh, loves his cricket. Uh, so you need to be very careful. Uh, coming down the track is not so easy against uh, Mr. Wilfred behind us. Look at the way how uh, Daryl is... Uh, Bowling is 9 length, uh, making the batsman quite difficult to go for a big hit. Uh, we have seen uh, Alwyn in the last game hitting a couple of sixes at the boundary. He's strong enough on both the sides. Uh. And this time, there is a chance for an out. Uh, this time, slight confusion between both the batsmen. Uh, Sanjay not looking uh, onto the batsman. This is really uh, not a good start for the team. Uh, Jeppu A, the man who was in form in the last game, has to go back. Uh, in a form of a run out. Some confusion between the both batters. Uh, there was a single uh, in the form of an overthrow. Sanjay not responding. He's uh, not watching the, the batsman at all. Uh, and that cost her a big wicket for the team. Jeppo A. Eh? 
And then your batsman, Wilson, in the last game, uh, was an opener. Uh, who backed the man of the match in the last game. Now, uh, responsibilities under his shoulder. They have already lost an uh, important wicket. Uh, there is an appeal from behind. Uh, umpire unmoored because the bat has been uh, connected by the batsman, Wilson, uh, going for the sweep shot. Uh, finding the fielder on the onside for a single, adding to his individual account in the score total, moves on to two. And the final ball uh, resulting with the dot ball. So with that, the over number one coming to an end. Uh, the score is on uh, two for one. Quarter final match. Uh, a great start for the team of St. Sebastian. Uh, Chain the ball again. The ball has been handed over to the man who backed uh, six wicket uh, during the first match of the day to Vishwas. Uh, he'll be bowling the second over for his side. Uh, the top bowler uh, will be bowling to the top batsman of the team, uh, Jeppu A. Wilson, the man who backed the man of the match in the last game, will be facing the bowling of uh, Vishwas. Won the man of the match for his side in the first game. This would be a great uh, contest between the both the players, Rishwas and Wilson. Let's see who's going to win the battle, whether the bowler or the batsman. And here comes uh, Rishwas passing the umpire Salim, bowling the first ball of the over number two. Drives it, uh, full flow of the bat onto the long off. Sensible bowling by Wilson. He knows that uh, even if they score around uh, six runs uh, in each and every ball uh, in this over, they can try to target the rest of the bowlers uh, in the remaining six overs. They need to play a sensible cricket against uh, which was. Uh, he keeps changing his line and it's not so easy to score runs against him. Uh, the captain, Sanjay. Uh, going for a battle sweep. Uh, there was an uh, offer appeal uh, from uh, the bowler, uh, but the inside is saving the batsman. The ball passing quickly towards the slip cordon, uh, a single coming in the bat of Sanjay. Uh, always we see Vishwas having a smile on his face whenever he comes to his uh, bowling crease. Uh, definitely uh, is one of the experienced players. Uh, for the team, uh, Sebastian. Third time uh, in this innings. Uh, this time the ball drifting slightly close to the leg stake. Uh, well bowled. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. Vishwas is a bowler who keeps uh, changing his line length. Uh, he knows to get the ball in, uh, out, uh, middle. And he gets uh, confusions to the batsman. Uh. Fourth time. Batsman Wilson going for the reverse sweep. Uh, the last moment. Uh, changing his shot. Uh, playing uh, towards the uh, leg slipper. Uh, Gordon at the end. Uh, there was a chance for a nod if it was a direct hit. Uh, Wilfred doing an uh, attempt to take a wicket of uh, Sanjay. Uh, the ball just uh, missing uh, the stumps. Uh, so last two ball of the over number two. Which was fourth, fifth time. And this time uh, on to the square leg position uh, for another single. Uh, singles uh, will not work for the team, uh, Jappu. They need some again. This time there was a chance for a not. The batsmen or the North Strikers and Sanjay trying to play a, a different format of the cricket. Uh, trying to be out of his uh, batting crease. Uh, that was a quick pick up and throw. Well supported by the a bowler wish was, but the last moment batsman is safe in his batting crease. Final ball of the over number two. At this time the ball uh, missing by an inch. Uh, even Wilfred knew that uh, that could have been a big wicket. Uh, 
Another excellent over after completion of two overs. Cole still remains on six. Uh, the hundred is exactly on three runs per over. This is not the start for the team Japo A wanted from the uh, batters. Uh, in the last game, uh, we have seen them going exactly about more than uh, 15 to 17 runs in each and every over. But this time, uh, it's a totally a different game because you are playing against uh, one of the better side in the tournament. Uh, because St. Sebastian have a better bowling lineup uh, compared to the other teams. Uh, each and every bowler comes out in the middle, contributes their, to their team. Uh, we've seen them uh, bouncing strongly in the first game uh, when uh, Daryl was being hammered for two runs in the over uh, in the beginning and the end. Uh, the restricted the opening team uh, for 42 runs uh, in eight overs, uh, in seven overs. Uh. And Daryl uh, raise an appeal uh, for the leg before, but up and unmoored. Uh, Bowed by the batsman have shuffled slightly down the off stake. Uh, and that was the only reason the batsman is saved uh, because the ball is uh, drifting uh, away from the stumps. Uh, a fair call coming from the umpire, uh, Siraj, experienced umpire. Uh, a lot of experience under his belt. Uh, it's been empowering from last 10 years, so definitely that experience uh, matters a lot. This time uh, drives it uh, to the longer for this another single. Uh, singles will not work for the team, Jeb, but they need some big hit. Uh, at least uh, boundaries in each and every over. They need to set the target uh, at least about 50 plus. Uh, Will be a defendable target under the pressure game because the winner will qualify for the semi final. Loser will be out of the tournament. Uh, the host are playing their quarter final match against uh, Saint Sebastian. Runs are only coming in singles of first three ball. Three runs have been conceded. Once again, the ball kissing the pad, drifting down the leg. Uh, no hesitation for the umpire to call it as a leg by another extra adding to the total. Score jumping to 10. Uh, so final two ball, Kony Arudis at the back of the over number uh, three, uh, Daryl, uh, fifth time. And this time uh, drifting uh, far away from the leg stick, uh, no hesitation for the umpire to raise both of his hands uh, and call it as a void. Uh, Once again, a single taken. Uh, the captain behind the wicketkeeper won't mind uh, if the bowlers are being uh, hit for a single. Uh, but he doesn't want the bowler to bowl uh, wide because then the bowler needs to re bowl it. Uh. And the final ball of the over number three out to Rage uh, running quickly towards the third man position uh, inside the 30 yard circle uh, to keep his strike for the next over. So after the completion of uh, three overs, goes on. Uh, 13 for 1. Whether the batting combination which was being changed in this game, uh, can it be a problem? Because we have seen uh, in the first game uh, for the team, Jeff Wilson and Sandeep got into a fire. Uh, but this time, captain himself promoting up in the batting lineup along with uh, Alvin. Uh, but Alvin's run out uh, was uh, a turning point of the game. Uh, and the runs are not coming for the team. Uh, Jeff already three overs have been bowled. Runs. The score just 13 runs. So Daryl uh, finishing his two overs of spell. Uh, what an excellent uh, runs uh, conceded in his two overs. Just uh, nine runs. Uh, sorry, he has just conceded five runs in his two overs. Now change the bowling end. Uh, we have... Uh, and Nihal uh, to bowl the over number four for his side. Uh, and straight away getting rid of the dangerous man. Uh, Wilson uh, going for a slog sweep uh, on to the onside region. Uh, has to depart. Uh, you miss I hit. No connection in between the mountain pad. The ball kissing the off stick. That's a big blow for the team. Uh, Jepu here. The man who backed the man of the match uh, in the last game has to depart uh, cheaply in the quarterfinal match. Only scoring... Uh, Five runs for his side. Uh, and now we have uh, Sandeep, the new batsman. Uh, he is the man to be watched if uh, the team Jeppo A need 
to get some quick runs. Sandeep is the man. Uh, in the last game, he played a sensible innings. Uh, he's come as an opener, was there till the end. Uh, so he's the man that uh, needs to carry his uh, innings till the end. Uh, play a sensible cricket. Lose the ball, can be departed out of the ground. Uh, then you need to keep your mind cool. Uh, you've just walked in, uh, watch the ball, uh, look into the gap. In the initial one or two balls, just try to connect from the middle of the bat and then uh, we can go for the big hit. Uh. So let's see how uh, Sandeep will uh, carry his innings uh, for his side. Uh. Nihal, uh, second time, uh, balling to Sandeep. Uh. Far away from the off strike, uh, another extra coming uh, on to the total of team uh, Jeppu A. Uh, extras uh, needs to be controlled by the bowlers of uh, Sebastian. And this time played in between the two fielders onto the cover position to get off the mark. Uh, that's a sensible parting uh, onto the declared region. Two runs added to the total. Waiting for the umpire decision whether it's a two. Yes. Nihal once again bowling to Sandeep. Got off the marker. And now an extra feeder has been put toward that direction. You just need to look into the onside region. This time that's far away from the leg stick. Uh, he loves to play that shot behind the wicket keeper onto the fine leg position. Uh, if anything pitches uh, towards this leg side, uh, it definitely will go for it. Uh, Nihal needs to be careful. He needs to bowl wicket to wicket. And this time over the long off, but finding the fielder. This is not the great sight from the batsman. That's what I was talking about, Sandeep. Uh, you need to keep his mind cool. Uh, you know that uh, the wickets are falling. Uh, the top two batsmen are back in the out. Uh, you need to carry your innings till the end for your side. Uh, but giving your wicket uh, because the wind is blowing towards the other end, uh, but finding the field on the long off. Uh, Conwell, the man, taking a nice catch. Uh, he didn't have to move straight to the throat of the fielder in the long off. Big wicket, a big fish is back in the dugout. At the score of uh, 17, uh, the wicket number three has been fallen. Uh, Pradeep uh, is a new batsman. Now uh, the captain of the North Strikers and needs to carry the NXE. Is there as an opener? Uh, and this time Pradeep straight away without watching the ball. Uh, going after the bowling of uh, Nihal. Still uh, one more ball remaining in the over number. Uh, four to be completed. Final two balls remaining. A wide signal given by the umpire. Another extra coming in this over. Uh, and Sandeep once again going for a big hit. Missing it completely. Another dotted delivery. As soon as uh, Nihal uh, bowls a wide, he comes back. Balls uh, a brilliant uh, wicket to wicket. Uh, this time the batsman making a room to play that onto the offside. Missing it completely. This time coming down the track. Uh, and the ball uh, finally getting uh, connection in uh, between the bat uh, onto the onside to keep the strike for the next over. Over number four coming to an off of the stage of the innings uh, of the team. Uh, Chepu. Four over score is on 19 for the loss of uh, three top batters who are back into the dugout. Still the team Jeppu A have remaining 24 balls. Uh, if they manage to get it on the 30 to 35 runs, uh, still the total can be defendable. Uh, 
still they have uh, another great batsman to walk in out in the middle uh, mr arun the hard hitter of the tennis ball uh, one of the finest player of uh, andrew cricket uh, is a pinch hitter uh, like a uh, karen pillard uh, andrew russell uh, that's uh, what people knows how good arun could be dangerous in the uh, the last overs we're sending Pradeep up in the batting lineup as a pinch hitter is just going after the bowling, uh, not watching the ball, uh, not connecting right in the middle of the bat. Uh, Cornwall started with the wide, uh, and then a single conceded uh, in an extra. The score was on to 20. Once again, a miss hit uh, by a straight to the feeder uh, onto the mid wicket position on the deep. Uh, just for a single, uh, the score was on to 21. Runs are not pouring, uh, not even a single boundary or a sixes have been hit by the batters of uh, Jepu. Hey, we cannot believe it, the team uh, have scored uh, 110 runs uh, in the first game. Uh, this is a different game. Uh, and this time connecting right in the middle of the bat. That's what I was just talking about. Sanjay, the captain, needs to play the captain's knock. Uh, was come as an opener, was still there. He needs to carry the NX till the end. Uh, that was a one loose ball coming from Conwell. Uh, First loose ball coming from the bowlers of the team St. Sebastian. Otherwise, every bowler which is bowling uh, the good length area, some words given by uh, Vishwas, the experienced bowler, uh, having a word with Cornwell, uh, asking him to just bowl uh, slightly middle and off, uh, did not uh, pitch down the leg. Uh, the stamp driven it handsomely on to the mid wicket position. Batsman should cross for the second run. Uh, they have an ample of time. Excellent running between the wicket. Every run has been cheered by the fans. Uh, why not? Uh, this is the local team. Uh, that is a uh, Jeppu Parish team. Uh, that's their home ground. Uh, they know in and out of this uh, ground. Uh, plenty of supporters for the team uh, Jeppu. Yeah, definitely they want their team to win and qualify for the final. Uh, but to do that, uh, the batters need to do a batting role. Uh, Uh, the snap, there was a chance uh, for a biggie, but uh, the batsman Sanjay missing it. He knew that straight away. That was a chance for another big hit onto the onside region. Uh, outer edge, luckily the ball did not kiss the leg stick, uh, or else that would have been uh, a big fish uh, back into the dugout. Uh. Conwell, once again, this time, uh, wide stain between the two fielders, uh, but they should only be happy with the single. With that single, the over number five. Coming to an end, the score is on exactly 28. Uh, just short of two runs as per the run rate matters. They're just close to six runs. Either one of these batsmen needs to go after the remaining uh, bowlers, but still they have uh, 18 more balls. Even if they scored around 20 to 25 runs, that could be a defendable target because that will be a pressure game because this is a quarter final match. It will not be so easy for the team at St. Sebastian. They know that. On the other end, team Jeppu A also do have a, a front-line bowlers like what you do have. So you need to be very careful in the last three overs. Uh, either anyone, Pradeep has been sent as a pinch hitter up in the batting lineup, is not connecting the ball. His role is just to take a single, give a strike back to the captain, uh, who was connecting right in the middle of the bat. Uh, so here's the man to carry the innings. 18 ball. Look for 25 to 30 runs to get a decent target onto the scorecard. And here is the bowler, uh, once again, Vishwas, the strike bowler. And he starts with the dot ball. Uh, the batsman, uh, Sanjay, going forward and across it, missing it completely. Just watch the ball. Even if you try to hammer it over the cover position or the gully position or the point, you can get another extra two, two runs. Do not target only for one direction. Try to play all over the ground uh, watch the ball look at the wrist of the bowler uh, this time going for the reverse way once again uh, the ball uh, hitting the bat then the bat and the ball uh, going in a quick fashion uh, towards the cover position the bowler himself are uh, taking a charge to stop the ball in the meanwhile the batsman have crossed for a single when a single the score is on 29 just a one boundary so far in the innings can we see a big hit? Either one of the batsmen needs to go after the bowling. Uh, they have plenty of other batters yet to follow. Either one, either Pradeep 
और संजय दिस टाइम वंस अगेन द बैट्समैन गोइंग फॉर द क्रॉस बैटेड शॉट कमिंग डाउन द ट्रैक एंड ही हैज रिपोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ रन आउट एंड नाउ वी हैव द मैन और रन He is the man. If he sticks for the remaining 15 balls, definitely we can see some big hits coming from his bat. We have seen him in the last game. He had only one ball to face, and that was being hammered out of the park for a big six. The batting lineup changes caused some problem for the team Jepu A. That is really a not good sign to change your batting lineup when they had a pretty good game in the first match. Vishwas uh, bowling to the main man of uh, Jaipur Arun uh, sensible batting that's goal the confident hit coming from the confident batsman he knows that this is the last over of uh, Vishwas and he doesn't want to take any risk against him uh, that's a sensible batting uh, he knows that uh, the next two overs they can uh, charge uh, and get some quick runs uh, final two ball uh, of the over number 6 uh, Vishwas second last time uh, i'll be bowling to the captain uh, was come as an opener still out in the middle uh, Going for the reverse sweep, finding the fielder inside the 30-yard circle towards the short third man, and the man doing an excellent work behind. There was slightly fumble by the wicket keeper. A mistake done by the fielder Wilfie, and he's just trying to have some words with the player Sean, who is behind the. Stems doing an excellent work for his side. So final ball of the over number six. Just a one ball remaining. A player sensible cricket, my friend. Just look for a single, get a strike for the next over. This is the last ball of Vishwas spell. Arjun, I will be facing for the second time in this over against the bowling of Vishwas. And this time, uh, the ball uh, drifting slightly close to the leg stick, uh, well kept behind the stump, ended with the dotted delivery. So after the completion of uh, six overs, score is on thirty-one. Uh, so final twelve ball, twelve ball twenty is the target that you can look for. Uh, now is the time for the captain uh, Sanjay to charge because they know that uh, the score is just thirty-one. Even if they try to get a total of forty-eight to fifty, still that could be a defendable target. Uh, And Nihal has been asked to bowl the over number uh, seven for his side, and he'll be bowling the second over of this spell. Uh, so it means that uh, the next over, uh, let's see who's going to be the bowler. That will be a fresh bowler. Uh, will be under pressure in the last over. Uh, Nihal uh, will be bowling the over number seven uh, to the captain. Uh, And he starts uh, with a wide. These are some uh, gifted run. Uh, definitely, uh, the opening team will take it uh, freely because if you keep bowling extras, uh, you need to re-bowl that uh, extras run. Uh, will help the team uh, Jepu A to increase their total. Uh. And this time, uh, there was a catch uh, put on. It was uh, a very low, uh, valuable attempt done by the fielder on the deep on the square leg. Uh, You should have taken those kind of catches when it's coming straight to your hand. Uh, you know that uh, the captain Sanjay could be danger in the remaining uh, 11 balls in the innings. Uh. And now uh, we have uh, Arun. Uh, Arun will definitely will try to go for a big hit in this over. Uh. Once again, far away from uh, off stake. Uh, White signal definitely will be coming from the umpire, waiting for the decision whether it could be a no ball or a wide. Uh, Empire uh, making a way, and Empire says that's uh, no ball. Uh, that's a fair call because the ball has pitched uh, outer of the the line, uh, and no hesitation for the Empire to call it as a no ball. Uh, now there is a chance for Sanjay because it's a free hit. Uh, we have seen just the one boundary so far in this tournament when the free hit ball was being delivered by the bowler. Uh, 
This is another extra run. So you see that uh, three extra runs have been scored uh, in this over given freely by the bowler Nihal. This is bowled one ball. Already four runs have come in this over. Uh, this is the over what the team Jepu A were targeting to get some uh, quick run. Here's a freight ball. Uh, and he hauled to the captain. And once again, the free hit continues because the bowler has bowled up wide. That's another extra. Nihal is losing his line of length in the over number uh, seven. With the help of that wide, the score chipping to 36. So it means that they're close to ball to ball. This is a free hit ball. And the free hit ball was not utilized by the batsman. Uh, Sanjay, you should have shuffled yourself. Just be out of your crease. Uh, you could have got that ball uh, to your bat. Uh, and we could have seen a six or a boundary. But now... Uh, Still, you have four balls remaining in this over. Five runs have already conceded in this over. And the batsman Sanjay shuffling. Uh, and the ball pitching slightly down the leg stick. Waiting for the umpire decision. A bye signal given by the umpire. Slightly fumbled by the wicket keeper uh, behind the stumps. So Vishwas doing the work. Arun not desperately wanted to be on the strikers. And uh, it'll be... Facing the bowling of uh, Nihal. Still three to go. Once again, far away from the off stake. Once again, they're going for the extra run because will they go for another extra run? There is an overthrow, but uh, the fielder on the long gone was quite uh, quick enough to grab the ball. Uh, every time when uh, we see Arun coming on the strikers and the ball is being bowled far away from him, uh, either it is a wide or a no ball. Uh, Plenty of extras have been bowled in this over and the score jumping to 39. Still three to go. The run rate is exactly six runs per over. Uh, still three more left in this over. Batsman shuffling uh, slightly outside the off stake. Uh, going for a big hit onto the onside. Missing it completely. Not so easy to charge when the ball is uh, drifted uh, slightly down the leg as soon as a legal ball has been bowled Nihal keeps bowling some extras score moves on to 40 on the scorecard so it means that 9 runs have been conceded in this over already 4 balls have been bowled still 2 to go Konea here is at the baki. final 2 ball of the over number 7 once again another wide expense you over so far of the match at 10 runs conceded in this over already. Still two to go. Either one big boundary or a six is needed in the last two balls. Once again, another wide. The wicket keeper needs to have a word with the bowler Nihal. He bowled an excellent spell in the first over, but in the second over, plenty of voids. This is the longest over. We've seen this thing happening in the match between Jeppu and Yelliar Padova, where the bowlers have bowled a lot of whites uh, in that game. Uh, and this time, uh, these are some gifted runs for the opening team. Uh, they will take it quite nicely because runs are not coming in the bat. But it doesn't matter if the runs are coming in the form of extras. They will take it. Uh, score is on 42. Still two to go. Once again, another wide. Uh, every run is important uh, for the team, uh, Jeppu A, eh, because they will keep increasing their target. But that will not be a good sign for... Uh, Team St. Sebastian, 43 on the scorecard, Nalwatta Moro. Because whatever the target has been set, you need to chase it. Uh, the bowler needs to bowl wicket to wicket. Uh, take your time, it doesn't matter because there is uh, no restriction on the time. Uh, you need to keep your mind cool. Just bowl straight, uh, wicket to wicket. Let the batsman uh, make some uh, shuffle it. This time... Uh, that's a straight decision because the batsman going for a cross batted shot uh, and the ball hitting the back of the back foot and it's a fair call uh, coming from the umpire uh, to raise his finger. Finally, really for the bowler, uh, the man who had come as an opener, the captain departing in the over number seven. Uh, it scored 16 valuable runs for his side. Uh, well batted by the captain. Uh, because the rest of the batsmen... Uh, 
have uh, not contributed but captain have played some decent docker you need to appreciate for the effort done by the captain 16 odd runs it's not so easy under the pressure uh, what a knock from the captain uh. and we have a new batsman Ivan uh, to face the final ball great, great, great. and slightly misfield will allow cross for the second round but uh, you should have taken a risk uh, over there because you will uh, be on the strikers in for the next over. That's what uh, the fans of uh, the team Japoe wanted Arun to be desperately on the strikers end. But still they have six balls remaining in this innings to be completed. The score is on 44. Six balls. Ten is a target uh, for the team Japoe. That is what they will desperately look. Or try to reach the close mark of 50. Even that is a better decent target in the quarter-final match because that will be a pressure game. But winner will qualify for the semi. Losers will be out. And Sean will be bowling the final over. An experienced bowler has been asked to bowl the last over. And he starts with the dotted one. Ivan missing it completely. His role is just to look into the ball just... Take a single, give a strike back to Arun. This time at the ball, uh, just uh, kissing the the pad, then hitting the pad and raising quickly to the leg slip. Uh, a single has been taken in a quick fashion. Score moves on to 45. Connie Anarko is the walkie of the over number 8 and the innings of uh, the team Jeppu A. And outside edge, uh, luckily for the batsman, Arun, the ball did not kiss the stumps. Uh, straight to the fielder behind the wicket keeper for another single. Uh, still free to go. Oh, you are missing it completely. And uh, as soon as uh, the ball has been missed by the wicket keeper, uh, Wilfred, uh, there was a chance for Vishwas to take a wicket of uh, Arun in a form of a run out. Uh, but at the end, the batsman is safe in his batting crease and seeing it conceded in the form of a boy. Another extra adding to the total. Final two more balls remaining of the innings. And once again, the ball drifting onto the pad. Sensible bowling by Sean. He knows that. Arun is strong towards the long off and cover position. That's the reason Sean drifting onto the pad. So here's the final ball of the innings. A final ball, a single has been taken in a form of a leg by. With that, an excellent last over ball by Sean. Just a couple of runs have been scored in the last over. 49 is the score, scored by the team. Jeppu A giving a target of 50 to be chased in 48 ball for the team. St. Sebastian. Definitely this would be a, a good game. What we are watching because... Battling against the strongest team in the competition uh, will be more tougher for both the side. Even uh, St. Sebastian, they know that how uh, good Jeppu A is because this is their home ground. They know in and out of this ground. But on the other end, uh, the effort done by the bowlers of St. Sebastian restricting them to less than 50 is much appreciated by the bowler. Apart from that one over uh, which has been bowled by Nihal, or else we would have not seen uh, the score to the close of 50 run but the effort given uh, by the ball, rest of the bowlers needs to be appreciated but still uh, the chances given to the team Jampo need to be taken over by the bowlers because the batters could not do anything much uh, now it's the time for the bowler and the fielders that is the way you can win your game uh, if batters fails it's a duty of uh, the bowlers and the fielders. This is what we see in the IPL game for the team RCB. When the batters do a work, the bowlers fails. When bowlers do their work, batters fails. But now this is a different game for the team Jeppu A. The batters could not do anything. Still they managed to get a score of 50, which can be defendable by the bowlers. Do not make a mistake of bowling a lot of extras, but just try to keep a ball on to the good legendary wicket to wicket bowling will be making the batsman of the team Saint Sebastian. 
but St. Sebastian batters like Wilfred uh, Wishwas uh, Conwell, they are the main players to be watched. If those batsmen sticks out in the middle, then the game will be definitely under the hands of St. Sebastian. This will be a great, great game to be watched. And uh, no hesitation, once again, the same batting combination we have seen in the last game. Even though Conwell failed to get runs in his first match, but still he is a confident player. He knows that this is a pressure game. He will be definitely will be waiting to get some runs for his side and he has his captain on the non-strikers and uh, so i have my co-commentator mr vincent uh, will be doing a further commentary he has desperately wanted to give a commentary on this game because this is a big match we have never watched such a big match in this tournament so far because two great teams battling in the quarter final will be definitely Great to watch. Over to my co-friend, uh, Mr. Vincent Sequeira for the rest of the second innings uh, of the third quarter-final match of SJ Trophy 2024. Over to Vincent. So, thank you. First ball from Wilson. Nice ball, appealing for a huge appeal. A huge appeal for Alex before, and it's uh, a leg bar dictated by the umpire. So, friends, do not go anywhere. It is a big match. Big match. Keep your fingers crossed. Any minute's match. But the man who shows us all his talents will make you the win. Match win. So, all eyes on the bowlers as well as the basketball. He's going a pretty minute shot. Just put it out there. And. Uh, Missed by Wiska. So you have to take an opportunity of that chances. A chance will make a match. So now, Wilson, two balls, two runs. Here is Wilson, Englad, emerging player of uh, Jipu Parish. Here comes for the third time to the batsman, Conwell. Conwell going for it. It's a wide. As I said, avoid the extras. Avoid the extras. Extras will you kill you boys? My simple words to you. Extras will kill you. So, Wilson, once again to Conwell. Conwell drives. Obviously, will it be taken there? Aaron Bihari, yes! What a wicket! What a wicket! That's it! So, the first foul for... Uh, St. Sebastian, the big fish, the another batsman in the form of Vishwas. So another big fish. So it's very rare to see, very rare. I have not seen all my years of cricket, a father and son playing together. But it's my pleasure to watch here, both of them, Mr. Wilfred and Mr. Vishwas playing each for their home team. So, it's very pleased to see a father and son playing together. I've seen uh, in uh, Australian team, twin brothers, Mark Woe, Steve Woe. So, here's Wilson. This time, nice shot. It might be four runs. That was a juicy ball from Wilson. And Vishwas, I think, is now full power because he knows the importance of this match because he knows what ground is this because uh, we have seen plenty of matches uh, uh, since Sebastian played many matches in this ground and they have enjoyed playing in this ground. What I can say that they are, it will be their second ground. Meanwhile, Wilson once again, this time by again, a chance of a, a faint edge and uh, uh, even the keepers should uh, give us 100% because uh, all you can't uh, rely upon the third man. See, well, you want to try, you have to try some, you have to avoid a sick singles. Here's Wilson for premium the shot, might be a wide, yes it is, again I said, uh, an extra will kill you boy. Don't ever give an extra. So Wilson is very much uh, distressed with that, his bowling, even though he got a wicket of uh, Cornwall. But he is not happy with this bowling because pre shot. Will it be full? It's uh, stopped by the 
Will he will come back for the second time. Run out there. And bad throw. It was a weak throw there by Moven. If it was a fuller throw, then uh, there would have been a chance of getting a wicket. But uh, there was a bad throw from uh, Moven. As a result, the batsman has ample to time to cross in for a couple of runs. So with that couple, we come to the end of first over. First over. The end of one over score is uh, 11. Oh, too costly. So now there's a bowling change made by the side of uh, Jopu Parish. It will is it is Devon. Devon has been introduced to ball. The second over 50 is the target. 14, 11 has already up. So the equation says is 42 balls, 39 required. So in uh, one word, I can say. Uh, St. Sebastian are still ahead from uh, Jepu. I can't say they are in the driver's seat, but uh, all depends on these two batsmen because these two batsmen, are especially the father, is vast experienced person uh, in the cricket uh, because he has played played too many cricket matches. Even I have I haven't have played so many matches what uh, Wilfred has played. So now, Devon this time to Vishwas. Vishwas drives straight to the fielder. Ivan makes no mistake. Lovely bowling there by Devon. Keeps uh, Vishwas quiet. It's a dot ball. Here is Devon. Englad, emerging player of Jipu. Coming and bowling to Vishwas. This time, lovely shot. Plays across towards the vacant area. But uh, Pradeep is there. Gets, uh, couldn't prevent uh, Vishwas in crossing a single. With that single score moves up to 12. So now, Devon, this time to Wilfred. The vast experience, what I can say, is, uh, is the backbone of uh, St. Sebastian's uh, team. So, here is Devon for the third time to Wilfred. Wilfred, on this time, why wide ball? I said, I said, I'm repeatingly said, I'm saying this, uh, stop that ugly bowling. Ball, wicket to wicket. Here is Devon. To Belfred. This time a premier shot, appealing and going all for appealing. Not anybody fielding that ball and restricting the batsman in uh, crossing the single. All are busy in appealing. All are appealing, but nobody are going through that ball. So now, Devon, this time to Vishwas. Uh, very much uh, eagled. Very much, uh, what I can say, this one. Wrapped the bats again. Uh, now, batsman has ample time to cross in for a single. With that, it's a leg by declared by the umpire. So, runs are leaking. No dot balls. Only you can see all the extras. So, you have to stop those extra runs, Baba. If you want to match, win the match, you have to stop that this time. Again, wide ball. Wide ball. I said earlier, it is foolishness uh, to ball a wide because you don't understand what is the importance of this match and you are cruelly bowling on a wide ball. It's a misery. It is disaster to see. In my eyes, it, I'm sorry to say you, boy, it's a crime. You're doing against your team this is the bowling yes this is the bowling you have to ball keep the batsman uh, thinking this the ball, ball bat bowler as a bowler keep thinking this is the ball this time to Nishwas lovely ball again again uh, lovely this time might be spared Devon and uh, we come to the end of uh, over number two after the end of two hours, score is uh, 17. Because 17 men, uh, uh, St. Sebastian, are scoring at a rate of, rate of eight and a half per hour. They are in the match. Eight and a half per hour. Uh, remember, the asking rate was merely 6.4 per hour. Now they are scoring at a rate of 8.5 per hour. Because that can show you the focus 
the Saint Sebastian are giving to this match. That's it. Give you a hundred percent, and you will be in the driver's seat. So now all Wilfred and Vishwad is to do is just don't worry. Just stick in your scoreboard. Take your singles here and there. Finish the odd balls. You can do it. You can finish the match. So there's a bowling change from uh, by Jupu Parish. It is uh, Nikhil. The Inkster. So Nikhil to Hello. 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 Ishinaba. <laughs> so Nikhil to Wilfrey. Sorry, Wilfred. Nice shot. What a shot. Good shot that was. What a brilliant shot. That's it. That's it. I request the captain of uh, Vamanjur, please do come for the toss. I repeat, I re request the captain of Vamanjur to please come to the forward for the toss. That's the time. What a ball. ball. What a ball. What a comeback. What a comeback from Nickel. That's it. Don't worry what you have shot, but focus on your bowling. Because one ball you can be hit a uh, six or a four, but focus on your bowling. So next batsman joining Vishwas is Elston. Elston, 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 Elston is a new uh, batsman joining uh, Vishwas. So now. All depends on the bowlers of Jepu because uh, it's the bowlers who can do the magic for Jepu or else uh, you will spill the match. So now, will uh, Nikhil this time to Elson. Nice shot will be taken there. Yes, it is. Two back to back wickets for Nikhil now. Yes, uh, now they are slowly to their keeping because still, no, it's not. The time to you have to uh, get very much go and touch the sky. You are still to go, Baba. You are still to go. There are still dynamites to come back. There are still, remember that St. Sebastian have ample of batsmen under their buckets. So you don't have to think, oh, one wicket I have feeling taken. No. Focus on your bowling, you'll get. Give your hardship, you'll get the prize. That's it. So now, Nikhil. So now I can say, Nikhil, will you get that uh, dream hat trick wicket for Nikhil? Here he comes. Uh, it's a wide delivery. Wide delivery might be. Yes, it is. Bad bowling there. Bad bowling. Every ball I've seen from Jepu have bowled their wide balls. It, 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 it's been a tendency for Jepu Parish because one you ball a uh, wide, unless you ball a wide ball, you're not considered as a bowler. Huh? Nice shot. What a cheeky shot played by Sean. Will he come back for the second? Good looking shot. What a shot. Super looking shot by Sean. Taking his time, giving a direction for that shot. And... Uh, but uh, even Will filled it there by Sanjay, restricting uh, Sean and taking that second run. Here is Nikhil. This time to Vishwas. Will he takes the wicket? Nice shot. What a shot. Beautiful looking shot. Those, were, those are the shots you have to watch. Lovely shot. Going for his back foot. Just nudges towards, that, towards the cover area. Gets a single for that. With that single, score moves up to... 24. Here's Nickel. This time to left hand batsman Sean. Lovely ball. Equally well played by Sean. Look at the respect to that balling. Just giving respect and just giving to that direction. That's the boy. That's the spirit of cricket you play. Don't hurry for your shots. Wait for that opportunity. Then you'll get. So now 25. 3 overs up. 30 balls to go. 25 runs to go. So 30 balls, 25. Who will you 
choose to bowl is it devon yes devon is ready to bowl the fourth over 30 balls 25 required still eight wickets in hand all depends on the hands of uh, the bowlers of jepo because uh, now devon the young emerging player of jepo bowling is second over scota and the fourth over of the innings of st sebastian lovely ball equally well played by sean what a player what a player for st sebastian taking the full opportunity of that ball leaning to that uh, shot and just giving direction that was that is the play of cricket you watch because not hurrying he knows that the importance of this match not hurrying for that and no, not going for a uh, blind shots and all Here's Devon, this time to Vishwas. Vishwas drives, lovely looking shot. Beautiful looking uh, batting uh, performance by these two batsmen. Lovely. This is the cricket you want to watch. Always watch. Preferably my, myself. I'll be always watching this type of cricket every day. Here's Devon. Once again to Sean. Lovely. What a lovely shot. Lovely. Not what you what what do you have just just rotating the strike that's it boy just rotate your strike and you frustrate the bowler then you will he'll do several mistakes that's it that is the game of cricket here is devon for the fourth time all his three deliveries has been scored now what will he do now here he comes. Ball to Vishwas. Vishwas, ah, this is the Apishpan. And what a shot. Look. Look. That is cricket. Wait for the opportunity. That was a loosener from Devon. Punishing it for three runs. That's it. That's it, boy. Good going for Vishwas. That is the sensible cricket I watch. So Devon. He has plenty to learn. Lovely ball now for what are you appealing for? Had a big nick of the bat. <laughs> so Devon. For the last time in the server. To the batsman. Vishwas. Again. Balling the same. Making the same mistake. Same mistake. I don't understand what are you doing boys what are you doing <laughs> you have only 50 runs to defend and if you are bowling three or four wides in a over how will you defend the total that's it good shot applied by Vishwas all along the carpet straight to the log on gets a single that's it we come to the end of over number four so after the end of four overs score is uh, 33 that means equation says 24 balls 17 required ample time ample ball spared ample wickets in hand that's it that is the play of cricket keep your ba wickets intact and play your game here's nickel for the second time and the fifth over with uh, congress will nickel do some magic might be a catch now. It is over. Slight a chance, but it was over the Arun's head. And it was a loosener from Nikhil. You can't expect a, a player like a 40 plus to have a, a gymnasium. You can't. Here's Nikhil once again to Vishwas. Lovely shot. Well played. What a shot. A dream to watch the play of uh, Vishwas. Leaning to that delivery, just gl gliding all along the carpet. And that's it, boy. That's the play of cricket. Here this time to another batsman, Sean. Nickel to Sean. Always urging for that uh, runs. He's in a thirst. This time, lovely shot. But... Uh, might be a wide. Yes, it is. As I said, 
there is no we could be if it is a dot ball i can simply say it is a white ball i know it megas you don't understand still you don't understand why i'm saying this and chaal the banana the formula will it be a chance there was a suicidal run suicidal run shawn wanted it but vishwas was not at all ready for that uh, score the, uh, he knows the wicket uh, important of that wicket shawn my shawn was uh, there he was playing very sensibly i don't understand why shawn lost his concentration it was a suicidal run because vishwas was not ready to take that score the new batsman is uh, dan derrell so now will it be a turning point i know i don't know but uh, three balls to go last three balls to go score is uh, 30 39 eleven runs to go 15 balls 11 runs surely it's a sebastian match because uh, everybody knows that it's a leg by declared by the umpire so they go for an extra run with that extra score move up to 40 sorry here's nickel this time to shawn the well settled batsman of st sebastian will it be a lovely shot applied by vishwas look at the batting of vishwas just uh, manipulating his shots uh, not hurrying for his shots leaning to that delivery and uh, chance for an out and the cross for a single there with that single score moves up to 41 So Nikhil, for the last time in the over, in the O number five, there are still seven wickets, six uh, six wickets in hand. Since Sebastian, Nikhil, lovely shot, by player with bats win. Uh, that's a four runs. Uh, it was a draw. Lose no day by Nikhil and for Daryl uh, bouncing that opportunity and with that boundary score move up to 45. So bad luck for Jibo guys because uh, you show your performance in only one match. The second match, as usual, you lose your hopes in yourself and give to your match. It's very sorry to say, you guys. So the bowling change it is Alvin been introduced to bowl the 6th over they have got only 5 rem five runs remain this time Alvin and oh bad luck bad luck Alvin was all uh, there but uh, almost uh, up am planted uh, the bales as a result of uh, vishwas uh, got a uh, life i can say so score is 46 only four runs spared to enter the semi final the third lovely shot what a shot that's it congratulations saint sebastian that's a six welcome six uh, from the blade of uh, daryl congratulation i request uh, so womanjur have uh, won the toss and elected to field so congratulations since sebastian this is the second ground second home ground because always whenever i give the commentary i have always seen since sebastian will be the team either in semi finals or in the finals so congratulations boys you played your game you played your match that's it so the man of the match No doubt, 
the iron man of uh, saint sebastian for the second time i'm calling his name please do come mr vishwas of saint sebastian to collect your man of the match the iron man the strong man of sebastian please do come forward and collect your I call up. I call up one, Mr. Ashwin Arana. Please do come forward to hand over the man of the match award to Mr. Vishwas, the Iron Man of Saint Sebastian, capturing his uh, second man of the match award this day. A very, very determined person. Determined person, I can say. Very determined person in the. Uh, matter of cricket because uh, once he is in the cricket field he is very determined to win the match not lose the match so i call upon mr ashwin arana do come forward and hand the man of the match for mr iron man of saint sebastian mr vishwas congratulations on winning your second man of the match of the day thank you so i call upon Mr. Elvis, please come forward for your further commentary. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vinson. So we are back for the fourth quarterfinal of SJ Trophy 2024. Kashya taking on Wamanjur for spot in the semi-final against. Saint Sebastian. So Wamanjur has won the toss and have elected to field first. So we have the opening batsman for Kasia, Mr. Desmond and Mr. Manoj Lobo. It is a wonder to see the players playing in these extreme weather conditions. It is something else to play in this hot sun. So it'll be Joystin to open the proceedings for Wamanjur. And it is going to be Desmond on strike. Umpire signal in the start of play. It is a first ball just pushed away towards middle for a single. And with that single, Kasha opened the account 1 1 on the board. For the first time in this innings, Mr. Manu John Strike facing the bowling of Joystin. Full toss and it's a no ball. It was well above the waist and it is a free hit called by the umpire. The bowler missing his length. Beautiful shot down the ground and it's a it's taken, but sadly it's a free hit. Just a single. With that single, score moves on to three on the board. 
Yeah, he is Desmond, the hero of the match against Nirkan. Another single. The batsman doing a good job rotating the strike, forcing the bowler to change his length. That's a door ball. That's a door ball, Mr. Manoj. Wanting to hit it over the extra cover region, but misses it completely, resulting in a dot ball. Once again, that's high in the air, and it's taken. That's a beautiful catch there by the fielder. He had to make up a lot of ground, but he managed to do it and sends the dangerous Manoj Lobo back to the pavilion. It's a early strike for Wamanju. Joshua drawing first blood. And the score is 4 for 1. The new batsman, Mr. Pritam, on the crease, joining Desmond. Joshua with the ball. Last ball of this over. Last ball of this over. The players must have been feeling the heat right now. It's a balmy 33 degrees. High in the air, down the ground. And out of the ground for a sixer. Great start by Pritham. With that sixer, score moves on to 10. For the loss of one wicket. Mr. Preetham looked very calm and he just sends the ball down the ground. Change of bowling. The new bowler, Pradeep, bowling to Desmond. The second over. The second over in progress. First ball. Wide ball signaled. And that was a loosener down the leg side. But left alone by the batsman. The second ball just glanced away for a single. That's quick running between the wickets. Kasia know that Wamans would have a very powerful batting lineup. We have seen how they had chased. 51 against Fajir in the previous match. Once again, Pritham missing it completely, wanted to send it down long off, but resulting in a dot ball. Once again, that's two dot balls in a row. Great bowling there by Mr. Pradeep, keeping the batsman quiet. Just two runs of this over so far. Score is 12 for the loss of one wicket. Good shot by Preetham. Just cutting away towards the mid-off region. Last two balls in this over. Two balls left. Is a Desmond on strike. As a lose now. Hit away to the leg side for a single. With that single, score moves on to 14 on the board. Last ball of this over. Pritham on strike. Pradeep with the ball. Missed it completely. That was just inches away from the off stump. Very lucky over there. The batsman. Or else it could have been disastrous for Kasia. So two overs done. The score is 14 for the loss of one wicket. Great bowling by Mr. Pradeep considering just Four runs. So the next bowler is Vida, the unorthodox spinner. And from around the wicket, and it begins with a wide ball. He's tempting the batsman to hit it on the offside. It is a fielder. And
Indian rats too declared the intention was right but just took too much pace of the ball and go sailing over the fielder's head two runs declared score was on to 17 with that shot over the cover region once again zuida to mr desmond wide down the leg pritham running for the single but sent back by desmond they need not take any unnecessary risks here both teams know the gravity of the situation it's a quarter final match oh just of the fingertips of the bowler would have been a great catch and sending the it dangerous desmond back to the pavilion but desmond survives a single taken being in pritham on strike good shot down the ground but it's taken in the deep good comeback by swida and pritham has to find his way back to the pavilion that's the second wicket down now at a score of just 18 great bowling by zuida considering just four runs of the over and a wicket two balls remaining the new batsman mr prem is on the crease joining desmond a stalwart for the Kasha team So Zuida to the new batsman Mr Prem the youngster stepping up with this unorthodox bowling style trying to play the river sweep leaves it alone does resulting in a wide with that extra score is on to 19 on the board another yes it is another wide down the leg side that's two wide balls in a row score moves up to 20 you cannot afford extras in a match like this That's a third wide ball in the over. There's a third wide ball the sweep back to back wide balls. The bowler feeling the pressure needs to change his line. There's a fourth wide down the leg Desmond was tempted for the run but goes back. That's four wides in the over. So far for wides in a row the fifth one of this over will the bowler change his side good shot by the batsman chance of a run out direct hit and the batsman would have been walking back to the pavilion but nevertheless it seemed a bit wide from this angle single taken last ball of the over river sweep and just a single taken end of the third over the score is 24 for the loss of two wickets kashya are scoring at rate of 8 runs and over they need to start scoring for quick runs now make up for the slow start nevertheless in this heat it is difficult to score runs it becomes extremely exhausting it's just 2:45 in the afternoon Justin back for a second over. 
Desmond on strike. Beautiful bowling there. Desmond baffled and the bowling appreciated by the women's fielders. Pushed away for a single or a slight fumble by the fielder over there. But it doesn't harm the fielding side. Just a single taken. With that single score moves on to 25. Down the leg side. But it's well inside the guideline. Umpire unmoved. It's a dot ball nevertheless. Score remains at 25. Tries to sweep it away. A huge appeal by the fielders. But the umpire remains unmoved. Sir Burgiani volunteers Konepura Jon and Jawan Swigar Karizam and Vinati Karta. Full toss! And that's a boundary. The bowler missing his line and length. Gives a juicy full toss to the batsman. And he sends it heaving over long on. Great shot down the ground. A much needed boundary for the slow start. And it's clean board. A great comeback by Joystin after considering a boundary. There's a third wicket down for Kasia. Kasia losing wickets at regular intervals at this point. And the stalwart Prem has to find his way back to the pavilion. Beautiful bowling by Joycin. He has drawn blood in, in both his overs. Now the new batsman is Jason. The bowler Pradeep back for his second over. The score is 29 for the loss of three wickets. The score just below seven and a half runs and over. This is sensible bowling by Wamanjur. But you never know, there are still four overs left. High in the air. And it's out of the ground. Beautiful shot there by Desmond for a sixer. That's huge. A much needed sixer of the bat of Desmond. What will he do now? Another good shot. Boundary, that's 10 runs of the first two balls. Just the start Kasha needed. The score propels to 39. It's a beautiful start to this over. Can Desmond keep up the start? The bowler Pradeep must be feeling the pressure right now. Two boundaries of the first two balls. He needs to step up again. Beautiful shot down the ground. Just a single. Perfect throw by the fielder. Just what they need. 11 of the over so far. They notice by Jason on strike. Going for a single. White plus one. White plus one. That was an extremely quick run, but an extremely risky run as well. Score moves on to 42. Beautiful balling there by Pradeep. Just inside the guideline. Desmond, the dangerous Desmond back on strike. Another ball down leg and it is a wide signal by the umpire, rightfully so. This is turning out to be a good over for Kasia, just what they needed. Another loser, but pushes it for a single. Score moves on to 44. Last ball of this over. Last ball. Shot down the ground. 
a good attempt by the fielder but it just goes through his hands another boundary with that boundary comes out of 48 this is just the over kasha needed Nineteen runs of that over. Nineteen runs scored. Now the real question is, who's going to bowl the remaining three overs? They need to. Kasha need to save the wickets for the death overs. They'll have that extra security. Anush to bowl the sixth over. Can he do something for the team? This young lad has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders right now. The dangerous Desmond, the well said Desmond on strike. And it begins with a wide. Score moving to 49. One shy of a 50. Desmond goes down the ground and he was out of the ground. Beautiful shot there for a sixer. Score was out to 55. Desmond knows he really needs to step up right now. Desmond is taking on the Wamanjur, bowl, Wamanjur bowling attack. 55 the score. Once again. Beautiful bowling there by the young Anush. Desmond tried to send one outside but he missed it. Only finding a thin edge. It was a slow one. Chance of a run out. But the chance has gone begging. With that risky single, score moves on to 56 by signal by the umpire. Wide ball called. Score moves on to 57 with that extra. Jason on strike facing the bowling of the young lad Anush. That was a loose now, but luckily Jason misses it. Last two balls remaining in this over. Good shot. Down the ground. Will it be taken? No, it's not. Well, there's a small slip up for Desmond, but he's, stand, he's quick on his feet. They go for a couple. Score moves out to 59. Last ball of this over. Last ball of this over. Jason on strike. The young lad Anush with the ball. Beautiful shot. Just a single. With that single, score moves on to 60. Kasha showing a resurgence at this point. Two overs remaining. They are scoring at 10 runs and over. It already looks like a well above pass score at this point. Zuido back for the second over. Beautiful balling there. Just a single. Breaking the dangerous Desmond on strike. Desmond is scoring at an extremely quick rate. Zuido to Desmond. Hits it towards fine leg. Single. Good strike rotation. 
by the batsman, forcing the bowler to change his length and thus causing him to make mistakes. Outside the off stump, but umpire unmoved. The intention to make him hit towards the offside, make him come forward and make a mistake, the batsman. But it's another wide ball and chance for a direct hit. And it's given. Great piece of fielding there. That was absolutely unnecessary. But nevertheless, that's a white ball as well. But it sends the dangerous Desmond back to the pavilion. It is just what Wamanjuri needed. They are hoping to choke off the supply of Kasha's runs. They needed a break too. They have got it, but is it a bit too late? That's the real question. The new batsman Sandesh replacing Desmond. Zuida with the ball. Extremely down the leg side and a wide call by the umpire. Score moves on to 64. There's a single umpire saying the leg buys. It doesn't matter how the runs are coming, as long as they're coming. Last two balls to go. Another wide ball. Mr. Sandesh had come halfway down the crease, but he was sent back. Two balls left to go in this over. This is a penalty made over of this innings. Zweeder to Jason. And look out, and it's another wide. That's the third wide in this over. You cannot concede too many wides at this stage. Every wide is an extra run and an extra ball. Sweeter once again to Jason. A, a appeal by the fielders. But the umpire is unmoved. Leg by signal once again. And the single. Last ball of this over. Last ball of this over. Zwider to Sandesh. Good shot down the ground. A great fielding attempt. But it's only a single taken. End of the seventh over score is 69 for the loss of four wickets. Now who's going to bowl the last over? Looks like there might be a change of bat. Mr. Jason has opted for a change in bat. The new bowler, Rolson. Rolson to bowl the last over. He needs to control this over because Kasha are scoring at almost 10 runs an over. First ball. That's a no ball called. So no ball called. That ball looked well outside the pitch. And it's a free hit. I request St. Sebastian to come to the commentator's box for the signatures. 
as soon as possible. Free hit. And it's a dot ball. Good balling there by Rawlson. He has to be feeling the pressure. Wide ball signal. Score moves on to 71. 71 on the board. Down the ground. And that's a boundary. Great batting there by Mr. Sandesh. The changing bats and he's putting the bat to good use. He went down the ground but manages to get his foot in the crease in the nick of time. That is a quick stumping there by Pradeep. But Sandesh just manages to keep his foot on the crease. Three balls remaining in the over. Good shot down the ground and that's a run out. That was an unnecessary run but the gravity of the situation. Jason wanted the strike and Sandesh has to find his way back to the pavilion. That's the fifth wicket down. Avil, the new batsman in. Two balls remaining. Two balls remaining. Good shot down the ground by Jason. The single taken. Last ball of the server. Last ball of the server. Good shot for a single, a direct hit, but the batsman is in his crease and a go for another. That's an extra run. So that's the end of the Kasha innings. This score 78. 78 runs in the allotted 8 overs. So Team Wamaj need to chase a mammoth. 79 of 48 deliveries. After the slow start, Kashia have managed to put 49 runs in the last four overs. That is some great batting by Kashia, courtesy of Desmond and Jason. Desmond once again stepping up for Kashia. Scoring. 28 runs of 18 balls. A great contribution once again by Mr. Desmond. Now the real question is, can Bawanjur chase this target down and book themselves, book for themselves a spot in the semi-finals? The next eight overs will know. Meanwhile, Kashi, on the other hand, are, might be happy with the score. The only thing they need to do is avoid any loose deliveries and keep the match in their hands. Now we have our extremely energetic commentator, Mr. Anil, to take over the commentary for the second innings.
So, that's been starting with a crime. One plus one, two. Good. So Desmond, uh, this time turns. Uh, Nuns going for a. Uh, it's a buy declared by the umpire. So another extra added total with that extra score moves up to three. So turns this time to the batsman. Pradeep, good ball, well played by the batsman. So here is uh, Desmond. Another good ball, lovely balling. Uh, waiting for the patience of the batsman, but uh, come on, boy. One, two, then you'll he'll pick you up. That's it. So meanwhile, batsman uh, uh, run for a leg by. So that extra score moves up to four on the board. Here is Terence once again. This time to the left hand batsman, Terence. Good ball, lovely ball. Terence had no answer for that. Ball uh, dipping and keeping it low. So all my favorites are in there in the middle. The one is my, what I can say. Ah, <laughs> extras will kill you, Terence. Uh, Desmond. <laughs> You got an example of previous match. So, so Desmond this time to Terence. Oh, it was a juicy ball there. And I'm pursuing a signaling leg by. So that uh, that comes the end of the over number one. Up the end of number one. Six. Six without loss. So the the change uh, in the bowling from Kasha's side, uh, it's Melton been introduced by the skipper. Here's Melton there. Nice juicy ball and uh, the batsman uh, turns uh, easy picking pickings for him, just lifting over square leg for three runs. Here's Melson for the second time. Another one, lovely shot. Easy picking, two threes. My fellow commentator Anil uh, uh, just used to have a conversation saying that if RCB gets scores, Bowlers won't support them. And if, yes, given this time, and the first wicket fallen for uh, uh, Wamanjur in the form of uh, Terence, given leg before. The new batsman is Josie number five, Amrit. So I'll conclude saying that if RCB has a lot of runs in their pocket, the bowlers can't, don't do it. If RCB have <laughs> vice versa. So here is uh, Melson to the new batsman Amrit. 
Lovely ball, equally well packed. Will it be a four runs? A good picking there by Amrit. Uh, it was a vacant place, and uh, Manoj is not at all happy with that bowling because uh, it was a juicy half volley towards his leg side. And uh, Manoj. And I see all Kasha Parish. Melson this time to Amrit. A juicy ball then, fill it there by Manoj himself. Back to the uh, uh, the bowler. With that uh, score is uh, 17 on the board. So Melton with the last time and it's over. Foolish bowling there by Melson. Foolish bowling. It's a no ball and it's a free hit given there by uh, Empire Nawaz. This time. Lovely bowling. Yes, that's it. It's a leg bar declared by Nawaz. Empire Nawaz. So we come to the conclusion of O number two. Uh, score after com uh, completion of O number two score is 19. Maril. So the, after a deep discussion uh, for the bowling change and been, uh, it's been decided that the Desmond will come well, Desmond will continue his uh, quota. There are uh, plenty of occasions for Kasha Parish. Two overs, 19. That means they are scoring at a rate of nearly 9.5 per over. And target is uh, 79. Almost 10 per over. Still 50 runs to go. So 36 balls, 50 runs. That means uh, eight and a half per over. Manageable. Desmond. This time uh, towards the vacant area. Will they come back for the second? Uh, no. They're happy with the single. With that single, uh, score moves up to 20. Desmond, lovely shot in war folly and Amrit punishing it well and uh, what's the decision, uh, nobody sees what it is, it's uh, spectators, four, yeah, it's a boundary, uh, volunteers can you Baba? Nice shot, what shot, and that's a six. What shot there by Amrit? Two back to back, one four, one six. Now Desmond is in a bother. Is in a bother now, Desmond. Oh, <laughs> in back of my seat, uh, some of the photos of Vamanju says, Kuru, Kuru. It's a, uh, okay, it's a spirit, game spirit, yes, yeah. Anybody uh, uh, supporting for their team, they will always, obviously, when I do, I am, I am, uh, I am saying it, because whenever my host, Jepu, plays, I will always be on Jepu. But the team who are uh, playing against them, they'll be saying, they'll be against me. So, okay. Nice shot. What a shot. That's it. Bad bowling there, this man. Sorry, boy. So, with that, uh, six. Uh, 
कैनन कैनन इशिन पड़ला इशिन अत्ता पड़ला बॉल अत्ता पड़ला बॉल इशिन पड़ला मिलो सो Score as three o's thirty-seven. That means uh, uh, forty-two. Thirty balls, forty-two. Asking rate is seven runs per over. Ritesh, the bowler. Ritesh is the bowler. Ritesh is the bowler. Thirty balls, forty-two required. Lovely shot. That's a four. That's the batting spirit of Amrit there. If I'm not mistaken, Amrit, na. So now, four. So now, sorry guys, the bowlers. All you have to play against the wind because there is the wind that the that it is helping the batsman. Yes, yes, buddy. It's not your mistake. It's a wind. It's a wind. Then keep the ball tack to tack. It's a wind. It is helping the batsman. So please. I'm very <laughs> so. <laughs> what i can say i can't say anything in that it's a bowler's uh, mind and play and batsman's game so <laughs> with that single score moves up to that's a 50 for vamonju parish 50 good batting performance by amrit there because uh, he is the Macho man for Vamanju. Look at it. With that, uh, will they come back? No. Uh, thank for that uh, three. They only get a single for that. With that single, <laughs> score moves up to fifty-one. Look at now. It was a juicy ball, but uh, Holly can uh, get only a single. We come to the end of over number. Four. After the end of four overs, score is fifty-two. Twenty-four balls, twenty-seven required. Not a huge target for Vamanjur. Twenty-four, twenty-seven. So. So, Mr. Lobo has been introduced to bowl. Manoj Lobo, we call him as Lobo. Is ready to bowl. Nice ball there. Manoj, bowling a loose now. There, he comes. This time, the batsman now uh, just driving towards the gully area gets a single there. With that single, score moves up to fifty-four. Miss Bavaska, chance for an out there. Yes, it is. That's a. Uh, A wicket for Vamanju Parish. It was a suicidal. Pradeep has been run out. The next batsman joining uh, Anush is uh, Amrit is Anush.
So the great guns is still there in the middle. Mr. Amrit for uh, Vamanju Parish is going uh, good going for Vamanju Parish. So all depends on the bowling of Kasha. This time uh, glided towards the onside and gets a single. Jason couldn't prevent the single for that. With that single score with a 55 on the board. Manoj. This time to Amrit. Oh, and it's given there, yes. A strong appeal made by the bowler. Who we'll look at the confidence and uh, Amrit was playing across and as a result uh, he got the uh, green wicket of Amrit. So Amrit is back to the pavilion. So all I can say is uh, the experience counts. 10 balls, 26 is the scoring rate of Amrit. So ladies and gentlemen, give a good applause for Amrit for his uh, uh, heroic uh, uh, batting performance. The next batsman joining uh, Anush is uh, Joyston. Good bowling day by Ma Manoj, but equally well played by the batsman. And we come to the end of five overs. After the end of five overs, score is uh, 56. That means uh, 23. 18 balls, 23 required. 18 balls, uh, 23 required. Now uh, the pendulum tangling towards uh, all you have to say is uh, keep your fingers crossed because uh, there's a deep discussion made by the Kasha parishioners who to decide who the bowler is finally they got the bowler and uh, Ritesh. Ritesh is the, uh, I've been introduced to about the sixth over. And the batsman facing him is uh, Joyston. Ritesh. Lovely ball, equally well played by the batsman all along the carpet. Just gets a single for that. With that single, uh, score is 57. Uh, I think... Uh, all I can say is uh, Vamunjur 57, 22 required, 17 balls. So all you can say is that uh, Vamunjur are in the driving seat. They have got wickets intact. Here is Ritesh. This time, lovely, left it, well left it. And that's for a four runs. So with that four runs, Kom is up to 61. Another 18 more required for Vamanju Parish to enter into the second semi-final. They'll be playing against uh, Saint Sebastian. The winner of this match, they'll be playing against uh, Saint Sebastian. So here is Ritesh this time. To Jonathan, this might be a extra wide. Yes, it is. Empire Nava spreading his arms and uh, it's a wide. So with that, score is 62. Again, wrapped in the bat this time. Uh, all beaten up. Appealing for uh, a caught behind. Negated by Empire Nava. It's start ball. Here is Ritesh this time to Joyston. Nice shot. No need from that. Four runs. That's a four runs. So with that uh, four runs, score moves up to 60, 66. Still 13 more runs to go. Eight 
equation says and chance for an out there oh ho, ho. bad mistake by pritham it was surely a, a dolly chance for him but he missed it completely as a result uh, score is uh, 67 on the board equation says uh, 13 balls 12 required 13 balls 12 required as i said earlier vamanjur parish arnya driver said that is still a good shot applied by the batsman will he come back for the second and uh, no they made a slight of mistake made a too lazy to take uh, that score as a result uh, they got only a single so we come to the end, uh, end of 6 uh, overs after the end of 6 overs score is uh, Sixty, sixty-eight. That means twelve balls, eleven required. Now there should be some magic in order for the Kasha Palace to bring that match towards them. But who will be the bowler so that they can uh, they can drag their match into their side? So will it be Manoj? Yeah, Manoj Lobo has uh, decided to bowl himself. 12 balls 11 required wickets are intact nice shot applied by four runs so 11 balls 7 so now i think uh, slowly and steadily vamanjur are stepping towards the second semi final it's a dot ball there bowled by manoj So, all eyes on the batsman joist in there. Nice shot, plowed by him. That's it for uh, six. And uh, the scores are leveled. And uh, uh, कहीं वो सा ना करते. आने एक पांच मिनट अंदर तुमको टॉस दाऊं का सा मैच दाऊं का सा. wide and congratulations uh, vamanju parish uh, for entering into the second semi finals so there will be a 5 minutes break for you guys after 5 minutes i will call upon you for the toss S signature sorry signature kona ji signature dauna signature zala is seven sebastian zala ki zala 5 minutes for vamanju parish for signature meanwhile i'll decide who will be the man of the match So against all odds it will be decided that uh, Mr Amrit of Vamanjur please do come forward for your uh, accept your man of the match uh, award Mr Amrit been awarded as man of the match award this award will be Deepak 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 Kono Mr Deepak So I call upon Mr. Amrit to please come forward and receive your Man of the Match uh, award from Mr. Deepak. So Amrit, there. Uh, Elvis, where are you? Elvis. So, Mr. Amrit, been uh, honoured as man of the match. So, five minutes break, and I call upon uh, uh, the skipper of Vamanju. Please do come up forward for the toss. I'm uh, sorry, signature, as well as toss. Five minutes break, please. वामंजूर पोंडा
Thank you, Vincent. Uh, coming to the second semi final of this tournament between uh, Team St. Sebastian versus Woman SJ Trophy 2024. We already have one team, uh, Morel, qualifying to the final uh, in the last evening. Uh, the first team to qualify for the final, and they're out here. Uh, we'll be watching. Uh, the second semi-final between St. Sebastian and uh, Woman Jota. I would like to have the two captains uh, onto the stage for the toss. Uh, the captain of St. Sebastian, Mr. Wilfred. Uh, And the captain of uh, Womanjur, Mr. Amrit. Uh, the two captains, uh, Wilfred and Amrit, uh, can we have uh, both of them onto the stage for the toss for the semi final two? And the winner will qualify for the final. One team has to win, one team has to make their way back to their uh, own resident. Uh, and uh, let's wait and watch within the next uh, 10 minutes. Uh, we will have the second semi final. In the meanwhile, two captains, please do come for the toss. Uh, A second call for the both the captains, uh, Mr. Wilfred and Amrit. Uh, can you just be on to the stage for the toss? Uh, we do not want to waste any much time. Uh, we have a big final uh, to be played after this. Uh, your support is much needed. Uh, two captains, uh, please come to the commentary box. Uh. We do have the captains of uh, Team Womanjur. Can we have the captain of uh, St. Sebastian, Mr. Wilfred? Uh, can you please come to the commentary box and then you can have your team discussion as soon as the toss is done.
And here's the toss between the two captain and the captain of uh, Saint uh, Sebastian. Uh, Mr. Wilfred have won the toss and definitely the decision. Uh, he loves to bowl. So still let's wait for the decision uh, whether to bowl or bat. Uh, on the other end, uh, team uh, Woman Jordan, be ready because uh, the captain Wilfred uh, will definitely be allowed to bowl. Uh, and that's uh, a normal decision coming from the captain of team uh, Saint Sebastian. Now after winning the toss, no hesitation to bowl first. Uh, on the other end, uh, this will be a, a good contest for the batters of team Woman Jordan. They'll be battling against one of the strongest bowling lineup in this tournament. Uh, We've seen the team uh, Sebastian uh, dominating uh, team uh, Jampu he, in the third quarter final match. Uh, they were top of the game. Uh, the bowlers bounced back strongly and made their team to qualify into the semi final. Uh, Woman Shure is a young team. Uh, we need to appreciate the efforts done toward this tournament uh, and making themselves to qualify into the semi final. Even that is the great side. Uh, they know that, uh, that the Eng team are uh, battling against one of the strongest team uh, in this tournament. Uh, with plenty of experienced players under the belt of Team St. Sebastian, uh, Wilfred himself, the captain behind the storms, uh, Daryl, uh, Conwell, uh, Sean, uh, not to forget the man, uh, the golden arm, uh, Mr. Vishwas. Uh, So we have the two officials walking out in the middle uh, for the semi-final. We have uh, Mr. Selingim and Mr. Navas to experience impact from the Mangler Zone. And also we have uh, an official third up by Mr. Uh, So here's the signal coming from the Namaz for the start of the second semi-final. Uh, Daryl will be bowling to Pradeep uh, facing for the first time in this innings. Uh, and the very first ball uh, has been hammered towards the uh, long off. Uh, what a start for uh, the team of Woman June in the very first ball. A boundary has been hit uh, over the long off. Uh, nothing wrong with the delivery ball by uh, Daryl, uh, but the batsman made it. Uh, the ball uh, to clear out of the park. Uh, on to the long off. Uh, the fielder was just watching the ball sailing over his head. Uh, the timing uh, and the rest of the work is done by the wind. Uh, the wind has taken the ball uh, over to the long off boundary. Daryl, second time. And this time uh, played on to the wider off. Uh, the long on position. That could be uh, another boundary. That's a boundary officially coming from the the lineman uh, because from this direction uh, the ball has uh, cleared onto the boundary it's been pitched towards the direction where the boundary four has been signaled uh, that's a boundary pressure back to the bowler uh, Terrell uh, two back-to-back -back boundaries coming in the back of Pradeep uh, once again, another experienced bowler, Rishwas, having a word to Daryl. Daryl is also an experienced bowler. 
but this is a different game but semi-final match winner will qualify for the final loser or out of the tournament and the ball coming well in the Pradeep has made his mind he will just go off to the bowling of Saint Sebastian he doesn't want to bowler to get settled out there in the middle that's a great sign from the great batsman that's the way you need to play your NX for your side this jam drives it, uh, taking the ball far away from the opposite, right to the long off. Uh, this should be only satisfied with the single. Uh, four balls have been bowled, nine runs have been conceded. Final two ball. Kunia Yerudis at the back of the over number one. Uh, he'll be bowling to Terence, the lefty batsman. Uh, the ball coming well quick enough. Uh, then the last four ball that he has been bowled. Uh, this is a fun uh, delivery that has been bowled. Uh, that's what uh, the bowler Daryl needs to do. Keep a tight line outside the outstake. This time ball coming well in, uh, making a roam, playing towards a cover position to keep the single taken in the final ball and to keep the strike in the next over. After the completion of first over, scores on 10 for no loss. What a start. Eight overs game, big semi final winner. Well qualified for the final of SA Trophy 2024. And we have already have one team which has uh, made uh, their way into the final is Maril. Uh, they are the best to side in the pool A to get them qualify. Even that semi-final match, what an exact semi-final we had last evening. Uh, they had to chase the target uh, of about 73 runs in uh, the seven overs game uh, and they had made that uh, quite comfortably and William uh, was the man uh, a single handedly get got his team to the uh, big final William the man uh, will be watching uh, which team will be battling into the uh, second uh, team into the final either it could be Sebastian or Womanjur Vishwas, uh, rarely we see Vishwas starting with a wide, uh, desperately the captain will fit out, want a wicket, either any one of uh, this, uh, Terence or Pradeep, the first ever wide ball by uh, Vishwas in this tournament, uh, taking his time, uh, passing the umpire, uh, warning to Terence, and as they play it, giving full respect, playing onto the cover position, onto the offside, uh, each and every runs which has been scored by the batters of Womanjur has been cheered by their fans. It's an young team. We need to support uh, the team uh, taking part in this tournament. Uh, playing against one of the finest team uh, from uh, St. Sebastian Parish. Uh, this is not so easy to battle against that team. Uh, but still... Uh, confident of the team this is a shot ball and attempt was done by the feeder but the end the ball rising quickly over to the deep mid wicket region for the boundary an attempt was done to take that catch it was a flat hit by Pradeep that's the third boundary coming under his innings that's an intention made in his mind that he will not make the bowlers to be settled every bowler so far has been hammered first over we have seen two boundaries second over Already a boundary has been hit in the bowling of which was uh, six runs have been conceded this over. This time drives it down the ground onto the long off for another single. Uh, three balls have been bowled. Seven runs have been conceded in this over and the score jumping to 17 on the score card. Still three to go. This time uh, which was once again losing his lighter length. Uh, as soon as the ball has been delivered, uh, slightly ball pitching far away from the off stick. Uh, he is losing his line of length. Uh, before the ball was been delivered, uh, he has uh, missed his run up and that was the uh, reason. Once again, uh, that is far away from the off stick. He is losing his line of length. Uh, and the captain, Wilfred, needs to have a word with the bowler. Uh, Two back to back wides. That's a third wide in this over. Still, he has three balls remaining to finish the over number two. 
And this time the ball drifting slightly from outside to inside. And the batsman uh, Terence just making uh, use of it, uh, playing on to the long on for a single. Uh, another expensive over coming uh, from the bowlers of St. Sebastian. Uh, the first over 10 runs conceded, second over still not completed. Still you have another two more balls remaining. This time I drifted on to the onside for another single. Once again the bowler losing his run up. He's not able to get the line and length properly. We normally don't see Vishwas bowling this kind of a loser one in his entire tournament. The man who backed six wickets. In the first game, uh, the man who backed back-to-back -back man of the match in this uh, tournament. Uh, the final ball, uh, a single has been taken on to the short cover position to keep the strike for the next over. The lefty batsman Terence uh, will be on the strikers end. So after the completion of uh, two overs, uh, score is on uh, 22. It means that they're going exactly around 11 runs per over. In the beginning of the first over, uh, the run rate was around 10. Now the run rate is on 11. But still, uh, it's an 8 overs game. Remaining 36 ball will be a crucial one for the team Vormanjur. Because the bowlers of team St. Sebastian can bounce back strongly in the last 6 overs. We have seen them doing in the last 2 games. Uh, even in the quarter-final match, they have uh, kept hold the team Jeppo A, who at the top, at one stage, the team getting the highest total ever in this tournament. And this time, Derry once again coming back to bowl the second over for his side, and he starts with the wide. He started with the boundary in the very first over, two back to back boundaries in the first two ball. But now, with the second over, very first ball, a wide signal given by the umpire, the second ball. That's the line of length what the Daryl needs to bowl. Uh, this ball slightly outside the off stick. Uh, and that will cause some problems to the batsman. In the main while, uh, the batsman Terence, uh, even if he just play a, a late cut, could have got a single. Uh, now, the bowler Daryl is asking the co fielder to. This time, there was a chance for Terence to hammer it out of the park. Uh, but uh, he knows that he has missed. Uh, a golden chance, uh, or as we could have seen, a ball uh, clearing uh, onto the long on or to the mid wicket position. And this time, this is an excellent uh, comeback by Terry Lofter, considering wide uh, comes back, bowls three back to back dotted delivery. That's what I was just talking before the over number two got over. Uh, the bowlers of St. Sebastian can bounce back strongly. Two overs, 22. Uh, in the over number three, just a one single. And now the run rate is dipping lower. This time, uh, over to the cover position. A valuable attempt done by the fielder. Uh, it was onto his wrong end, but still uh, a chance given to the batsman Terence. With that single, the score is on 24. Konea Yerude Setabaki. Final two balls. Just the two runs conceded out of four balls. With help of one single and a wide. And this time, uh, there is a fielder on the net, but he has to just watch the ball sailing over his head. Uh, and that's a uh, well needed boundary coming in the bat, uh, Pradeep. That's the fourth boundary coming in the bat. Uh, as soon as when we see Mr. Pradeep on the strikers, and uh, we can see the boundary coming uh, from his bat. Uh, final ball of the over number. Three. Still, I can say it's a pretty good over. Just a six conceded in five balls. Let's see what will happen in the final ball. Final ball, the ball shot in front of the baller. An attempt was done by the baller to take that catch. But at the end, the batsman Pradeep is saving his bat increase on the non strikers and the ball falling short of the baller. So, over number. Three completed, uh, seven is conceded in that over, and the score jumping to 29 for no loss. Once again, this time, the run rate has been dipped from 11 to close to 10 runs per over. So that's the equation we can see. The run rate can go up, can dip against the bowling lineup of uh, St. Uh, Sebastian. 
And captain once again uh, asking uh, voice for us to bowl the over number two because the captain has a hope of uh, getting a wicket in this over. Uh, which was uh, his back uh, once again uh, for his last spell uh, of uh, this match. Uh, And he has been welcomed up with a boundary onto the long on position. In between the two feeders, even the feeders are being kept on the deep. But still it doesn't matter for Pradeep. Once when he times it right in the middle of the bat. Look at the, the shot. It was just connected right in the middle of the bat. Over pitch ball. And Pradeep doesn't miss it. Those kind of uh, the loser one ball by Vishwas. In the big semi-final. The golden arm of uh, the St. Sebastian bowler uh, has been hammered. It is a cricket game. Uh, every time uh, the bowler will not be on the top of the, the bowling mark. Uh, sometimes even a good bowler can be hammered by the, the better batsman. This is once again. That was a loser one. As soon as the doll has been delivered. Uh, we thought that Pradeep uh, could have gone for it. But he was too early to play that shot. Luckily for the bowler. Uh, Ended with a dotted one. 33 on the scorecard. 33 runs for no loss. Over number four in progress. And this time uh, drives it uh, straight to the field on the long of one bounce to the fielder. Uh, 34 on the scorecard. 34 runs, no loss. Uh, which is a pretty good start after asking to bat first by the captain Wilfred of Sebastian. Here is uh, which was to the lefty batsman. Uh, this time ball uh, dipping slightly outside the off stick. Uh, the batsman Terence is struggling uh, in the last couple of balls. Uh, he started pretty well, uh, was timing the ball in a nice way, but in the middle of the innings, uh, uh, plenty of dot balls under his belt. He just need to take a single, give a strike back to Pradeep, who's just timing the ball. Uh, Quite nicely out in the middle. Uh, and this time played over the long off. Uh, and then once again, this time the catch has been put down by the experience of player. Uh, and the bowler, the captain, could not believe that Conwell, the man on the deep, who have dropped the catch. Uh, it was straight to his hand. Uh, at the last moment, the ball popping out of his hand. Uh, we could have seen a wicket under the belt of Ashwaz, but still. Uh, the batsmen have managed to get a live and a single has been taken. Here's the final ball of the over number four. And the final ball uh, ending with the dotted one. Uh, so Vishwas uh, finishes his uh, two overs of spell in the first two were conceded 12. In the second over he just conceded six runs. So it means that uh, he had an equation of uh, nine runs per over. Uh, so after the completion of four overs, off of the stage, the score is on 35. Every time uh, we see that the batsman getting some good start uh, and after that, uh, slightly the runs are uh, dipping. Uh, they started at the run rate of 10, but now uh, they're just trying to get their runs in between 9.5 runs per over. Uh, I'm sorry, the run rate is close to 9 runs. Uh, from 10, it went to 11. Again, it came back to 9. 35 is the score. More than the game, no loss. Uh, off of the stage. Still the four overs. And we have another golden arm bowler for the team. Uh, Nihal uh, has been asked to bowl the over number 5. And now we have uh, three bowlers uh, to bowl uh, the remaining overs. Out of that three bowler, just a one bowler can bowl another extra over. And this time, Nihal has been welcomed with a big boundary onto the long off. That catch which was been put down is the costliest one. If the catch could have been taken in the previous over, we could have not seen a boundary coming in the butt of uh, Terence. Finally, some relief for the batsman Terence uh, connecting right in the middle of the bat after the catch was been put down. Uh, 
And this time, look at the driver. If it was in the open ground, definitely we could have seen another bounty. That's a quicker driver. Normally, we do not see those kind of first shot coming from a lefty batsman toward that direction. But at the end, uh, this is a single taken. It doesn't matter how the runs are supporting for the team Bowmanger. They take that runs. Already five runs have been conceded in this over. The batsman should uh, take a risk and uh, go for another extra run, but they don't want to take that advantage. Why? Because the runs are coming pretty good and a partnership is building up. Six runs have been conceded in this over. 41 runs is the total so far. 41 is a partnership. What a start in the second semi-final. And this time, uh, on to the long off. Uh, will the batsman cross for the second run? This time they should go for it. But still, uh, they're not taking that risk. Uh, they had an ample of time to cross that. Could win that single into double, but might be the both the batters look so tired out in the middle. Why not? Because the humidity, the heat, uh, getting some problems for the batsmen because they're playing back-to-back -back game. Uh, defeated uh, Kasia. And now uh, battling in the semi-final. The stamp driven it round the ground onto the long off just for a single. Uh, a good comeback by the bowler Nihal after being uh, hammered for a boundary in the first ball. Uh, he comes back. Uh, has bowled uh, four singles. So it means that he has conceded eight run. Uh, final ball of the over number five. Ends with a dotted one. The batsman not offering any shot thinking that the ball could have been far away from the off stake. Uh, and with that... Uh, Nihal finishes his first over conceding just eight runs. What a partnership. After the completion of uh, five over scores on 43 for no loss. This is the first time we ever seen uh, St. Sebastian bowlers are being hammered by the opening team. Uh, and that to uh, the Eng team uh, taking part in this tournament. What a start. Uh, definitely a dream start for the team Womanjur. Uh, they would have not thought that uh, they could have got such a pretty good start. But all the credit goes to one man uh, who is on the strikers and uh, Mr. Pradeep. Uh, and Cornwall is a bowler. Uh, can he break this partnership? Uh, driven it uh, onto the deep uh, mid-wicket uh, forces for a single. Uh, Slowly the score uh, moving up to 44. And this time uh, there is a chance for an out if it's a direct eight. Uh, Wilfred uh, missing it by an inch. Uh, a leg by a signal given by the ump. And even Wilfred could not believe that uh, he had missed a golden opportunity to get rid of uh, Pradeep. Uh, taking a risky single. The ball was just in front of uh, the pitch, uh, batsman uh, going for the pull hit on to the onside region, uh, to the shorter part of the ground. The ball uh, coming quite quicker than uh, what the batsman would have thought. The ball kissing the pad and immediately the batsman looking for the risky single. He was being supported by Pradeep who was running on the dangerous end. Let's say once again the ball uh, hitting the pad. Uh, there is a chance for an out. The throw was not so good enough. Uh, even Wilfred uh, has given the throw in the right direction. But uh, the ball uh, heading the edge of the pitch. And luckily, Conwell made an excellent work. Uh, but I can say that uh, an excellent partnership coming to an end. Uh, what a partnership uh, between these two batters. At the score of 45 runs, uh, they've lost their first wicket. Uh, you may need to give a big a lot of applause to the the opener batter mr terence uh, who have been well supported by uh, the other batter is still there out in the middle and now we have uh, Amrit, the skipper of uh, team womanger even he can strike the ball we've seen him doing that in the last game and this time once again the ball like uh, kissing the pad and the batsman crossing for a single in a form of a like by so cornwell uh, doing an excellent work uh, uh, so far, uh, just uh, three runs conceded in this over. Uh, normally, we see that the batters of warm opposite team uh, 
going after him but this time he has uh, totally changed the the questions for his side what an excellent over board by Conway just the four conceded in this over final ball remaining of the over number six Kunia is at the back last ball and this time Ambar raising his both hands signaling a wide over that wide the score was on to 48 just a two short of uh, of 50 And this time on to the onside region. Luckily, the ball did not uh, carry to the fielder. Uh, it was slightly wider onto the square leg. Uh, Pradeep uh, looks slightly exhausted out in the middle because of the weather. Uh, can we have the 13th man of uh, the team, Bowman We can just walk in uh, by giving some water to the player. So after the completion of uh, six overs, the score is on 40 died. Final 12 ball. Uh, and the ball has been handed over to Sean. What an excellent spell completed by Conville. Uh, just conceded six runs in his uh, six balls. Uh. So final 12 ball. Kone Hunter is at the wacky of uh, this uh, second semi-final between... Saint Sebastian and Womanjur, 49, Nalwatta Wombatu, after the completion of six overs. And Sean to Pradeep, uh, straight to the fielder, uh, onto the cover position. Uh, excellent attempt done by the fielder. Uh, it was played, uh, obviously, down the ground, uh, uneven bounce at the end. Uh, a well uh, reflection feeling done by the fielder on the cover position. With that single, the 50 up for the team Womanjur. Uh, Another a single adding to the total uh, 51 of the scorecard. The one run coming under the belt of the skipper Amrit uh, getting off the mark in the very first ball. Pradeep uh, got a good start uh, but at the end uh, the last uh, couple of overs uh, the boundaries are uh, stopped completely. Why? Because might be he's totally exhausted over there. He cannot uh, go for the big hit. Uh, it's not so easy uh, under these uh, conditions. This time, uh, the batsman Amrit going for a big hit, getting an edge, and the ball uh, hitting the middle stick. Uh, that's a big blow for the team, Warman Joe. Uh, the captain uh, has to depart uh, after scoring just a single run. The score is on uh, 52. Over number seven in progress. They had a pretty good start. Uh, the 100 was about 10, then it went to 11. Now it has been dipping uh, close to 9 runs. Uh, anything uh, below 10 runs uh, per over will be chasable by the batters of St. Sebastian. Uh, and that's a uh, rare wide coming from the bowling of Sean. With that wide, the score moves on to 53. And we have the new batsman, uh, Mr. Anush, uh, getting off the mark in the very second ball that he has faced. Uh, the first ball was down the leg stick, wide given. He has carried an innings from the last game. Uh, he's an angster. He has a lot of uh, experience under his belt. Uh, he had a great uh, cricketing career coming in the future. Uh, we need to appreciate uh, the efforts shown by the, all the players of Team Warmajur, the angsters playing against the, one of the better side in the tournament. Over number 7 coming to end score is on 55. So final 6 ball. Even if they get another 10 runs in that last over, uh, still it is a manageable total in the second semi-final. But we have seen uh, in the first semi-final, uh, 73 runs odd was been uh, given by the opening team. And that too they got out uh, with a few overs left. But... But on the other end, we have seen uh, Viral, uh, one man uh, single-handedly brought his team to the big finals. Life was given to him. He had utilized it and scored a, a brilliant 48 runs to get his team into the final. Uh, that is called uh, the cricketing experience coming from the experienced batsmen. It is not the batter's mistakes. It is the fielder's mistake. If the fielder drops the catch, then the game is all over. Uh, and once again, this is the small thinking by the captain, Wilfred. Uh, 
Normally we see only one over coming from uh, Conwell. Uh, but he is an experienced player. Uh, starts with the dotted one. Pradeep uh, slightly struggling in the middle of his innings. Uh, got a pretty good start for his team. This time coming down the track. Not able to time it right in the middle of the bat. Just a single uh, onto the mid wicket. Uh, just a one run earning to the total. Now Adosh is the man. He has just walked in. Uh, it looks fit enough. Now he is the man to take a charge. Uh, but this time the ball coming well in. Uh, going for a big hit. Getting in inside it. Straight to the wicket keeper. Uh, another dotted delivery ball by Conwell in this over. Just a single conceded. Still three to go. Konya Muras is the marking in the over number eight. Uh, And this time uh, driven it to the long off for a single. Uh, what an over. Uh, what a final over ball by Conwell. Still he has two balls. Uh, and we have the man who has come as an opener uh, is on the strikers. And uh, to face the remaining two balls of this second semi-final. Can we see a big hit? Uh, there was a chance. And finally really for the batsman Pradeep. But that was the first loser one ball by Conwell. Uh, and uh, big hit coming in the bat of Pradeep. Uh, what a hit it is. Uh, and he doesn't miss uh, those kind of a loser ball. And here's the final ball of the over number eight. Uh, what will be the result? Uh, and the final ball, uh, the Pradeep uh, giving his wicket. Uh, but that's uh, an excellent innings coming to an end. He started his innings with the boundary and ended his innings in the last ball by giving his wicket. But it doesn't matter. But you have played single handedly, got a nice target for your team. Uh, and eight overs. Uh, They managed to score 63 runs in 8 overs, giving a target of 64, which is a, a tougher target, I can say, because definitely the credit goes to the player of uh, Womanjur, especially the first two batters getting a good start at the end, uh, carrying that innings. That's what you need to do for your team, uh, because uh, cricket is not a game of uh, boundaries and sixes. Every time uh, we see that in the shorter format of the game, uh, the people... Uh, Going for the big head, uh, that's the mistake what the players do. Because even a singles and doubles are much needed. Uh, and that's the way how the players of Warman Jude, they did uh, in uh, in the semi-final against the strongest side, St. Sebastian. Uh, lose the ball, were hammered out of the park. And where the runs were been able to take in the singles and doubles, they have done that. So what an excellent knock coming from uh, Pradeep. Uh, 38 runs coming under his belt but still this is a chaseable target uh, on the other end the experienced players like Wilfred uh, Conwell uh, Sean uh, Vishwas uh, Daryl uh, these are the batsmen need to be watched in the second semi-final in the second innings uh, they have to only get a target of uh, 64 in uh, allotted 48 ball it means that in any and every over uh, they have to score a run of eight runs per over which is not a tougher target uh, under this ground even uh, the bowlers of warm and Jude, uh, even they have to bowl a tight line of length because they know that uh, they're playing against the better side but still you're the only team who have got uh, such a huge run against one of the finest team in this tournament uh, of uh, sj Trophy 2024. Uh, so definitely this will be a, a good contest between uh, the two teams. Now uh, it's a rule of the bowlers and the fielders of uh, the team uh, Warm and Joda. 64 is the target and uh, over to my co-commentator, my co-friend uh, Mr. Vincent Sequera will be doing the, the further earnings of uh, the match which is played between Sebastian and the team Woman Jordan. Second Second semi-final, second innings, target of 64 out of 48 balls. Over to Vincent Chiquera. Thank you, Mr. Anil. 
for a few confidential and few more tips regarding the cricket so now all eyes on the batting squad especially since bastons so i don't know since how long since bastion been remained uh, lifted their cup i'm not sure but uh, one man is sure i am not sure here so we focused in second innings of the day since bastion chasing a target of uh, 64 the openers this time yeah slight bit of change elson has been pushed back uh, pushed up and uh, conwell elson and conwell slightly a difference to right hand batsmen for the team the opening bowler is the opening bowler for uh, women's team is uh, joyston 64 is the target in the allotted uh, 48 deliveries that means asking rate is 8 runs per over and passing the start of the match here is the navas signal the start of the match first ball from joyston to elson sorry for conwell he's a first ball lovely ball <laughs> a typical uh, uh, tarai ball from mangalore uh, with uh, having a uh, much of a pace behind uh, with it and conwell uh, was surprised with, the, with with that bounce especially the bounce of uh, the bowler here he comes for the second time lovely has gone him what a wicket so was a big fish uh what i can say right there it's a big fish to vamuji parish conwell the big hitter hardest hitter of the ball goes back to the pavilion with a scoring that's it uh, sad news for uh, sin sebastian so wicket number 1 without score that brings uh, the most uh, experienced batsman for uh, since sebastian mr shawn now it is a left and right in combination of uh, since sebastian so justin joystin this time to shawn that's down all along the ground towards capitla leaning the shot for of two runs so the first runs from the blade of uh, shawn two for the loss of one wicket uh, saint sebastian chasing a target of 64 here is joystin nice shot applied and might be a four run lovely shot bisecting the fielders uh, it was a juicy half uh, full toss and uh, jo Sean at uh, his day, he'll punish you on that juicy ball. Any any batsman can punish you. So that boundary score moves up to six on the board. Six for the loss of one wicket. The wicket of uh, Conwell. Clean bowl of the boys. Uh, ball of uh, Joyston. They got lovely ball. There is a no ball. It's a no ball declared there. so i don't understand what it is for but uh, it's a free hit so empire this is the final so please regarding that's it might be a one fielder should be in or out in that case it might be a no ball So he's joined in this time to Sean. Lovely ball and uh, 
The cross in for a single with that single score moves up to eight on the board. So, George, for the last time, this over to the batsman Elson. Nice shot applied with Elson. What a shot! Leaning to that delivery and gets a uh, four runs. Good shot. And uh, we come to the end of over number one. After the end of uh, over number one, score is uh, 11, 12. So, mind you, they are uh, at their uh, scoring rate. 12 on the board so 64 is the target so they are above their mark asking rate was 8 runs per over but now 12 so now there's a deep discussion between the Wamunju players uh, to decide who the bowler is to bowl the second over ah, Sweeter Zwider. Zwider. Sorry, Zwider. Zwider has been uh, decided to bowl uh, the second over for of the innings of uh, uh, since Sebastian innings. Score is 12 on the board. Here is he. First ball. Lovely shot. What a shot. Bob Ladd by Sean Straight. Lifted handsomely for a beautiful sex. It was a juicy. Ball bowled by the bowler and uh, the batsman like uh, Sean will not uh, give any excuse on uh, dismantling that uh, ball over the sixer. So nice shot applied by the batsman. That is a, a warning to the bowler. Please don't be, don't bowl any shot to me. So here is Swider. Swider. Again, this time a well-checked uh, shot played by Sean gets only a single with that. With that single, score moves up to 19. 19 on the board. So well, as I can say, San Sebastian players are very much uh, determined, determined in their batting. And uh, played on, played on. So Elson is back to the pavilion. Uh, a faint edge uh, towards his uh, willow and. Uh, Back to the stem, so bad uh, debacle for Elson. As a result, uh, Elson is back to the pavilion. Uh, good bowling there by uh, Swider. Swider. It's very hard to pronounce. Like you pronounce uh, Arnold Squesnegger. So now, Zwida Here comes the ball. This might be a wide. Yes, it is. And by Spide, uh, Spidey Sams are giving a Spectra wide. And yes, that's a run. That's a cunning run. Lovely bit of uh, batting uh, performance by the. Uh, uh, both the batsmen and uh, the fielders of uh, Wamunjur are not happy with that because the ball was not dead. It was still on the play. As a result, they cross for uh, another single. So 1 plus 1, 2 runs at total. With that, couple score moves up to... Huh? Meanwhile, batsmen cross for a single there. With that single score moves up to double double ducks, I can say. 22 on the board. 22 for the loss of uh, two wickets. Here is Vardu. Two the batsmen. Uh, Vishwas. Vishwas drives. Lovely, handsomely. One and a short and uh, gets on. Bad luck to uh, Vishwas. Uh, it was purely a shot of a boundary or a six, but uh, thanks for the three. So, it's helpless, but still, he gets a single for that. With that single score, was a 23. Might be a 
white yeah spreading and by spreading his arms and saying it's a white with alex ross comes up 24 For the last time, so I wanted to glide it was again towards the offside. Bad bowling boy, bowled by the bowler, is uh, just uh, manipulating the batsman, uh, manipulating the batsman. Because uh, as a bowler, I can say, don't do any experiments. Bowl your own bowling. That's it. That's it. Yes, you finish your over. So end of over number two. After the end of two overs, uh, uh, St. Sebastian chasing a target of 64 are twenty-five. That means uh, still thirty-nine required. Thirty-nine required in. Uh, So 36 and 36 delivery is 39 is the equation. It is just at this time a faint edge and an half luck gone towards uh, Vishwas. If uh, the keeper would have taken that uh, opportunity, then Vishwas would have been uh, out of his uh, this one, lost his wicket. But still, is uh, they get a single for that with that single. Lovely ball, equally well played by Sean. What a play of cricket uh, being played by these, uh, especially the Sean. The whenever I see the batsman uh, playing, he's the most uh, vulnerable cricketer. Nice uh, play of cricket being played by uh, Sean. This time once again to the Debo. And, uh, and... I don't know what it is. The last check, I'm not sure. The volunteers are not there. We can't say anything. One run will cost a heavy for uh, the chasing team or your yeah, score. Anyone saying their decision? So decision is still pending uh, regarding whether it is a uh, boundary or whether the fielder has uh, saved it. So the batsmen have run for two runs. So it's it. So now uh, all eyes focused on this match. The next match, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. It will be dynamite. Dynamite. Uh, it's a middle. That's it. It might be a a no ball, I am not sure. It's a six, but no. No declaration has been given by the Empire. So it's a fair ball, but uh, Vishwas taking an opportunity, walking over, long on for a six. With that six, comes up to 35. Here's the bowler. Another one, another juicy ball, and another six. Uh, and... Uh, as I can say, as I said earlier, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We'll witness you a final match, a real final match. I am not sure who will be that, but still, one team will be moral, another team will be. Score is 41. That means 19 more required. 19, no, uh, for 24 required. 23, sorry. 
Here's the ball. Uh, to Vishwas. Vishwas. Love play shot. What shot. But uh, straight to the field. Uh. That's the wicket number three. Straight to the field. Uh. Vishwas is dejected because uh, he hit firmly there. But straight to the field. Uh. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, Sun Vishwas lost his wicket. The entry of his father, Mr. Wilfred, the foremost backbone, I can say, the backbone of uh, Sir Sebastian. We have to bow down him because he is real the backbone of Sir Sebastian because he's so energetic. All I like him is energetic. Uh, what I can say. So now, all rely upon the Sean. Ball is. Mm. After the end of three years, score is 41. We are uh, towards uh, the opening of uh, fourth hour. Ball is uh, Zweeder. And batsman facing him is none other than the uh, left hand batsman uh, Sean. 41. 41 means 23 quarters. Just have lovely. Easy picking for Sean. Easy picking. No bother, no bother to uh, this one. That's it. With that, couple, uh, three runs. Uh, score moves up to 44. Still. Zwada. Sweeter. Might be a wide ball. So with that extra, score moves up to 45. 19 more required. I think uh, seeing the batting as well as the attitude of uh, St. Sebastian batsmen, uh, they are say another one. Bad bowling day by Zwieder. Because that's a 1 plus 1. 2 runs added to total. With that couple, score moves up to 47. That means uh, 17 more required. 17 more required. Having uh, spare 7 wickets in hand. This time going for premium shot by Wilfred. And it's a wide ball. Bad bowling day by Zwieder. Bad bowling there by the bowler. Every extra run will kill you, boy. So now, as I said earlier, since Sebastian have an eye in this uh, tournament, they want to clinch this tournament. Uh, I'll tell you later. Why is that? And this have lovely shot. Not much of a power behind it. Just pushing it. Just pushing it. Uh, thankful for his uh, uh, helpful uh, 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 windy uh, situation with that four. With that four, the score moves up to score 52. Now the 12 more runs required. Wilfie going for a premium shot. 12 more required. I think St. Sebastian and the driver's seat there, almost 75% they are in the driver's seat because they have got still uh, plenty of batsmen to come. There is uh, Pushparaj, Daryl still to come. I know all these names, but I don't know other names. Sorry, Yar. So now, Zwieder. This time to Sean. Sean, look at this batting. Lovely looking batting shot. And they'll get a O through of two runs. One plus two. Three runs at total. That is the arrogance. Arrogance shown by Mamuji. It happens, Baba. It happens because nothing goes good on your way and the fielders show some arrogance. That's it. So we can come to the conclusion of over number four. Yes, three. Four. 
four. After the end of four overs, score is uh, last ball to go. Zubida, for the last time in this over, to the batsman, uh, Wilfred. Lovely shot, applied, and uh, equally well fielded by the fielder, but uh, unable to stop the batsman in cross over single. So we come to the conclusion of over number four. After the conclusion of four overs, uh, uh, St. Sebastian are 57. That they are close to seven runs, seven more runs to their final entry. Might be a catch there, and <laughs> Wilfred is uh, not interested with that. As a dot ball there. Meanwhile, the bowler name, I'm not sure who is it is. Ronson, yeah. Straight to the fielder. Uh, drop shot in front of the fielder. Uh, no runs. Uh, sorry, one run being uh, applied by the uh, batsmen. So, as usual. It's a wide declared by the Empire was uh, fair outside the off stump and uh, with that the score remains at uh, 50, 59. Oh, lovely ball. Good ball. Sean unable to read that uh, delivery. Nice shot. Straight to the bowler himself. Might be around there. But uh, no. So, <laughs> Sean is back. It's a suicidal wicket for Sean. Unnecessarily waiting for uh, the next batsman joining. Uh, it is Daryl joining uh, Wilfred. A young lad from uh, Terminur. All depends on this too. But uh, still I'm saying it's... Uh, St. Sebastian are on the driver's seat. They are uh, close to that final. Very close to that final. Oh, how did Ma Daryl missed it. So that's the end of over number five. After the end of five overs, score is... Uh, 59. The equation says is 18 balls, 5 runs required. 18 balls, 5 runs required. The bowler is uh, Pradeep. It's a wide ball declared by the umpire. So score is 60. 60 on the board. Pradeep. Another wide might be. Yes. Two back to back. Wide ball by Pradeep. 61 on the board. Another wide. So hat trick wides. Pradeep, nice shot straight to the fielder who makes no mistake. Wilfi is back to the uh, pavilion. Very enthusiastic, very energetic, but still, at one stage he wanted to. He might have thought to finish the match by all by all himself, but uh, to his bad luck, given straight away to the throat of the fielder. The next batsman. 
Darwin is the new batsman joining uh, Daryl. Nice shot, man. We catch again. Yes, Darwin is back. Ah, uh, can Vamanjur, the player, especially Pravdeep, gets a hat trick wicket? That is Pushparaj. Pushparaj. If I'm not mistaken, Vishwas, same name, na? Nice shot, Rupalad, that's it. Victory for St. Sebastian and congratulations, na, St. Sebastian for entering the final of uh, STC Trophy 2024. And uh, I uh, always uh, support the defeating team Vamanjur for your cordial support and your participation in the trophy of uh, STC 24. Uh, thank you. So now uh, witness the final match. Final match will be played. Uh, So this time, uh, bad luck for Vishwas. Uh, this time, uh, the man of the match has been declared as uh, Mr. Sean. Sean of St. Sebastian has been declared as uh, man of the match. And uh, who will give the... Um, I call upon Mr. Manuel, Manuel De Silva. Manuel De Silva, please come forward and give the man of the match. Manuel De Silva, please come forward and give the man of the match to Mr. Sean. So congratulations, Mr. Manuel De Silva, De Silva, fanning out. For uh, congratulations, uh, Sean. <laughs> so the match will start exactly five o'clock, but four fifty-five. The, all the players should come for the signature as well as for the toss. Four fifty-five is your dead point. Four fifty-five. I remind you. 4.55. Uh, I call upon Meryl. Meryl, yeah. Meryl Parish, please come forward. Meryl Parish, please. Meryl Parish, William, please come forward and sign your last registrar. Along with your, escorted with your players. Meryl Parish. Maril, Maril. Sorry. A split of a tongue. Maril. For the signature, Baba, please. Escorted with all along the other players. Escorted with all your players. No. No, one and two. All your players, the playing squad. Maril, please come forward.
So can we have the two captains uh, of uh, the, the final match? Uh, Beryl and uh, the team uh, St. Sebastian. The two captains, Rakesh and uh, Mr. Wilfred. Can you please come to the commentary box for the toss? Uh, the two captains, please come to the commentary box. Uh, sharp at five, we will have the big final of SJ Trophy 2024. Okay, so there's an announcement coming from the officials. Can we have both the teams, the two finalists of this SJ Trophy 2024? I request the, all the players of both the teams. Can you just uh, line up in front of the pitch? Uh, we have the guest. Uh, and also we would like to have the official umpires for the big final to have the toss right in the middle of the pitch. Uh, the two captains... Uh, the toss will happen in the center of the pitch. So all the players of both the teams, uh, without wasting any much time, uh, can we have uh, all the players, uh, even the captain Rakesh, you can just walk into the center of the pitch. Uh. So we have the two teams uh, out in the center uh, and also we do have the guests for this uh, wonderful tournament which has been organized by the members of SJ France uh, presents SJ Trophy 2024 uh, and we have the the guests uh, walking out in the middle to give the the best wishes for the both the teams uh, who have come into the big final out of uh, 17 teams uh, Top two teams have qualified into the final and we have the guest uh, Deepak uh, Rigo and uh, Mrs. Uh, Greta Carvello. So those are the two guests for this tournament. Uh, giving uh, all the best for the both the teams along with uh, Alvin, uh, the official uh, of this tournament, along with Arun. Uh, and also I'd like to ask the two final umpires for the big match. Uh, Please be on the center of the pitch for the toss. Uh, with the help of the, the guest, uh, can we have the toss? Uh, So both the teams are congratulating themselves. Uh, and let's see which captain uh, 
will win the toss. It could be the captain of St. Sebastian or the captain of uh, the team, Marul, the team who qualified for the final last evening. And we have St. Sebastian uh, team qualifying this evening. So definitely it could be a great battle between the both the teams. So both the teams are... Uh, Having a pretty good uh, experienced player. So here's a toss uh, with the official uh, Mr. Arun along with the umpire uh, Navas Rakesh. The captain of Maral uh, will be raising the coin. Uh, and the call coming from the captain of St. Sebastian uh, Welfright. Uh, and let's see who is going to be the captain uh, winning the toss. And the luck going under the favor of the team Maral. Uh, the captain Rakesh winning the toss. And let us know your decision. Are you willing to bowl or bat? Uh, Okay, so straight away, the decision coming from the captain uh, decided to bowl first. Uh, normally, if the captain of St. Sebastian Wilfred, if he would have won the toss, uh, the decision could be the same uh, to bowl first. But this is a different format of the game. Uh, normally, in the big finals, uh, the team winning the toss, uh, if you see most of the captains, at least 70% of the captains uh, will decide to bowl first. Uh, but most of the time, uh, the decision uh, will be under the favor of the the team who has been asked to bite first. That is the opening team. Because most of the time, uh, the pressure will be definitely on the captain uh, and the players. If uh, the opening team uh, get a great start, uh, even if they score above 60 plus run in 8 overs, it will be a tougher target. Why? Because if you... Keep losing your wickets. If your top batters are back into the pavilion, then the pressure will be on the rest of the batsmen. This is a final between St. Sebastian versus Maril. What a match to be watched. Uh, the match will be starting very shortly. So waiting for the signal coming from the umpire for the big final against uh, team uh, St. Sebastian versus uh, Marilla. The two teams have qualified for the big final and already we have uh, the two openers out in the middle. Uh, Conwell on the strikers and, 
And Elson on the no striker side, and the ball is in the, the hands of Manoj. We'll be starting the proceeding, and we have the two official umpires, uh, Mr. Uh, Salim, uh, standing on the square like umpire, and uh, we have uh, Siraj uh, giving a signal for the big final uh, between uh, Marulla Youth versus Team uh, Saint Sebastian. Let's see who's going to be the champion. Uh, because Saint Sebastian were the champions of the last season. Uh, Definitely, they will try to keep their rhythm once again to be the champion once again on 2024. They were the champion of 2023. And here's the first ball. And that's a confident hit coming from the bat of uh, Conwell. He had failed towards this tournament, but definitely in the big final, he's the man to be watched. Uh, that's a confident hit. Uh, once when he start connecting the ball in the middle of the bat, uh, it will be quite difficult for the opening bowler to stop him getting runs for his side. He is a man to be watched. He is a sensible batter. He plays the shot all over the ground. This time, uh, finding the feeder. That's a mistake done by Cornwell. Uh, that was a uh, room given for him to play that biggie. But finding the feeder straight on the long off. That's the start what the team model wanted. A big wicket. Uh, Cornwell has to depart. Another failure for the batsman uh, in the big final. Uh, the slightly changes in the, the batting line for the team of St. Sebastian. Now we have uh, another new batsman, uh, Daryl. Uh, has been promoted up in the batting lineup and keeping uh, their top batters uh, in the middle of the innings. Uh, that's a uh, small thinking from the captain, Wilfred. Uh, they're trying to send uh, some pinch enter to get some runs in the first couple of overs. This time, uh, the ball coming well in. Uh, nice played uh, by the batter uh, and getting a single in the very first ball of his innings. Uh, Daryl uh, is known for his uh, big hitting. Uh, if they get a good start in the first two to three overs, uh, if they keep their run rate uh, ticking up, uh, and then uh, in the remaining uh, last few overs, uh, the hard hitters can go against the bowling of Marilla. And now we have uh, Elson facing for the first time uh, in the big final against the bowling of uh, Marilla. And we have uh, Manoj. And this time on to the scrollic position. Uh, one bounce straight to the fielder. Uh, room was given to play that shot. Uh, is quite strong enough onto his pad. Uh, just a tickle onto the Skralik for a single to get off the mark. Uh, so both the batters are off the mark with the singles adding to the individual icon. This time, uh, the ball lucky lame. Just an inch hitting the leg stake. The ball coming from uh, leg stake uh, onto the pad of the batsman. Uh, and this time, that's another quicker one ball by Mano. This time, uh, Drifting outside the off six. Uh, over number one coming to an end. Uh, a pretty good start. Uh, just a four runs conceded in that over and a wicket of uh, Conwell uh, falling in the very second ball of the innings. Uh, anything above 55 to 60 runs will be definitely a tougher target against the one of the finest uh, bowling lineup. But still, we have seen in the semi final match uh, the bowlers of uh, St. Sebastian were being uh, hammered by. Uh, the batters of uh, Warman Jura. William the man. Uh, who got his team into the big final in semi-final match individually getting a 48 runs and bagging a man of the match in the semi-final what a player he was in the last evening to get his team up from nowhere against the team Palatka we in the top of the game but at the end one miscatch and the team Palatka are out of the tournament and making a medal to qualify into the final this time a biggie coming in the bat of uh, Elson uh, towards the deep mid wicket region. That's the longest part of the ground, but still uh, he was able to get a boundary in the over number two. A very first ball 
William bowling a loser one and the batsman Elson doesn't miss it those kind of uh, loser one a boundary needed desperately for the team St. Sebastian they've got in the over number two first ball this time once again a loser one batsman Elson straight away having a word within himself that I have done a mistake of uh, not clearing that ball out of the park onto the onside range. Even if it have timed it right in the middle of the bat, the rest of the work would have been done by the ball because the wind is toward that direction, sir. This time, luckily the ball did not carry and luckily the ball did not go to the boundary rope. At the end, onto the mid wicket, on the deep. The last moment, the ball tickling over there and the batsman, meanwhile, crossing for another extra run. So two more runs adding to the total of Elson. This time by the loser one, the ball is out this time. That's a biggie. That's the first six of the match of the big final. What a hit it is. That's another loser one ball. And Elson doesn't miss it. those kind of chances which has been given. The first over was a pretty good over, but the second over is the costliest one. Almost 14 runs, 12 runs have been conceded in this over. And this time nice to hit a flat head on to the mid-wicket position for another boundary. 16 runs coming. Five balls have been bowled. Just a one dotted delivery and that too was a loser one which was missed by Elson. But he had uh, capitalized. He had made the use of uh, the loser ball bowled by William. Here's the last ball of the over number two. Finding a field on the outside region on the squalic -like position just for a single uh, 17 runs conceded in that over after the completion of two overs. Score moves on to 21 for one. S started with a run rate of four runs in the first over and now straight away the run rate is about 10.5 runs. Uh, turning point of the over. Uh, that's what uh, we all know that score is on 21. When the team captain in the big final, whenever you win the toss, you should have opted to bat first. Gets runs under the belt and then you can get a pressure on to the opening team. But this time they, the captain winning the toss, opting to bowl first uh, and asking uh, St. Sebastian to bat first. Uh. 21 on this scorecard. Uh. Let's see who's going to be the bowler to continue the over number three. And once again, the captain, uh, without having any hesitation, asking his frontline bowler, Manoj, to carry the third over and uh, complete your second over. And he's been welcomed with a big A this time. Uh, once again, a big six coming in the bat of uh, Elson. Uh, that's the second six. This time over the long off region. The previous one was on to the long on. That's the direction uh, where you can get your runs uh, scored quite quick enough because wind is blowing toward that direction. This time the ball uh, was slightly quicker onto the leg striker. And a leg by signal given by the umpire. He was too early to play that shot onto the onside with the ball coming uh, quite quick enough to the, the pads. A single has been taken now. And the score uh, jumping to 28. Uh, for one and this time uh, the new batsman Daryl uh, he is on the fire uh, and waiting for the decision might be the ball has uh, fallen in front of the boundary top and umpire says that one bounce to the boundary and uh, that's another big hit coming in the batsman of uh, Saint Sebastian Daryl uh, Thirty-two on the scorecard, and this is the far better than the previous one. Uh, right in the middle of the bat, uh, over the long on for the mighty six coming in the bat of uh, Daryl. A uh, four followed with the biggest six. Pressure back into the bowlers of Maril. Uh, the front line bowler Manoj has been hammered uh, by both the batters. Uh, He's under pressure. He's not getting his line in properly. Just the first over. Bold an excellent over. Considered just a four run. But in the second over. And this time batsman. Uh, Terrell. He knows that he has missed a chance. 
could have got uh, another big hit from his bat. Uh, A final ball, and this time the far away from the obstacle. A warning signal given by the umpire. Another expensive over coming from the bowler. And this time, straight away, umpire says it's a no ball. Manoj losing his line and bowling a full of one. And a free hit signal coming from the umpire. And we have Elson on the strikers. And uh, to face the final ball of the over number three, still the free hit will be continued because the bowler. Has kept the ball far away from the obstacle. Board signal given by the umpire. And the free hit ball has been uh, considered just a single over the cover position. So over number three coming to an end after the completion of uh, three overs. Uh, what a very good start for the team Saint Sebastian after asking to bad first. Uh, they have scored 44. Nalwatta Naku for one. The decision of uh, asking St. Sebastian to bat first, whether it is the right decision for coming from the captain Rakesh. Uh, but still you can uh, bounce back if you get a uh, wicket in the next couple of overs. Uh, now wicket is much needed for the team. And now uh, let's see who's going to be the bowler to bowl the over number uh, four. And Daniel is a ball that uh, can he strike for his side. We have seen him uh, getting wicked whenever the team uh, wanted. Uh, and he's been welcomed with a biggie. That's another big six coming in the bat of Elson. Uh, what a man to be watched. Uh, he started his innings with a pretty good way. With the help of that six, that's a 50 up for the team. St. Sebastian coming uh, within uh, the over number four. Uh, and it was done by the long off fielder to take that catch, but the ball falling short of him. At the end, a single has been taken. After the first over, uh, the last uh, 14 balls, uh, if you see the equation, they had scored more than 47 runs. This time, uh, the batsman Derek, uh, let's wait for the decision. What did it be? That's a big six. Uh, on to the longest part of the ground, onto the deep uh, mid wicket region. What ahead, the pressure back into the bowling side of the team. Merrill. Apart from the first over, uh, the game is totally changed uh, from Merrill. Uh, this time, once again, uh, this time an attempt was done, but that's uh, a valuable attempt done by the feeder on the mid wicket region, but still, uh, Daryl. Uh, Finding a boundary. A six followed with a boundary. What a over this is. Uh, two sixes already in this over. One boundary and a single. So it means that uh, 17 runs have been conceded in this over. Uh, still two to go. And this time, uh, it's uh, luckily for the bowler uh, because the batsman Daryl was too early to play that shot. It was slightly wider off side the obstacle, uh, getting a thick bottom edge, uh, and the ball raising quickly to the the bowler on his own bowling mark, stopping it. This time, uh, and that's a valuable attempt done by the fielder, diving forward to take that catch. He knows that how important that wicket is. He need to appreciate for the effort done. It's not so easy. It was keeping slightly lower. It was a flat hit, uh, but attempt done by the fielder is. Good to watch. Well, that over number four coming to an after the completion of uh, four overs. So half of the stage, uh, half of the innings has been completed because the four overs have been bought. It's an eight overs game. If you see the scorecard, already the team St. Sebastian are jumped to 62 for one. Arvata Yerdaki won. What a start. Lawrence is a new bowler. And he's been welcomed with a big in the bat of uh, Daryl. Uh, we can only see a sixes and the boundary flowing out in the middle. Uh, look at the way of the fielders and uh, the players of Team Merrill. Uh, they look like they have lost out in the middle. Uh, do not lose hopes. Uh, you need to give your 100% out in the middle. Uh, sometimes it happens. Uh, Sometimes even the better bowler can be dispatched uh, for a couple of runs. Uh. 
You cannot uh, blame the bowler because you have a better batsman on the strikers and uh, what timing the ball uh, in a right fashion and clearing the boundary door because we have not seen even a one uh, a miss hit coming from the batters of uh, the team St. Sebastian. All the hits are coming right in the middle of the bat. That is what uh, these batters are specialty to do it. A wide uh, signal given by the umpire. This is a chance because if you try to bowl those kind of a loser one. And this time uh, the ball not clearing the long golf uh, because that was a miss hit coming from the bat of Daryl. He has been promoted up with the batting lineup as a pinch hitter but he has done his role for his side. Uh, playing uh, excellent innings. Uh, we have seen uh, plenty of uh, sixes. He has already hit three sixes and the uh, two boundaries uh, under his belt. Uh, 28 runs coming in the bat of uh, uh, Daryl. What an innings for his team. Uh, and he's been uh, followed with the new batsman, the lefty batsman, uh, Sean, the man who backed the man of the match in the semi-final. He's out in the center, uh, joining the company of Elson, uh, who's on the North Strikers end, and uh, a single taken on the deep onto the long on to get off the mark. He's just continuing the way how he has uh, left in the previous game. Uh, finally, relieved for uh, the captain Rakesh. Uh, they have got uh, rid of uh, the dangerous man, uh, Daryl, uh, and they stand far away from the leg strike. Uh, Lawrence is not bowling. Uh, up to the mark, not bowling, uh, wicket to wicket, is just bowling slightly either outside the leg stick or outside the off stick. But Sam, there is a half an appeal uh, from uh, the wicket keeper, but the batsman is still safe in his batting crease. Uh, the ball just pitching uh, down the leg. Uh, and Ampa says uh, that's a uh, not out and a dotted delivery. So, final ball of the over number five. Straight to the fielder on the long leg. Uh, and Elson will be on the strikers and on the next over. Uh, a single single in the final ball of the over number five after the completion of uh, five overs goes on 72 for two. Law is a new bowler and has been welcomed with another big six coming in the bat of Elson. Each and every bowler uh, has been asked to bowl the overs for their team. Uh, they have been welcomed either with a boundary or a six uh, apart from the first over. Uh, I'm just watching a highlights uh, out in the middle. Every time uh, a loser one has been hammered out of the park. That's a biggie coming in the bat of Elson. That's another six. Two back-to-back -back sixes coming. Uh, the runs are pouring like a water out in the middle. Can they break the highest total of the team? Jeppu A. They were the team who have scored the highest total so far in the tournament. 110. But the way how these batters of St. Sebastian are going against the bowling attack, they can reach that target quite easily. This time, there is an appeal. Umpire on board. The batsman, Elson, is safe in his mounting grease. The run jumping to 84 on his scorecard. Just they need another uh, and this time the fielder on the long off didn't attempt to stop that ball, but at the last moment just ball. Uh, Kissing his hand and clearing the boundary rope. Uh, that is a uh, first miss hit coming in the part of Elson. Uh, but still, uh, managed to get a boundary. And valuable attempt by the feeder on the long off to stop the ball. Uh, it's not so easy to judge it over there in that direction. Uh, and this time, there is a chance for an out. Ready for the umpire decision. Straight away, umpire says that the batsman uh, Elson is short his batting grace. Uh, it was 
hit like a tracer bullet onto the mid wicket position and the feeder was quick enough to grab it and an excellent work done by the the bowler and what an NX uh, coming from the batsman Elson uh, an entertainment innings. Uh, he was just short of six runs to get his 50 in the big final 44 runs coming in the bat sorry 49 just a one run you missed to get a 50 and that one run if would have taken that uh, it would have been the first man to grab a 50 in the big final uh, what an excellent NX. Four, 18 balls, 49 run. And now we have uh, Vishwas joining the company of Sean. He'll be on the non strikers end. Uh, and this time, Sean on to attack. One bounce over the boundary rope. Uh, what a way to finish the over number six with the boundary. Started with the six in the over number. Six uh, by the bowling of Lawyer with the help of that boundary, the score moves on to 93 for three. Final 12 more balls remaining, so it means that uh, they need only another uh, 17 runs to break the highest total, uh, and definitely that has been uh, a sign. It's possible, is like 200 percent is possible, like the way how the batters are going. Uh. And Vishwas could not believe that was a loser ball which was been bowled far away outside the obstacle. Even if I have not attempted a shot, uh, it would have given me a wide. But at the end, uh, the first ball of this innings, uh, he has to depart for a golden duck. Uh, Lawrence, the bowler, uh, striking uh, in his uh, second over. Uh, the first over, he was being hammered out of the park by the batters. Uh, if you see the scorecard, uh, the batsman uh, Connell getting out for two. Elson, uh, the man uh, scoring 49. Daryl uh, scoring some quick 28 runs. Uh, and we have Sean on the non strikers and playing on five. And uh, we have uh, Push Paraj, the man uh, got a winning run in the boundary in the semi final. Uh, he'll be facing the bowling of Lawrence. Uh, At this time, uh, a wide signal given by the umpire, a slight fumble by the, the wicket keeper getting an extra run. Uh, one plus one adding to the total. Still uh, four more balls remaining in this over. Uh, Lawrence changing his guard, coming uh, right arm around the wicket, bowling to the lefty batsman. Uh, Sean uh, has already hit the boundary in the previous over of the last ball. Another extra adding to the total. Uh, And this time there is an appeal with Ampan and Modo. And this time down the leg stick there is an appeal for the stomping. It was a quick stomping done by the wicket keeper, but umpire says the batsman is safe in his body increase. And a wide signal given by the umpire. A couple of wide, it means that third wide been bowled by. Lawrence in this over uh, and four runs coming in this uh, over uh, and all the runs are being scored in a form of extras. So runs are moved to 97 uh, with the help of that wide because when the over number six got over uh, the score was on 93 and now uh, with the help of that four extras the score was on to 97. And once again, this is a miss hit, but uh, the bowler should have gone for the catch. He was just watching uh, the ball, thinking that it would have been cleared to us the long off, but the ball uh, falling on the no man's land, uh, and uh, a single has been taken. And with that single, this comes on to 98. 98 for four. And first Paraj uh, making a valuable attempt for a big hit. Uh, they could not time it uh, properly right in the middle of the bat. But that the score moves on to 99. Just a one shot of 100. Uh, seven more balls remaining in this inning. So. And what a way to finish the over number seven. That's a biggie coming in the bat of uh, Sean. Uh, with the help of that six. That's 100 up for the team. Uh, 
Saint Sebastian coming in the over number seven. 105 for forward. So just the five runs to cross the highest total of the tournament. And that to happening in the big final is definitely a great side. The captain, Rakesh, after winning the toss, decided to bowl first. And all their bowlers have been hammered in and out by the batter. Started with Elson, then Daryl, and now Sean is taking a charge. And final over, Roshan will be bowling the last over. Let's see what will be the runs given in the final over, whether he will try to restrict uh, less than six runs or uh, can we see some biggie coming in the final over. Uh, and he starts with a wide and let's go jumping to 106. Uh, once again, another wide, so two back-to-back -back wides. And this time, Pushparaj uh, onto the charge uh, with the help of that uh, boundary. The scores are level right now against the two teams. So that is a uh, team uh, Jeppo had scored 110 and now St. Sebastian does. But they have five more balls to cross that run. Uh. And that's a big hit. This time far better than the previous. Uh, with that now, they are the first team uh, to cross the highest total from the team Jeppo. A and that, uh, what a way to do it in the big final. Uh, Roshan has been hammered in and out, uh, but this time Rocky is the captain taking a, a catch. But Pushparaj has played a handy innings. Uh, it was not timing the ball in the beginning of the innings, but at the end, uh, the last two ball, he scored a quick 10 runs. So he had scored 11 runs for his side. Uh, and now we have seen uh, Angsters promoting up. Uh, And the new man, uh, an angster, uh, Calvin out in the middle. And what a way to get off the mark with a boundary. What a start uh, for him uh, in the big final. He was being promoted up in the batting lineup. We have normally not seen him coming in the entire tournament. But this is a big final. The captain have asked him uh, to go ahead. Uh, that will be the future of him uh, for the team St. Sebastian. Uh, and here we have the final ball of the first innings. Uh, Roshan to Kelvin. Uh, can we see another big hit? Uh, but at the end, uh, just a single taken on to the mid-wicket position. But the runs uh, have been scored by all the players of the team. Uh, St. Sebastian after asking to bat from the captain of uh, Team Morel. Uh, we see that the, the fielders, the players of Team Morel are totally have lost on the game. Uh, because uh, the target of uh, 122 will be... 123 is the target, which will be a tougher one. Uh, so from uh, this end, definitely the team Saint uh, Sebastian uh, can be a champion. So 123 is the target for the team Barul in the big final. Definitely, this is the game. Single-handedly, it will be under the hands of Saint Sebastian because the target is too high. Definitely, from there they cannot lose this game. The toss after winning the toss, asking them to ride first. Water innings, especially Elson just missing by one run to reach his fastest 50 in this crowd. 18 ball, 49 runs. That was a Quick start for him, uh, followed by Daryl, ended by Sean. So those top batters have got their work done for their team. And now uh, the bowlers need to do 
But still, it doesn't mean that you have a big target of 123. You can play a loose game because cricket is a funny game. Uh, until the final ball has not been delivered, you cannot be predicted who's going to be the winner. Uh, even uh, Maril, uh, not to forget, you have uh, Wilson, William, Rakesh. They are the batters to be watched. Definitely, they will make a mind to come out and go for the big hit. Uh, they need to charge in the beginning of the innings from the first ball of the innings. Uh, so let's say how uh, the target of 123 will be chased. Uh, So over to my uh, co commentary my co-friend, my co-bro, Mr. Vincent Sequeira will be doing the the final uh, commentary of this uh, SJ Trophy 2024, the last innings of uh, this tournament. Uh, over to Vincent. Uh, So first, uh, 123 is the target. This is the devil. First four. Oh, that's it. First ball. First wicket. And William is back. So, bad luck to William. A golden duck. So last match, uh, he played a fabulous innings of uh, 48. Bringing uh, his team to the finals. But now, uh, seeing the huge total because he has... Uh, Ma Marvel team have got a mammoth total of 123 on their uh, shoulders and uh, as usual it's a huge total in front of them so the next batsman joining uh, Rakesh is uh, uh, batsman name please Wilson Wilson so Daryl gets the first wicket a dream wicket when his very first ball here is Daryl for the second time to the batsman Wilson. This time lovely checked. Checks his shot driven towards the vacant area. Gets a single for that. With that single, uh, they push their con with that single. So they are one without loss, one for the loss of one wicket. That brings the skipper Rakesh. Uh, <laughs> all depends on the shoulders of Rakesh. And wrapped in the pads. Uh, batsman uh, crossing for a single might be a leg by. Yes, it is. And pass single is a Y, uh, it's a leg by. So with an extra score moves up to two on the board. A mammoth total uh, favored by St. Sebastian in front of uh, um, Merrill, Maril. Again, the same balling this time. Uh, Wilson couldn't play uh, uh, take the line of the ball, just beaten, collected by the keeper. It's a dot ball. Once again, Daryl. Having his uh, short run up, tapping towards the ground, comes in ball. This time might be a wide, yes it is. And by spreading his arms again, plus the, the batsman uh, cross for a single. So one plus one, couple added for the total. With that couple, score was up to four on the board. So Darrell, uh, a macho innings of uh, 28 runs. That was the highlight of this, uh, the first innings, innings of uh, St. Sebastian. Here he is performing well. He took away the wicket of uh, the powerful man, William, with a go golden duck under his account. This time, lovely again, and now wicket number two. So, Rakesh, two, Magnemite of uh, Moral, back to the pavilion. Uh, so, now, all depends on the other players, like, uh, I'm not sure who the players are, but still. All depends on them, but still, uh, uh, seeing the total, it's a mammoth total. Everybody can uh, see, oh yeah, this. Uh, but uh, cricket is a game of uncertainty. One batsman can change the game. Remind you, in uh, IPL, there was a man named called Paul Waldetti. He was playing for Punjab, and. Uh, one innings uh, changed everything and he was uh, a macho. 
So, Marl needs such a batsman like uh, one day hero. Here's Vishwas. This time, Toh Wilson. This time, uh, might be a wide. Umpire spreading his arms and declares a wide. So, with that, extra score moves up to five. Batsman is uh, will. Uh, this time might be a catch and Sean lazily taken. That's a boundary for that. With that boundary. Uh, batsman name, please. Wilson, any closer? Any closer? Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell. Mitchell. So, two batsmen are Wilson and Mithun are the two batsmen in the middle there. Here's Vishwas to Wilson. This time, nicely shot played by the batsman. No need to run for that. Big shot, mammoth shot applied with the batsman. It was a dolly by Vishwas. And uh, with that, Sixers comes up to 15 on the board. Now, Marvel, they need uh, much more than that. Because asking it is nearly 14 per over. Sorry, 15 per over. And the. Uh, Here's uh, Vishwas this time to Mithun. Left all alone. Will that be a wide? Yes, Impas spreading his arms and declares a wide. So with that extra score moves up to 17 on the board. We are in the second over. Bowler is Vishwas and batsman playing uh, facing him is uh, Mithun. Uh, hefty looking uh, cricketer for uh, Maral Parsh. Here's Vishwas once again. Might be a wide again. That's it. Vishwas is not happy with his own bowling. Giving away too many extras in favor of his bowling. With that extras come up to 18 on the board. We are in the second over. Still a lot more to go for Marl Parish. Still another needed another 104. It's a mammoth total. Given by St. Sebastian Dumaral this time. Lifted handsomely for uh, four runs. Might be, yes, it is. It's a four runs. With that couple score, uh, so our boundary score was up to 22. So 22 on the board. All depends on the shoulders of Wilson and Mithun. Let us wait and watch. Will they come close to that total of 122? This time, uh, Dolly. Missed it completely by Mithun and uh, uh, dot ball to conclude. So Vishwas now ready to deliver his next delivery to the batsman, uh, the right hand batsman Mithun. Scores 22 on the board. Again, uh, half hearted shot played by the batsman. Get uh, Though he gets a single for that, with that single score moves up to 23. We come to the end of the over number 2. After the end of two overs, score as 23 for the loss of two wickets. Both openers are back to the pavilion. Uh, William Bold, Vishwa, uh, sorry, Daryl for no loss, uh, no score. And uh, the last but the not the least, uh, Rakesh was uh, caught of the bowling of Daryl. So two wickets taken by Daryl. Now he is there in the action in the over number three of the innings of uh, a model parish, Daryl. Once again, a lovely bowling there. A dot ball. What a bowling. What a sensible bowling made by this bowler, Daryl. Keeping the batsmen of model because they know, the since Sebastian knows that even model have those batsmen so they can uh, smash those boundaries. <laughs> boundaries and sixes. But uh, all depends on the shoulders of these two batsmen. Will they come close to that? The total of uh, the dream of uh, 122. The highest total played by uh, St. Sebastian. This time, lovely lifted, lifted handsomely for a beautiful four runs. Nice timing there by Wilson there. So. They need still some more, some more, more and more of those 
uh, in order to come close to that uh, total. Here's uh, Daryl, this time to Wilson. This time Wilson drives uh, handsomely, to, uh, not uh, for a uh, boundary. This time uh, wrapped in the pads uh, and passing link. It's a wa uh, leg by without extra scores up to 29. 29. We are in the third over. Bowler is uh, Daryl. So, trail the bowler to the batsman Mithun. And uh, a Chinese cart and uh, I've stopped by with uh, Vishwas. Pretty uh, restricting the batsman in crossing for a single with a dot ball there. So we are in the third over. The bowler is Daryl. Uh, who is in this, uh, in his last over scored of the two overs. He has clicked away. Two wickets this time. I've wrapped in the pads. Uh, equally well fielded. That's it. Uh, we come to the end of the over number three. Out of the end of three overs. Uh, Marl Parish chasing a total of uh, 122. They are 29 on the board. That means still they required 107 in the allotted 36 deliveries. That means uh, hardly oof, what I can say 15, 16, 17. Uh, asking rate is 17 and a half. 17 and a half is asking rate per over. It's a huge total in front of them. 17 is uh, not a big, uh, not a small total it is. 17 runs per over. It's a huge total in front of Marl. Here there's a bowling change from the side of uh, uh, Sebastian Nihal. Nihal has been introduced to bowl the fourth over of the innings of uh, uh, Marl Parish. Nihal, first ball has been uh, called to as a wide. Here he comes for the second time. This time again. This time again, a uh, two back-to-back -back down to white double is bowled by the bowler Nihal. So I expect uh, expect no uh, spectator uh, try to stop the ball, please. Here is Nihal once again. This time to Mithun. Nice shot itself. Juicy off, fall towards the legs, and Mithun makes no mistake. Lifting over the mid-wicket area, but a beautiful sex. With that sex, Komu's up to 37. So 17 is the asking rate for uh, Marl Parish. So let us wait and watch. Will they come chasing that uh, honey? Here is off, oh, missed by Viska. Going for everything for that, but uh, missed it completely. Collected with the keeper, it's a dot ball to the end. So here is uh, Nihal once again to the batsman uh, Method. And he's gone. Wrapped fully bowled, uh, cleaned the ball up. So that's the third wicket fall for. Uh, Marl Parish Mithun been sorry Wilson Wilson was the batsman been out the ne incoming batter is uh, Daniel Daniel is an incoming batter will be joining Mithun So now uh, they are uh, in the half of their innings, means uh, they are closing towards the fourth over. Might be a wide delivery to bowl by the bowler Nihal. So Nihal being uh, costlier in his over, though he has got the wicket of uh, Wilson. Another wide. So he's shocked uh, to say here that it's a wide. So Wilson is not happy with that decision, but still uh, he has to respect the umpire's decision. Here is uh, Wilson. Sorry, Nihal to the batsman. Uh, Daniel, Daniel going for a big shot. Missed it completely. A dot ball.
It's time. Uh, connecting well. Not much of a point, but power behind the shot. But still he gets a single for that. Without single, Skumas up to 40. We are in the over number four. Bowler is Nihal and batsman facing him is uh, the right-hand batsman uh, Mithun. So Nihal for the last time in this over to the batsman uh, Mithun. And fumble there by the Vishwas and uh, it's a wide declared by the Empire. So one plus one, two runs added total with that couple score moves up to 42 on the board. 42. So Nihal for the last time in the server to the batsman Daniel. Another wide. Too many wides given by the bowler. Very bad bowling day by the bowler. Too many wides, extras. So though it's not to worry there because uh, St. Sebastian has got a uh, huge total uh, under their belt. So that's it. If it was, uh, the score was uh, say between 75, then it was a problem of, uh, it's a bother, bother point. But still they are ahead of it. Nihal once again, this time again. Yes, it is. Wide number. Might be five. Seven wides bowled by Nihal. Very bad bowling by them. Not getting his line and rhythm properly. So, Nihal. Oh, this was a dually towards the left side, but... Uh, Daniel uh, not utilizing the opportunity and we come to the end of <laughs> So we come to the end of uh, So end of over number four After the end of four overs uh, Marl Paris chasing a target of 122 they are uh, 40, 44, that means uh, another 70, 79 required, oof. So asking rate is uh, a cruising, that is uh, 19 runs per over. Meanwhile, Prajwal been introduced to bowl. The Conwell, sorry, Conwell. The bowler this time. Uh, lovely hot. Back shot that was for uh, four runs. Uh, Conwell bowling a loose now. So they need uh, much more in the endings. So all depends on the shoulders of Methan. With that four score. Nice shot again. Will let be taken. The fielder behind it. Three fielders behind it. And <laughs> made of a mess. And uh, completely mistaken. That's a 50 for Marl. 50 for Marl Parish. 50 in uh, four point uh, three balls. Still uh, 73 runs to go. We are in the third, uh, four, uh, fifth over. Bowler is Conwell. Batsman is Mithun. Conwell. Nice shot again this time. It's a four runs. Good shot. Applied by Mithun with that four runs. Score moves up to 54. Let us see how... How much will Mithun fight for his innings? Because good innings, a single-handed innings played by uh, Mithun. This time again, uh, driving straight towards the uh, square leg. Gets a single for that. With that single score, moves up to 50, 55. So all the other batsmen has to back up with uh, Mithun this time. We come to the end of over number five. After the end of five overs, comb is up to 55. That means uh, 
68 required in uh, last three delivery uh, three overs that means 18 balls 68 asking red is 23 runs per over a huge total huge total 23 per over asking red will it be there it's Sean bowling His first delivery has been declared as a wide here is Sean Nice shot of Platt all along the carpet. Gets only a single for that. Mithun. Singles won't help it. They want a big shot like uh, three sixes per over. Three sixes per over. It might be a wide. Yes, it is. It's a wide delivery. Bowled by the bowler. Nice shot. Applied by Daniel for six. So six. With that, six score moves up to 60. 64. And that's been. So Daniel Lee is back to the pavilion after being a clean bowl of the bowling of uh, Sean. That's the wicket number three, four. four. The new batter to join uh, Wilson. Uh, Mithun is. Uh, Manoj So Manoj Nice shot applied by Manoj Will it be taken there? Yes, straight to the fielder So So Come and exit. One ball exit. So that's the fifth wicket fallen for Marl Parish in the form of Manoj. Roshan, yeah? Roshan. The new batter joining uh, uh, Mithun. Mithun is still there in the middle there, tussling out. But uh, he has not got equal support from the ESCO uh, cricketers. Now, Sean. Nice shot again at uh, this time for a half take six. Uh. New batsman is uh, Roshan. So another six will be there. If there is a six, I can see. Oh, check this shot at the last moment and uh, we come to the end of over number six. After the end of six hours, Marl Parish are 70. 70. That means uh, exactly another 53 in uh, 12 balls. 27. 27 required in uh, 1 over. 53 is the uh, score to be scored in their allotted. 12 deliveries. Vishwas the bowler. Batsman is Mithun. This time getting a faint hit. Ball to uh, traveling towards the short third man. Gets a single day for Mithun. With that single score was up to 71. Here is Vishwas. This time to wrap to the bats. And they are going for the single. And Chandran out there, and yes, wicket number six or seven. Wicket number six for Marl Parish. So now Marl Parish in a split of a border. They have lost all their batsmen. Only Mithun is there in the middle there. Next batsman joining Mithun as uh, Lawrence. Here is. Uh, Vishwas. Mithun is going, putting his 100% uh, towards, uh, but uh, still can't connect the ball. It's a dot ball. Here's Vishwas once again this time. Mr. Dolly. 
Mithun, Mr. Dolly. So with that, uh, again a dot ball. Vishwas enjoys cricket. So Vishwas uh, ready to deliver his next ball to the batsman Mithun. Score is 71 on the board. Another big shot applied by the batsman but uh, for the pity he didn't connect it well. It's an, again a, a dot ball now. I can say Sir Sebastian cricketers are on their having a smile on their face because uh, they know they are almost uh, are close to that uh, the title. So last six balls spared. Last six balls spared and uh, they need another 52. That's impossible unless the bowler bowls too many no bowls. Six balls, 52. Who will bowl the last two? Prajwal? No, Sean. Or oh, somebody else. 71 is the total. Who will bowl the last over? Uh, Vishwas, bowler name? Yeah. Darwin. 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 Nice shot applied by the batsman and uh, that's for uh, four or six. Six it is. With that six score moves up to 77 on the board. Another shot. Back to back. Two sixes. 83. A dot ball, so three balls spared there. 83 on the board. Nice shot again this time for a boundary. Might be as yes. 87. Last two balls spared. Will they uh, come closer to that? Uh, sorry, they can't come. That will be a 99. So another four runs, 91, so last ball, 91, so that's it, last ball, nice shot, that's a 6, 97, bad luck for Marl Parish, they lose by 25 runs. So good going for Sebastian. Congratulations for Saint Sebastian Permanor for clinching Arun Kitlene Trophy Gulani. Saint Sebastian. <laughs> so I'm not sure the number of trophy lifted by Saint Sebastian in uh, SCC grounds here, but sure it will be their third trophy if I'm not sure. So thanks one and all and uh, we'll be back in uh, rather 10 minutes for uh, prize distribution ceremony. Thank you one and all.
एक कलती विनंती आमचे स्पेक्टेटर आमचे काय म्हणतात तुम्ही व्हॉलंटियर्स कोणे बुरा त्यांनी 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 वैयक्तिक रीतीने चेस पुरवल्यात दयकन त्यांनी वेळ चेस पुरा पाठी आडीची बी विनंती प्लीज व्हॉलंटियर्स
मोगाचे नो प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कार्य अमिता आरंभ करते लाओ देखकर न तुम्हीं हंगा सर स्टेज इच्छा मुकारे उन चाकू भी नहीं करता देखकर न दोनी टीम आंचे नहीं अनित शिंस हंगा सर विक्षित सुनकाई ला तुम्हीं देखकर न स्टेज इच्छा मुकारे उन चे टीम मारिल देवबरी सांस दियूं तुम का समेस सांक SJ Friends Presents SJ Trophy 2024 हंतोनो बागेतल्या अनि तशिंस विक्षिसुंगाईला तुमक समेसांक हाउ रवीना मोगासो स्वागत माकता अनि हंगसर सात अमचे मानाचे सेरे तंका हाउ वेदिक आपोंगाशेता Mr. Deepak Rego, Mrs. Greta Karwalo, Mr. Michael Disoza अनि मिस्टर संदीप डिसिल्वा देखकर तुम्ही वेदी के उन शाखों की नदी करता देखकर तुम चिमाना चिबोस का तुम्ही स्वीकार कर ची हाँ मोटवान तंची वोड़ करने उनका शेता मिस्टर दीपक रेगो तो फेरार फिरगजिसो पुन पंद्रह वर्ष तक उन्होंने एसजे फ्रेंड्स आके तो पार्टी मोदी उन्हें सा तुम्ही एसजे फ्रेंड्स अच्छे जर्सी पहन UFG Equipment हजो ओनर तो प्रस्तुतु दुबाइंत तो काम करना सा तका या कारियाक हाँ मोगासो स्वागत माकता हंका अमची जिपुची निंती बुर्गी एक फुल दी उनु स्वागत करचाक विनंदी करता यस देव बरे करूं अनि दूसरी जाऊं ना सा मिसेस ग्रेटा करवालो अम्मची टीचर आदली गोड़ीक परिषद ची कार्यदर्शी जाऊं ना सिल्ली थी सबार बुर्गियांग तुमको कली तो सा सबार बुर्गियांग को तीने फीस दी उनो बरे एजुकेशन दी उनो अता बरे बाइला गवांदा नहीं पूरा काम करना साता नहीं अनि इवन परमनुरंत एक स्टूडेंट आ सके इंतिजो सतीकाय हाँ या कार्य आके मौका सो स्वागत मगता अनि हिकाई एक गुलाब दियो नो हम चने टबुर्गियां स्वागत करी जमुन भी नहीं करता अनि अंगसर तीसरे जाऊँ ना साथ मिस्टर माइकल डिसोजा हनि एसजे नाटक संगाचे प्रेसिडेंट जाऊँ ना साथ अनि तशेंस अम्मचे फिरगा जिंत हरिया का काम अंत तानि मुकारा साथ तंकाय हाउ या कार्य क मोगा सो स्वागत मगता अनि हंकाय अम्मचे किया रन गुलाब दिन स्वागत कर चाक भी नहीं करता अनि हंगसर साथ मिस्टर संदीप डिसिल्वा एसजे फ्रेंड्स कमिटी चे मेम हर एक बुटी एसजे फ्रेंड्स आगे तंसो सपोर्ट ऐसा सो तंकाय हाँ वह कार्य आगे मोगा सो स्वागत मगता हंकाय गुलाब दी उन्हें स्वागत कर शाक विनंती करता अन्य हंगसर असत हम चे एम्पायर्स मिस्टर सिराज मिस्टर सलीम तानी हंगसर यो उन्हों माना ची बस का स्वीकार कर शाक विनंती करता बले बले कुल्ले मो के डले थोंड ले र नवाज अमसुत देखकर तुम ही मुकारी होंचे अनि तुम का कड़ी ताले पर मने 
हे टूर्नामेंट एक ध्येय काल सल्ले जाऊन असा दॅट इज बुरग्यांचे एज्युकेशन आज तुम्ही प्लेयर्स टोटल सिक्स्टीन टीम असली सो तुम्ही प्लेयर्सांनी तुमचे टॅलेंट प्रदर्शन करणं फ्युचरांत भुरग्यांचे टॅलेंट उर्जित करशाक तुम्ही कुमो केला सो तुमका पहिल्यान पहिल्या हा जोरान ताळ्यो देऊन उल्हास तुमकां शेता आणि तशीच सबार जणांनी स्पॉन्सर दिला हांका येऊ काल जाता हून उपकार बावडता प्रत्येक रितीन एस जे फ्रेंड्स हांच्या तर्फेन हा अभिनंदन पाठयता गळाई करनासताना हा विनंती करता मिस्टर मायकल डिसोजा प्लेयर्सांक उद्देशून आणि तशीच या टुर्नामेंटा विषयी दोन उतरा उलोवच्या विनंती करता देव बरी सांस मागता सुमेस्तांक पहिल्यान पहिले हे टुर्नामेंट चलून वेल्या एस जे फ्रेंड्सांक हा म्हणजे अभिनंदन किद्या म्हणजे हे टुर्नामेंट चलवची म्हणजे लहानशी गजाल न्ही मस्त कष्टांची गजाल किद्या म्हणजे मस्त काम असा तातून हा मे बी एक एका महिन्यानं पळून असा ग्राउंडाची तयार आहे पिच्ची तयार आहे करचे स्पॉन्सरा कलेक्ट करचे असे म्हणून एक मस्त मेहनत असा तातून या संगती खातीर एस जे फ्रेंड्सांक म्हणजे प्रत्येक रितीन उल्हास पटयता आणि तुमका म्हणजे अभिनंदन किद्या यशस्वी रितीन तुम्ही हे टुर्नामेंट सादर केला देखून तुमका अभिनंदन तसेच सर केलगड्यांक म्हणजे अभिनंदन जाऊन असा सोळा टीमा असली तुम्ही सर्वांनी येऊन हे एक टुर्नामेंट यशस्वी केला सर टीमाच्यांक म्हणजे अभिनंदन तसेच आज जिकली असतात आमचे पेरमानोरचे टीम तुमका प्रत्येक रितीन म्हणजे उल्हास अभिनंदन कॉंग्रॅच्युलेशन्स हा सर्वांक बरे मागता किद्या म्हणजे एक विसरलो स्पॉन्सर दिल्यांक आणि सरीतीर हे टुर्नामेंट यशस्वी जाऊच्या कोणी सक्कड हातून हाताक हात दिला तांका सोमेस्तांक हा देव बरे करू म्हणता आणि तांका अभिनंदन पाठयता देव बरे करू देव बरे करू तुमका एका खेळांत खंचे खेळ जाऊन दी डिसिशन इम्पॉर्टंट नाही ना जर सिक्स नाही जर ना तो सिक्स गेला हा कसे फोर आणि एक लाईन वयर जा सिक्स ना सो डिसिशन व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ताका कोण कारण आमचे एम्पायर्स नाही येस सो हंगासर असा मिस्टर सिराज मिस्टर सलीम आणि मिस्टर नवाज दोन दिस जाऊन आमका एक बरे डिसिशन देऊक तांनी हेल्प केला सो हा विनंती करता तांनी दये करून हंगासर मुखार येऊचे आणि आमची टीचर मिसेस ग्रेटा करवालो हांचे तावनु मोगाची काणीक स्वीकार करचे दये माडी ताव मुंदे बंधू ओंदु नेनपिन काणिकेनु स्वीकारिसबेकागे विनंती सुतेने जोरान तुम्ही ताळ्यांच्या आवाजान तांका उल्हास या नवाज ही टीचर इस स्टुडंट गे सो किवी मात दिवन असा टीचर आणि तशीच काल ही मॅच पळवक कसे जाता बोरिंग ना तुम्ही खेळणत असतात सिक्स फोर सिक्स गी फोर गी गुत्तू ना सो कॉमेंटेटर्स व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट नाही इंटरेस्टिंग जाता मॅच हो कॉमेंट्री बरी ना जर काल मॅच विन जर तसे सो आमची आज बेस्ट कॉमेंट्री आली वेगी नाही सो हे जाऊन असत मिस्टर अनिल आणि मिस्टर विन्सेंट दय करून तुम्ही मुखार येऊचे आणि आमच्या टीचर इथून मोगाची काणी घेऊच्या विनंती करता ओके आणि नेक्स्ट जाऊन असा स्कोर टिकर सगळो दिस बसून पेपर आणि पेन काढ येऊन आमच्या बरे रेस्ट करूंक जायना तो बा बसून स्कोर पळून उंतारलो ताका इंटरेस्ट आल्या री ना जर ताणी स्कोर टिक करी जसे ना सो मायटी मिस्टर मायटी दय करून तुम्ही मुखार येऊचे आणि मोगाची काणी टीचरी ताण काण घेऊच्या विनंती करता सो हे कार्य 
बोरयान जायचे तर हे दोन दोन दिसांचे कार्य बोरयान जाऊनच्या सबार जणांनी मुस्त सहकार दिला स्वतःची हा नावा सांगू का शेता आणि देव बरे करू म्हणता पहिले जाऊन मँगलोर मीडिया या दगिंत आमका बाहेर येऊ नका घरा बरे कर बसून ये सिर मॅच लाईव्ह पळेत सो हे दाखवला मँगलोर मीडिया आणि टीम दुबई यु एस ए आणि सकड पळून मुस्तु कमेंट केला सो तांका हा पहिले आणि पहिले देव बरे करू म्हणता आणि तसेच साऊंड्स ओदक सुंदला ना जर आता हे बॉमरी जे असले आता लो उले सकडांक ऐकात सगळे जेपू हंगासर ऐकात सो साऊंड्स ओदक सुंदला अजित इमती आणि टीम हांका हा देव बरे करू म्हणता दोनपरा रुचिक जेवण आणि तसेच थंड पिवान ओदक सिला रोशन फोनसेका तांका हा देव बरे करू म्हणता आणि तसेच हंगासर श्यामियाना ओदक सुंदला सलोमी एरेंजर्स हांका हा देव बरे करू म्हणता हा प्रत्येक रीतीन उडास काढूंग शेता देवा दिन प्रकाश करवालो आणि मॅच काल पोर देवा दिन झाला मॅच आदले दिसा ते ह्या मॅच खातीर तांनी तांचो वावर दिला पिच्छा उदक घालचे जाऊन दी सकाळी वेगळी येऊन तांनी दाज देवा दिन झाल्यात तांच्या आत्म्याक हा ससनास विषय मागता आणि त्यांच्या आत्म्याक हा ससनास विषय मागता किती सांगचे नाही अचानक तो सरलो आय थिंक हार्ट अटॅक जाऊन सरलो तो कोण एक्सपेक्ट तर करू ना हंगासर त्यांचे बॅनर दिसतात तुमका सो त्यांच्या आत्म्याक हा ससनास विषय मागता नेक्स्ट हे टुर्नामेंट जाऊनच्या पर्मिशनाची गरज असा ह्या विषयन वावरल्यात रीमा सल्डाना आणि तसेच जेन सल्डाना हांका हा देव बरे करू म्हणता दय करण तुम्ही एक वेदीचेर येऊचे तुमका एक मानाची काणी कसा दय करण तुम्ही हंगा सर वेदीक येऊच्या विनंती करता मिस्टर दीपक दय करून तुम्ही तांका उल्लासूचे खाली जैन आणि रिमो मात नाही आणि अनेकले असा ते जाऊन असा रवीना रवीना तू सुंदर गण गुलवकाने आमच्या चीफ गेस्ट जाऊ अरुणान पहिले तू म्हणला दहा गुलोब मात्र असात सगळ्यांची नाव सांगून गुलोब देऊन सांगा ना का म्हण ओके आता वेळ गडी आयल्या बेस्ट बॉलर कॅटेगरी अनाऊन्स करचे एनी गेस बेस्ट बॉलर कोणाक मिळाजे एनी गेस ऐका ना त्यांनी टीम नातल्यांचे अनाऊन्स करण्यासात ना येस येस इट गोज टू नवीन ऑफ मारील तो फायनल सान केलो ना पण ही डिझर्व टू बी अ बेस्ट बॉलर सो नवीन त्याच्या बदला दैकन तुम्ही कोणी म्हणून येऊचे नवीनाच्या बदला दैकन तुम्ही येऊचे आणि बेस्ट बॉलर ही ट्रॉफी काढून येऊची हा विनंती करता मिस्टर मायकल तुम्ही ही ट्रॉफी देऊच्या जोरान ताळ्यांच्या आवाजान ताका उल्लास उंचे आणि तसेच ताका पाच किलो तांदूळ बहुमान जाऊन मेळतले नवीन कोर दी लाईव्ह पळेता तो ओके नेक्स्ट बेस्ट बॅट्समॅन एकत नाव गी ओके बेस्ट बॅट्समॅन विलियम ऑफ मारेल दैकन तुम्ही मुखार येऊचे आणि मिस्टर मायकल आता 
तुमची प्रशस्ती का ट्रॉफी आणि तशीच पाच किलो तांदूळ नेक्स्ट मॅन ऑफ द मॅच कोणा ओके इट्स एल्सन फ्रॉम सेंट सबॅस्टियन पेमनूर तुम्ही मुखार येऊन आणि तुमची ट्रॉफी का मिस्टर मायकल तुम्ही ट्रॉफी देऊ दोन विसेल मारा येस देव बरे करू मॅन ऑफ द सिरीज कोण मारील चे सांगू ना सात येस इट्स विश्वास ऑफ सेंट सबॅस्टियन पेमनूर तुम्ही मुखार येऊन चे आणि तुमचे ट्रॉफी का मिस्टर मायकल तुम्ही दैक ट्रॉफी देऊ येस देव बरे करू आमचो जिप्पुसो अनेक लो कॉमेंटेटर असा एलविस दैकर तुम्ही मुखार येऊनचे ताका एक गुलोब देऊन उल्हास येऊनचे येस एलविस आयलो फ्युचर कॉमेंटेटर थँक्यू एलविस आणि वेळ गडी आयली रान्नस अनाऊन्स करच्या आणि एस जे फ्रेंड्स एस जे ट्रॉफी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हाचे रान्नस जाऊन असत टीम मारील दैकन सर केळगड्यांनी मुखार येऊनचे आणि तुमचे मेडल्स आणि तशीच ट्रॉफी टीचर हाणी दिवच्या विनंती करता येस कॅप्टनाक आता दोन उतरा उलो असत कॅप्टन चेंज झालो गे आता उलो उलो मात्र गे ओके कंग्रॅच्युलेशन जोरान तांका एक ताळ्यो देऊन उल्हास या and presenting runner of trophy sc trophy 2024 to maril
कैप्टन दईकर ने मुकारे उनसे मारे ल कैप्टन दोन उतरा उलोंची टीम मारे ल कौन फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आउट थैंक यू मुन्ता एसजे फ्रेंड्स जिप्पो अनि बहुत सभी तो वंडरफुल टूर्नामेंट ऑर्गेनाइज कर लिया कर तो शेंस कंग्रेजुलेशंस तू सेंस सेबेस्टियन परमानोरो आम का सड़ा वो तो फाइनल अंग मिल चें टफ ओपोनेंट थे अनि बरे करन कर लिया तो आम ही डेफिनेटली मिस करता ना भी ना क आम चा आम से एक बोल आरे तो आज पर गवा के ला पुनो कल चरित ने कल चरित साथ ने बरे बोलिंग अल्ला आम का आम चटी माके जी का के कारण वाला तो कहूँ थैंक यू मुन्ता तशेंस ये ऑर्गेनाइज के ला सर वांग एस जे फ्रेंड्स पर जब पूत तशेंस तंका संका दिला सर वांग का आम चटी मदर फिन एमआईसी मरील आंच दर फिन आऊं देव बरे करूं मुन्ता थैंक यू वन एंड SJ Friend presents SJ Trophy 2024. Winners are on us. Winners are on us. St. Sebastian Parmanor. Yes, they are on us. And you are on us. Medals are on us. Trophy. Manis Deepak Rego. We are on us. We are on us. Presenting winner's trophy to Saint Sebastian Permanor. Captain, Captain Kesa. Captain and Don Utra Ulon Chagwina Tikarta. Red the path there, Le. It's your friends. Jepur, but there are like a match always. So, congratulations, Tanka. Tashin's always some kind of tough competitor. Kadana, I finally met a Maril team. So, thank you, congratulations, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm pairing, because I'm a serious sir, and I'm a Salim Halikot, sir. But I'm pairing, thank you, thank you. And now, sir, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. हाँ देव बरे करूँगा मुन्ता एसजे फ्रेंड्स सबार मुस्तुद दिस आता हूँ ना या ग्राउंड आंतर वाउर के ला सर्दत लाइव आसाने मुन्सागों ना अनेक की हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट तंचे तनी सपोर्ट हंगा सर दिला सो सर्वांक हाँ देव बरे करूँगा मुन्ता अनेक बुरी सांस मारता सो मैं सांग देव बरे करूँ हाँ विनत करता एसजे फ्रेंड्स कमिटी मेंबर्स जशेंस फ्रेंड्स समेत सनी हंगा सर्वे दिच्छर मुकारी उनसे एक विनत करता
आमचे तरणाटे मातने आले आमचे नंटेले बुर्गे आले आमचे बॉल बॉयज जाऊन आमच्या ते दक्ते दक्ते बुर्गे आले नाव काढना त्यांना सगळ्या गाव देव बरोबर म्हणता आणि सगळ्यात आमचे व्हॉलेंटियर्स दया करणार घेऊनचे आमचे मेंबर्स एस जे फ्रेंड्स किती म्हणजे हंगा काम असा हंगा चेअरपूर असा ते बरोबर असा देखून दया कर सगळ्या घेऊनचे स्टेजी कडे थँक्यू दैकन जाता तितले वेगळी येऊनचे हंगा वेदीचेर तुमका राखून असात एस जे फ्रेंड्स कमिटी मेंबर्स प्लेयर्स दैकर न जाता तितले वेगळी स्टेज येऊनच्या विनंती करता रॉयस्टन प्रिन्स्टन प्रिन्स्टन नितीन स्टॅलिन शॉन दयकर वेगळी या संजय दयकर जाता तितले वेगळी येऊन शाक विनंती करता संदीप रूबन रोशन सकडन येऊनचे क्रिकेट टीम मात्र नाही एस चे फ्रेंड्स ग्रिटी अरविन बुर्गी एल्डन Three, two, one, make some noise! Yay! 